Welcome, welcome to the stream. Good to see everybody. We are ready for the Cirque. Definitely clean, keen to get back into it all. Good to see you, Nagas. Dennis for the early bird, of course. Dre's this, good to see you. Sauron, good to have you here. And I can see some people already trying to spend some points already. A couple of personal join-ins and all of that. Sebastian, good to see you. Hopefully your character will last longer than last time, Welcome definitely. Snowcone? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Diagrin, thank you very much for the resub at tier one for six months. Fencing sword means death. Yes. Unfortunately, it's it's rough, man. It's rough. And uh, you shoot for the stars, and uh, you fall down in the lake. It's pretty rough. But we'll do a better job for the next one, for sure. Um, Davko blesses all, depending on your praise and worship. <laughs> yeah, that's true. As Sebastian tries to rise from the ashes. Good to have you guys here. Definitely keen for more. Fingers crossed I get a bard. Well, today we are on the latest uh, versions of Legends. And uh, I've got a couple of new versions of mods that got sent to me by Enduriel, hopefully fixing a couple of the issues that we had last time. And uh, let's, fingers crossed, hope everything works out perfectly. And uh, let's start off with some spawn-ins, shall we? Uh, a quick save. We do have some hyenas, like, literally in front of us. Uh, I don't know why I need to rename that. <laughs> Definitely need to rename that or something. But let's see what happens. We've got two spawn-ins. Um, I mean, an enchanter could be good for the circ Or a servant. So, for our first spawn-in of the day, that would be Mr. Sebastian. Let's see what luck you get. You get a plus one melee defense and fragile servant. With 36 health. Uh, hmm. It's a bit rough. I'm a bit leaning towards more the enchanter. Even though they don't really have much magic. They're inspirational, so we could have like a banner. And that would work out pretty strongly. So I'd say the Enchanter would be a banner. The Servant could be a tank, but you'd have to really like pump those stats. With a student gifted and talented, I'm sure we could get there. Um, It's all a matter of opinion there, man. Enchanter sounds good. Do you want to go for that banner choice? Charming, Marshall, not really that. You'll take on Superpower Belly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sounds like a plan. Okay, let's get rid of this servant. Uh, and let's try out... Actually, let's quickly save. Hey, Ulrich, good morning or good noon and good Jan Cruz. Hey, good to see you, man. Um, I'm going to quickly save over and see what sort of spawns we can get in. So, weapon, shield, body armor, and helmet. Uh-oh. The helmet's invisible. Let's get rid of that helmet. The other helmet's okay. So, what are you thinking? You are the lucky first one as I'm playing with the new debug tool. Um, take your choice there, Sebastian. I'm not going to put my mouse over them just yet. Because I don't want to make it, like, too easy. I'm only just testing to see if I could spawn them all without crashing the game. And... It works! So, you know what? Things are working, and that's a good sign. Sebastian's looking at the weapon. No worries. Um, I'll quickly show off what these were. That's a 9 for 236. That's pretty good. That's really good. Um, an 8 for 192. That's also insanely good. Um, a 25 defense shield. Eh. That's good. It could have been slightly better, but, I mean, I love cypher shields. And then Sir Birdie Skullcracker. That's pretty good. So, we'll get rid of these, too. And we'll give him the bonk. Uh, until we get our banner. I mean, we do have the banner now. Mm. He's going to use the bonk for now. Because the banner is only useful when he starts getting peaceable. Mind over body. Uh, rally the troops. Inspiring presence. The bonk will probably be more useful. So we'll do that instead. Uh, let's see. Did I turn off dev tools? Yes. Uh, Sebastian 2.0 as our resident banner. Let's give him some sort of armor upgrade. Something useful. So he doesn't die on us immediately. And that'll work. Now he's going to be in reserve because obviously we're a bit full. 
We'll see what we can do. Is that Oathtaker armor? Should have checked if it had slots. Um, I don't think it would have had slots, Sauron. Um, I will... Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't turn dev tools on. I was wondering why it wasn't working. Um, the thing is, all of the armors that are spawning in now with the new dev tool seem to be all the vanilla ones, as you can see. So no, it would not have had slots. And that's the same armor right there, the veteran reinforced armor. Not as good as the one we had earlier. Yeah, so unfortunately, the armors and helmets seem to be reverted back to the vanilla ones. I'm not sure... If, yay, free armor to Sebastian. No, 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 no. I'm just doing some testing. I'm just doing some testing. Um, and it seems like uh, Enduriel's given me back to the different type of spawning inns. Um, probably because it's less buggy. That's probably why, in all honesty. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, definitely was good helmet and good armor there. Naga's 2.0, by the way. Naga 2.0? Oh, the one that's spawning in? No, Saruman's spawning in. Naga two-handed hammer. Is he 2.0? Oh, he is! You are correct. Thank you, thank you. Assume the helms are the same. Yeah, assume the helms are the same. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same. Uh, let's turn off the dev tools. And switch Naga to Naga 2.0. So we don't forget. Nice. But good to see you, Pashka. Welcome to the stream, man. And good to see you, Sakael. Welcome, welcome. Uh, who is next on the chopping block? Uh, let's quickly save. And we will add Sauron in as a pimp. Unpredictable survivor with very good defense. That is a tank if I've ever seen one. Or do we go with the caravan hand who has potential to be a melee person? Yeah, that's a bit of, that is a bit of potential. I'm thinking pimp though. The Pimp with 40 guaranteed defense. Clarity, Shield Expert, Survival Instinct with 9 lives. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. You killed me when you got your attack by Unhold, says Naga. Yeah, the Unholds are pretty rough, man. They are pretty rough. But Sauron, get back to me on that. And let me know if you want a weapon, armor, shield, or helmet. Um, as I go for a Sebastian spin. Also, Game Berserker wants to buy in. That's right. And so does Digrin. Goodness me, you guys are spending all your points. Nice, nice. Um, let's get uh, Digrin spawn in first. So let's quickly save. There we go. Nope, not that. Not that. Arc streams are great for points. Yeah, they are. They are. Okay, so next up is Digrin. Sauron still has to get back to me on what he wants. Um, but we've got the Disowned Noble, which has very good defense and can be a damage dealer if he rolls well. Uh, or the Normal Beggar, which is... Eh. As far as I've heard in the new version of the game, um, with the new updates... I think, I honestly think, there's a really cool event, um, and it's with Disowned Nobles. Because Disowned Nobles used to be abandoned, people used to give no um, second thought to Disowned Nobles for the longest time. With the newest update of Flesh and Faith, there is a cool event where a Disowned Noble can get a little bit of retribution and get some permanent stats. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's pretty good. Hey, Singulars, welcome to the stream and going for a buy-in. Good timing, good timing. Saren says he's going to take the pimp because I can't hold that over Murph. Um, please call in the Feldspar Prince with a shield. No worries, man. I'll get you something fancy with that. And rightly so. Oh my goodness, that is one of the best heater shields I've ever seen. Plus 30 defense for the pimp. Minus 3 shield fatigue. Oh. Oh, 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 that's a good one. That is definitely a good one. Okay. Feldspar Prince. As our tank. Nicely done. The Felspar pimp. <laughs> yes, yes, that's the way to do it. Let's give him a bit of defense. Let's pop him down the back. And helmet? Could I do anything for his helmet? Not much. Kind of tough times when we, um, 
Really don't have much inventory to deal with all the new people. <laughs> we'll do what we can. We will do what we can. Um, in terms of his melee weapon, I'll give him the hammer. Which hammer is better? 58, 50, 38, 37, minus one, nothing. Maybe the minus one's better. That sounds pretty good. Title is The Pimp. And just tank so I don't forget. Because I do need to remind myself sometimes. And a survivor, unpredictable, he's going to be great. He's going to be absolutely great. So I can't wait. Uh, but yes, back to Mr. Digrin. What did Digrin think about? He wants the noble with a shield. Ooh, nice. He will die anyway, given your guidance before said event. <laughs> you never know. Ooh, he gets a... Ooh. He gets an orc shield? I mean, that shield will never break. And it's only plus three fatigue instead of plus five, which is what normal orc shields are. I mean, it's a gigantic shield, but it looks small on Mr. Disown Noble. So maybe this guy is just massive and we don't even know it. Uh, he has no shield expert, but that shield will still be fine. So nice. Nice. Farla says he'll ride if I pick a tier one with the forced quest. <laughs> you can ride all you want. I'm probably going to pick a tier one. You never know, man. You never know. Um, let's set up our disowned noble in some noble cloaks. Make him seem like he's fancy once again and give him a helmet. Uh, a net to go in his back pocket because we have spare nets. And then... Eh, that's all I've got. That's all I've got, apparently. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Wanted to make sure the dev tools were off, so a cheap way of testing that is a save. Do, 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 Sunday Cirque. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, you wanted armor instead, says Diagrin? You won't get Legends armor if you get armor, but that's okay. Classic Snow ignoring. I'm doing five things at once. If you wanted the armor instead, that's fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, the helmets and the armors are all vanilla helmets and armors. So, yeah. So, let's do this instead. So, you get an 8 for 128. That's not bad. It's actually better than the armor you would have worn. So, hopefully that's good enough for you, my man. Let's give you a shield. Keep you with the weapon. And let's get Digrin 2.0 back in. As a tank. Or DPS, DPS. Hopefully roll well. There we go. Um, but yeah, the dev tool got updated uh, because it's been having some issues. So hopefully it doesn't have much issues going forward. Um, and Durio's looked after me. But because the way he's changed it, it only spawns in vanilla items. So I can't get layered armor anymore like we used to. But good to see you, Super Power Belly. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you, Stefan, as well. I don't know if I said hi earlier. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, definitely good stuff here. No one tell him that I'm actually 3.0 due to his poor guidance. Are you 3.0? Digrin the s stock. Nah, you're 2.0. You're trying to paint me in a bad light there, Digrin. You've only died once. We've had Jan Cruz, Naga. Spritzy's been... Oh, Spritzy's died twice. That's right. Barlow's died twice. But everyone else has pretty much died once. Pretty much. Pretty much. Ah, I see Diagram with the evil laugh there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, what else is up? We have to finish uh, GB. So we got Diagram, we got Feldspar Prince, we got Sebastian. Uh, we got a personal join in for Game Berserker, and then we got Singularis. So, Game Berserker, let's get you up. Hmm. Don't think that was meant to happen. Lucky I've been saving, though. Lucky I've been saving. Um, and lucky I can send logs off. Uh, interesting. Interesting indeed.
There we go. All good. Um, but yes, once again, the game is too powerful. GB, you can't get in. Apparently, it doesn't like you. <laughs> Keyboard typing ASMR. There you go. A little bit of ASMR as I send off my wonderful log. It should be fine. In all honesty, I think it spawned in something. What keyboard am I using? It's an Alienware keyboard. It's a little bit old. But it works. The reason why I like it is because it fits my finger as well. I don't like using fancy big keyboards with the giant spaces in between the keys. I don't know. I only care about what fits my fingers. I don't remember the exact keyboard make. It's an Alienware something. Yeah, it doesn't... Something. Something else. Nothing fancy. Snow is full, small fingers? No, 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 no. No, no, I got big fingers, big hands. Um, but the way that this keyboard works, because I've got big hands, I can reach all the keys I need, and I don't usually fumble too much. Except for this last week, I've been using the computer a little bit more. So yeah, Snow has fingers in first place. No, 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 I got twigs for fingers. Twigs. And I got a carrot nose. That's all I've got. All I've got. Okay, so GB, let's try again. Um, and Duriel did say it was a quick fix. Another part that isn't updated to Legend 16. Ah, ah, all dude. Cause so the debug, dub, yeah, like I said, the debug tool just spawned in something we weren't allowed to play with. Um, which was expected, because when we're playing behind the scenes of the coding, obviously it's going to fish up something that the game doesn't like. So it's just a basic crash, no issues there. Uh, so as our eldritch horror Mr. Game Berserker, you now have two choices. You have a very tiny washerwoman who is superstitious. Once again, a very good tank and a... I wouldn't say a decent frontliner unless we went cleavers and went with like a butcher cleaver build but possibly a good tank there, or, ouch, maybe, maybe choose option one. <laughs> Beggar, eh? Oh, flabby drunkard. I don't know, Sir Twiggy the Snowman. Exactly, Diagram, exactly. Did you take my quest yet? I'm almost with bad connections, Barlow. Barlow, we haven't even started playing yet. We're still setting up the team. <laughs> so sorry, man. We're, we've got a hyena fight to do, and we've got a hand in a quest. We haven't done anything yet. No, not yet. Uh, but what are you thinking, GB? I would lean towards the washerwoman if I were you, but it's up to your choice and discretion. And tell me the famed item you want whilst I get Singularis' character ready. Uh, so I will quickly save. Just so we don't lose the character choices in case I spawn in something bad. Um, and how do we get a double preserver? No, we're not looking for undead, so I have to get rid of both. How did it... Since when do we ever double roll? Holy crap. Anyways, I've got to get rid of both of these options. I do apologize, um, because that is necromancy, and necromancy is outlawed. Uh, but the other choices, Sing, would be the Herbalist Apothecaries, who is a dastard, which is an unfortunate trait. We could fix that eventually. Uh, sling person is definitely viable with muscularity. Ooh, interesting. Or the option of a fishmonger who has very good melee attack. Very bad melee defense, so a pole arm, so I'd say flail, pole flail. Or maybe a staff support build. So a ranged or a reach person. Definitely a possibility for those two there, Sing. Um, Game Berserker says none of the above is option three. <laughs> totally, totally. But you gotta make a choice. You gotta make a choice. Binds are done. Might as well remove the option now, says uh, Barlow. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Normally I don't remove it, but nowadays it just makes it easier so people don't ask or complain about it. Or mention it. It makes life easier. Ah, oh, okay, so Indira said the bug was for AC companions. Ah, interesting.
There we are. No issues there. Trying to decide what name, though, says GB. Ah, uh, you want the washer lady? Sounds good. Uh, let's get rid of the bigger. Um, Sing, what are you thinking? Did Sing say anything? Singularis. No, I don't think I see Singularis in here at the moment. But that's all right. Uh, we'll get the choices in a moment. Uh, someone to wash the clothes for sure. To the and we're getting a body armor for Stop. GB. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. Ooh, that's it's nice. Lemon. That's nice. I think that might be an Oathbreaker. Um, Sigmatico, thank you for the resub for tier one for seven months, man. Welcome to the stream, and thank you so much for the support and ongoing support. Uh, what is this playthrough about? We are playing a circus. So we're playing with the AC Companions mod that has been updated for version 16 of Legends. Uh, it's been kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. It's been rather disappointing to play the AC Companions revamped. But we've been having fun playing the circus regardless. So we're sort of moving away from the AC Companions because of the slight letdown it has been. But we are still enjoying the wonderful gameplay that is a mostly ranged party. Um, as we've had a tough rebuild, but we've done well, so I'm very happy about it. And Andreas says, also thanks for streaming at the time I can be available. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. And uh, yes, this is the European timing stream on Sundays, and I do the American streams on Saturdays. So I'm glad that it's good for your time as well. Welcome, welcome. And I'll try not to use you completely for tech support, <laughs> as you can enjoy the content as well. Um, but yes. Wouldn't be possible without him. Exactly, exactly. We wouldn't be able to have cool stuff like um, stats and wonderful everything else that he's been doing for the stream. Am I constantly buffering? Oh, my internet's crapping itself, so I'm constantly buffering. Ah, oh, I see. That's unfortunate. I was worried about my end, but my end seems to be pretty good, so I do apologize for your end, Enduriel. Um, Keep GB, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hope you are enjoying. We're just finalizing all the buy-ins. Um, Singularis has been a wall at the point in time, so I'll hold on to these two and deal with them later. Hopefully, they don't drain me all of my money though. Please don't. Um, I've got the cool, very cool body armor, um, and that's nice. Use me completely for tech support, Lola. I don't think I'll be able to enjoy it properly. <laughs> Fair enough, Enduriel. I'll just let you know one thing, Enduriel. Um, the thing that you changed with the, uh, the debug tool, I used to be able to spawn in layered armors and layered helmets, but now it's only spawning in vanilla helmets and vanilla armors. I don't know if you can change that, or if it's a thing that just makes it less buggy. I mean, if it just makes it less buggy, I can fully accept that, um, and I don't mind, but it was always really cool when I could do the spawn in of layered famed items, but that's just my little, um, my little idea there. You'll take a look. No worries, man. No issue. And no rush. Um, it's just something interesting that I noticed. That some versions of my debug tool did vanilla items. Sometimes it did famed um, attachments. So that was just interesting. But Mr. Uh, GB, was it? Did you figure out the name you wanted? My internet's completely dying. DM me stuff. No worries, man. <laughs> Uh, no worries. We'll DM instead. Um, I'm using the latest AC from Legends Discord. Not liking it, sadly. No, 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 no issues, Enduriel. No issues. I don't mind doing the DM stuff. It's just not as, um, chat won't know what I'm saying to you unless I say it out loud. <laughs> So I could be secretly messaging him anything I want. Asking him to buy me donuts or something, and you guys would have no idea. Hey, over, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, GB did say something, and Keat JB says, uh, Hey, Snowman, the mods and legends look overwhelming, to be honest. Ah, welcome, welcome. Yes, they can be overwhelming, um, which is why I don't recommend playing modded for your first time playing this game. Um, I, I always tell people to ease themselves into the modding scene, um, because this plus all this, plus all that, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot, it is a lot, and there's GB, I noticed what he said, um, let me quickly, yeah, I knew it, I knew it, I left dev tools on, genius snow, um, GB wanted it named Padma the 
loony. And it just fits. Nice. Um, DPS question mark? Was I going DPS? No, I was going tank. Yep, definitely going tank. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Salvage that. Sing is here, so tell him what he was buying was. Oh, Singularis, welcome back, welcome back. Um, you missed out on the two buys that you got in. So the chance, the choices you have, Sing, are a ranged slinger, which would be the herbalist apothecaries, because there's really nothing else that character can really do without some luck. Um, or a fishmonger who could be a reach specialist, uh, probably a flail reach person or a support staff build. Yeah, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really go with a melee build for this herbalist. It's a bit too risky. Even with the spear build. Yeah, maybe with the spear build. But I'd rather just go with that guaranteed range. Yuck choices. Yeah, you gotta make a choice. And tell me the famed item you want. Sliding into DMs, kinky, twiggy, the snowman says, Tycrin, thanks. Thanks. Totally needed to, yep, hear those words come out of my mouth today. And Drill said he can't hear what I'm saying half the time. Oh, that sucks. Uh, where is the submod files? Uh, oh wow, there's a few new submods. I, I only checked this like the other day. Oh, there's new submods today. Ah, I see. Interesting. Someone clip that. Thanks, Stefan. Thanks. Uh, let's go with the flail and a weapon, please. Sounds like a plan. So get rid of the herbalist apothecaries. Uh, we shall keep the fishmonger. Go with the... Reach flail build. And... Sing... Is it Sing 2.0 or is it Sing 1.0? I don't know if Sing's gotten a character in this series yet. Yes, Sing does have a character in the series and it died. So it's Sing 2.0. And Sing wants to go for a weapon choice. Let's see what we get. Goblin Spear. Mm. No. No, I don't want to use that. Sing, you get to hold on to the wonderful sword staff for the time being. Let's hope that works out. That plus that. Helmet. We're running out of helmets. Oh, dear. We're turning into quite the troop of, um, I wish I had <laughs> more armors. But let's get into this. We've got some hyenas that are running away from us. We found the ancient Mastaba? How did we not see that before? Oh, it's probably nighttime. Probably nighttime. Oh, and that is true. Um, we do have a lot of spins to do. Goodness me, you guys are spending lots of points. I gotta hurry through these, or else we'll not get through any of this stuff. Could it use the famous spear? Ah, uh, with this stuff? Hmm. I don't know. If the fishmonger rolls well, maybe, but the problem is this negative four defense. I don't want anyone to use anything if you're at negative four defense. That's the problem. Man, you die a lot on this. this is, yeah, Sing, Sing does seem to die a few times here and there. It's it's the curse of me controlling characters that eventually just die. It just happens. And uh, I take no responsibility. <laughs> no responsibility at all. It just happens, you know. It wasn't me. Totally wasn't me. Um, I, Ulrich says, uh, dog build whom wholly unviable. Can you not try on Houndmaster? Yeah, we can actually try uh, dog builds on the Hound. No, no, not the Houndmaster. That's the Beast Slayer. Do we have a Houndmaster? We do, we do. Ulrich the tank. We could try and do some dog builds with it. Maybe make the dogs a little bit more interesting. Because that's probably all we have for this uh, AC Companions mod, in all honesty. I really don't see much more for the future of it. At least in this state. So, yeah. Okay, quick save. Let's get these spins. I gotta catch up with you guys. You guys are too fast for me. Uh, okay, so where are we up to? We got Naga's spin to start off with. Nope, that is the wrong one. Where is it? 
There it is. Uh, that is a free level up. I'll take it. Where would you like that level up, Naga? I'm assuming your own self. Congratulations. That is a full level up, Naga. We didn't break it this time. We didn't break it. Look, let's go. Um, also, thank you very much for the Muffin of Evil for following. Um, hope you are enjoying and welcome to the stream. We are just finishing, finalizing the setup of the beginning of the stream and uh, we shall get into a fight soon. And uh, as soon as we can. <laughs> Uh, with this hammer build, do I care about dent armor? I do... But I do care a lot about hemorrhage. I've been loving hemorrhage. It's just 20% bonus damage. At the end of their turn, like... I don't even really need clarity, do I? I'd love to get Vigorous Assault, but I, I don't see it. Oh, Naga doesn't get it. That's so annoying. Maybe I just go Hammer Mastery. Destroy Armor does more. Shadow Gate's 5% to hit. Why are we at 12 Fatigue, though? That's the one thing that confuses me. What's reduced your Fatigue on this weapon? Oh, it's because it is the weapon. That's why. Okay, I'm going to go with Internal Hemorrhage. Screw it. That's such a nice ability. Uh, next up is... Uh, Naga did first. We've got Spin to the Wheel for Sebastian. That is a heal. We don't need it. Okay, so reroll. A positive trait, we'll take that. We will take that, Sebastian. And uh, to your brand new character, which is Padme, I believe. Oh, wait, who did I give the... Who was the disowned noble? Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. I'm already losing my mind. Was it Diagran? Feldspar Prince, Sebastian... Yeah, that was Diagran, wasn't it? Turn off the dev tools. Join in, join in, join in. Diagran 2.0. And this was the tank. That's right. Classic Snow Forgot. Yeah, I know, I know. What did I miss, Game Berserker? It's a good thing I never die in these series. Good thing I make up for it by dying a lot in the multiplayer streams. I mean, it's all good, man. It's all good. You gotta die somewhere, and I've gotta die somewhere. So it's good. Bad memory, brain already melted. I wanted Armorous's uh, Diagran. That's right, that's right. Uh, but I won't give you the armor just yet, because Enduriel did just pop me the um, upgraded... Um, andrea has got a fix for me, so we might be able to get a layered armor for you, Diagran. So we'll fix that for you. Uh, let's get rid of this. Turn that on. Turn it off. Sweet. And the positive trait was going to go to Mr. Sebastian. Game Berserker Sebastian Singularis. Uh... That's Sauron. So, Padma the Looney, I do believe, was... No, Sebastian's over here. Positive trait. Lumbering. Not really what we wanted on a banner. But I guess whenever you do get a hit, 10% plus 15%. That's not bad. It's not bad. It just means our banner's a bit slower, which is okay. No issues there. Okay, next up is a spin from Naga again. Okay. 
You guys are keeping me on my toes already. The start of a stream is always chaotic when you guys have so many points to spend. Uh, trigger a random event. That should work. Random event should work. Quickly save. And it does! Okay, so Digrin and Pashka are quarreling over the last piece of food on the spit. Apparently the lowborn got to it first, but the noble claims it's his high stature granted him the right to the meat. Um, sort it out yourselves. Have a punch up. Yeah, punch up for the last piece of meat. Digrin gets a ripped ear. Pashka gets a dislocated shoulder. <laughs> They're fighting over the last piece of meat. Thanks for the wonderful event there, um, Naga. And then Pashka's going for a spin as well. I'll do that one, and then I'll quickly restart the game. Because we have a quick little update to do. And that is permanent stats for Pashka. Congratulations. Congratulations, that's what we like to see. Permanent stats. Um, so Pashka is... Right here. And permanent stats couldn't come at a greater time. Nice. Plus three defense. Plus four, three attack. It's it's gonna help. Our not okay fodder is turning into a okay fodder, in my opinion. Let's quickly save up and a quick restart, and we'll be there. So well done, Pashka. Well done. Okay, so let's quickly get the fixes. Uh, da, 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 da. And with this fix, I'll get Digrin's armor, and this should give us wonderful, wonderful layered pieces. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh -huh. Mods, debug tool. Add that back. No, 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 don't open it. Add it back into here. Yes. And then back up my saves, because you never know. Saves are backed up, let's do it. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I could re-roll the armors um, for the characters who got the vanilla stuff. I could definitely do that to see how that goes. And it works! Let's go! Enduriel is a genius. Absolutely beautiful. So, Digrin, congratulations. Looking great with your golden piece. And for... Uh, Mr. Padma, which is Mr. GB. Wait a minute, quickly save. Don't crash the game, don't crash the game. Oh, I spawned in that one by accident. Alright, let's, um, let's ignore that. Uh, we can get you a golden piece. So what do you think? GB, do you want the trusty swank? Or do you want the Venerable Cataclysmic? I'll give you the option, because the vanilla armor can be a bit annoying sometimes. 19 for 179, that is a little bit worse than Digrin's 20 for 184, but it's a little bit better in its own way? I don't know, it's not that much of a difference. But the trusty swank's pretty cool, so... Just tell me what you're thinking. Um, and then for everyone else, we got weapons and shields, so we don't need to do re-rolls and stuff like that. Singular says, good luck for the wheel, and I will do one more wheel before we get into this fight. Divide and conquer. Billy Screamer laughs at viewers fighting amongst themselves. Ah, yes. Yes, it's the only way. Before I answer, what kind of armor can I specialize in? Ah, good question. Battleforged. That's all you got. So with Battleforged... 235 as a maximum isn't, isn't that great. That's more of like a medium or a light battle forged. Because you want battle forged to get up to like, uh, you want to get up to like 400 or something. 
So let's swap you out and keep that beautiful golden piece of armor for you instead. Nice. Good choices, man. Good choice. Now all we need to do is uh, keep you guys alive, get into a fight, and uh, yeah, hope it works out. Uh, Pash gets a little bit better armor as they sit on the front lines. A little bit of helmet would be nice, too. Uh, I can't really do anything for the helmet too much. I really can't. That's the best I can do. Well, that's going to be rough. All right, let's save over it. Uh, is dev tools on? Nope. Then we say hello to some hyenas. Oh, yes, don't forget your spin. Thank you, Singularis. I was just about to forget. Just about to forget. How dare I? And that is a positive trait. Okay, we'll give you the positive trait, and we're good to go. Don't forget mine too. Sakael, thanks. Thanks. Hey, kiddo, welcome back to the stream. Good to see you. Uh, so, where's Sing? We'll get a positive trait going in. On top of that huge predictable... Wonder what we're going to get. Ooh, Impatient. That's good. That always helps if you ever need to retreat from a fight. So Impatient is a very nice trait to have. Quick little save over. And then... All good. No worries. Jump back in. And it's time to go for it. You're not in battle, so it's difficult for to kill you off yet. Yeah, it is. It is difficult to kill off people when they're not in battle yet. Totally an issue, I must say. Uh, Stefan, mind over body support. Could you um be a bit careful as we're getting attacked by... Well, we attacked them on purpose because I wanted to see how well we did. And I think we have a chance. Though I am still a bit worried. And a 77 isn't going to happen, but it is the second time. Let's go, Blood Mess. That's a headshot. That does some good damage. Uh, Mad Crow, what are we doing? Do you have momentum? You do not. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that, sir. Not one bit. Oh, damn. Okay, so we're backing up a bit. I'm going to huddle around this boulder. It's a nice boulder. As Ken Chan comes this way. Uh, Ulrich. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be rough. Uh, Naga, let's get you up there at least. 84% Dennis, this should kill. It leaves it on seven! No! Well then push him back at least so he gets staggered. That guarantees a kill. Uh, Stefan, do nothing. Pine is doing that. Okay, then I'll get back here. And we should be able to stem the tide as long as we have 24s. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Throw some axes. Not yet, not yet. I do want to put Pashka one space forward if I can. Please let me put him one space forward. No, I can't. Okay, I need to kill that guy so I can move up a bit. Let's see. Percentage to tame, 0%. What a surprise. Oh, Pashka has a broken shoulder. Forgot about that. Uh, 92%. Let's work on someone else. So work on the 80%. Nice. The power of illusion. I mean, the power of anything right now would be helpful. Oh, that's bad. Okay, okay, calm down. Uh, let's throw a net on this one and a nice javelin mad crow. Good job. Oh, don't come around the backside, please. We're too busy trying not to miss 86%. What? What? You are kidding me. 87%. Ch 
Chat, it's not me who's killing you. It's not me. It's the game. How? How? How is it possible to miss everything? I don't get it. I am completely innocent in all of this. That's a dying hyena, which is wonderful news. I get hit on a 31. That hyena's dying, which is great. Now the trick is, I need to survive everywhere else, and by everywhere else I mean Stefan, please don't die. It's my luck, so it's still me. Ugh, well, I mean, when you put it that way, it's kind of me. <laughs> That's a nice boulder, says Singulars. I mean, it's the only boulder keeping us alive, so I'm not gonna complain. Ooh, Stefan dodges 255s. That's good. Uh, Stefan, keep healing. Okay, okay, the hyena doesn't go for superpower and mad crow, it just goes around the top. That is wonderful news. Pashka misses 271s. Thank you, game. It's not like I wanted them. Mad Crow gets two hits. Wonderful news. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, superpower, what are we doing? Um. I mean, if the game's giving me 277s, I'll take it. 79, 95. No, I want the 79. That's a good kill. The trick, the A trick, says Game Berserker. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get the good old references in. Ken Chan, you deal with this top flank. I'm still worried about bottom flank. We take a 29 to the face, Ulrich. That's where we don't want to take hits. We can't take hits to the face. Ulrich misses. Naga gets a hit. Dennis with the 93. Hey, we're bringing it back. We are bringing it back, boys. It's possible. Just don't Stefan die to three hits in a row. Please don't. Please don't die to three hits in a row. Uh, I need to get the camera down a bit. Two spaces and a throwing weapon. Ooh, that's some good damage. Stefan only takes one of those hits, not three of them. That's good. Unfortunately, Ken takes a 23. Ouch. Pashka with a good hit. Uh, don't move. Okay, okay. This is workable. They're now fleeing. Uh, Mad Crow, it's 6 action points and 30 fatigue to try and capture it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Murder it! Yeah, there we go. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, do I stun it? Nah, it's not gonna happen. Uh, Mr. Stefan, please, uh, don't die here. I miss a 90! Mmm! Mmm! If Stefan dies because of a 95 miss. Oh, this is not gonna be good. 95% chance to keep Stefan alive. Hmm. Oh, baby rage into the low growl. It's the only way, Diagrin. It's the only way. Let's go for a spin. Oh. There is going to be an undead. Undead. And in the top corner. Damn. Well, hide your wife, hide your kids. There's a Necrosavant in town, and luckily I have a net. But, oh damn. That's not something I'm interested in. Uh, please tell them I, I'm not home. I don't want to be here. Good hits by Ken Chan. 
Stefan dodges 341s. Okay, Stefan's fine. Oh, that would have been a little bit scary. That definitely could have gotten worse. Can't hit the Necrosavant from here, so save up some of your energy, boys. And we're in for the long haul. And the Hyena is scared, and Ulrich gets the kill. Let's go. Let's go! That's a good kill. Uh, I can actually hit the Necrosavant from here. I actually cannot hit this Necrosavant from here. As the Hyena escapes. Uh-oh. Oh, he wants to get the... Ah! <laughs> yes! Yes! The hyena thought he could escape. The Necrosavant says, Hello, um, have you seen your car extended as warranty? I'm sure it needs to be renewed. Uh, and you are not allowed to leave before you renew your car extended warranty. So, uh, that, that, that a hyena is kind of screwed. Kind of screwed. Uh, speaking of the long haul snow, what happens if Tuesday's poll ties? Hmm... That's a good question, Diagran. What if Tuesday's poll does tie? We will have to find a way to do a tiebreaker. Some way indeed. It is a free heal for the Necro, even though it only has like three health. I wonder how much it's going to heal him though. Hopefully not by much. But at least I get to free heal whilst I'm waiting. That's the only good thing that I'm happy about there. Uh, you guys stay around here because he can teleport wherever he wants. Can I hit him? Of course not. Of course not. Sebastian, thank you very much for the tier 1 gifted sub to Dennis. Appreciate the support. And, uh, thank you so much. And congratulations to Dennis for your free gifted sub, man. You're holding up the team. You need to be subbed. Yep, of course. Dennis is there to give the team so much support. <gasps> the hyena escapes. The Necrosomot misses an 86. The next one misses an 88! Okay, this is a bit of a battle of the century, eh? The super fleeing hyena who's not leaving the edge of the map, and this next one who's not letting him go. That just gives us time to refresh and heal up. I like this opportunity. Fatigue is going down, spirits are high, health is going up because Stefan is a gorgeous support. I still can't hit the Necker Savant, and uh, we just watch what happens. As he dodges an 86 again! Okay, this is impossible. This is impossible. This Necker Savant has completely um, embodied the snow... snow-itis. Snow-itis. Because he's missing everything good. I never thought I'd see it on an enemy. But this Necker Savant is everything I stand for. Pure, unbridled missing of super high numbers. He's learning the snowman ways. That's a snow follower right there. <laughs> you guys definitely brought him in. Okay, he finally dies. He heals up. 50 health! 56 points for a guy that had 3 health on him. Holy crap. Well, we've got work to do. We have a lot of work to do. But luckily, Blood Mess is here, and he chunks him down. And we can do Death Blow. More damage when somebody is stuck in a net. And we missed it. It was worth a try. Same thing with this one, if he is... Oh, we can do extra injury. Nah. I'll just do normal damage. Normal damage is all I've got. Uh, I can get Ulrich... Over here. Can't do anything there with Mr. Dennis. I can try this. Nope, that's not going to work. Naga sits over here, and then I can heal people up. Let's go, let's go. Hyped up the skill, then misses. A. Hey, I mean, what did you expect? Though I am surprised we still... He's on one health! Come on, Mad Crow. Proc the nine lives. Mad Crow. Gets the kill! There's only two people that outsped the Necrosavant, and those are the only two people we needed to get the kill. Beautifully done. Absolutely beautifully done. That is two level ups. And some ashes. A nice weapon. And out of all of the hyenas, only one of them gave us something useful. Everything else is garbage. 
Oh, well, not a death blow if you miss a Sakai I mean, that's true. If you miss the death blow, it doesn't really count. Drace, this is sad because we dumpstered his spawn in. I'm sorry, man. We got some good rolls. The spawn in had too much fun along the way. Barlow, let's get you that discovered talent. We need you to get you a bit of stats. And are we going for deeps? Yeah, we're going for deeps. Definitely going for deeps now that you have some really good stuff going for your character. Let's do it. Plus five health. That's insane. And uh, yeah, your character's looking pretty good. Uh, we got a level up for Blood Mess, who was crucial in that fight, so congratulations, man. Muscle Memory doing some disgusting work. Also, kind of interested in going for Killing Frenzy. Not sure if we want to go for anything else per se, uh, though I would be love loving the power shot. Let's go for that Discovered Talent, though, because he has been rolling pretty good, and then he also... It's kind of the meme that I took power... What is it? Discovered Talent at level 9. <laughs> Bit of a meme there, but it works. It works. He's been rolling too good up until this point. The Necker had the strongest snow, it seems. Yeah, walks into a fight, just dies. Uh, so we're out of ammunition. What a surprise. We're forced to take the next quest, as I do remember. And uh, we are moving towards Harakat Musawara. Which is probably not a smart choice. Because nomad quests are more annoying. I forgot what this quest was. Oh, it's a caravan. Well, let's hope the roads are safe. That's gonna be rough. How many cities hate my troop now? I don't know. One of them is almost completely allied with us. Not many hate us. They all like us. It's the Wildmen of yesterday. That's the Saturday stream. Everybody hates us. Bring on the unholds and all the stupid lindworms and orcs and whatever. Nah, everything's gonna come after us now. It's gonna be a no-fun zone. Uh, I would love to get some ammunition, though, but holy crap, look at those prices. Why? Why you gotta do us like that? I don't even have money to pay my men! I can't even buy ammunition for them. Um... Sell the saliva gives me three days of pay. Selling the splinters gives me five days of pay. That'll help me survive. Couldn't do it any other way. Yeah, no, the only problem with the troop start that we're doing is you guys cost way too much. I don't care about the fact that we're low on food because we're doing a caravan. This is this is going to work out. Sing, uh, I'll quickly save, and then we'll do that spin. Spin to rob the peasants. I mean, we've robbed a bunch of peasants, but that's mainly on the Saturday stream. I'm sure the, um, the Sunday stream wouldn't mind it as well, but Sing instead gets a positive trait. Nice roll. Nice roll indeed. You already got impatient. Let's go again. Bright for the 10% experience gain. Nice. Turning out to be quite a good character, and we're not even in the lineup yet. Can't wait to see you in action soon. Uh, let's get this sorted, this sorted. Repair that weapon, which actually could be useful for us. Might give that to Barlow DPS. 35 to 55. No, I'll keep the sword. Mad Crow is out of ammunition. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. Ouch. Luckily, I have some spare javelins. Yikes. Ah, Super Power Belly's almost out of ammunition as well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Desperately need to make some ammunition on this trip. So, as we go on caravan, uh, let's get a lot of you newbies. Welcome to the team. Uh, you've got a lot of work to do making ammunition for us. I need a couple of people working on healing, because we have two annoying injuries. Because these guys just couldn't stop punching each other. 
And I only have a little bit of salvage to do. It's 13 hours. Sweet. Onwards! And immediately we get six tools. Sweet. Sebastian said, should we swap weapons to me? I have the flail thing. Uh, oh, with the Singularis one? Um, yeah, probably. But not right now. Not right now. Because Sing has the higher accuracy and could do so much more damage with this. For the time being. I know not in the lineup, but still. They'll swap later. Swap later. But definitely a trait to match Sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't have traits, so not a collector yet. That's true, you gotta have 10 to collect. Know what, the Bright Field Bright would have been stay in town working as a fishmonger. That, <laughs> Became bright during the journey, can't go against the choices. Um, I think the Goblin Raiders have decided not to attack us, which is wonderful news. Would like to stop this, get all my throwing nets back. Thank you guys for repairing the nets, that is very helpful. Let's do this. Uh, throwing nets will be on one, two... Is that it? Oh, we need a net for Ulrich. Switch to the axes, because the axes are amazing. Net for Dennis, net for Stefan. That's pretty good. Alright, let's quickly save... And we shall make more ammunition. I think that's just all we need to do. As much ammunition as possible. If no one's going to sell us a good price of ammunition, we're going to make it ourselves. Subs, hear me. Vote for modded Terraria, says Diagrin. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I see you're not trying to sway votes or anything. Uh, Rasayaj, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. We are currently on a caravan and getting ambushed, apparently. Hopefully it's during the day. Please tell me this is during the day. Yes! The ranged party shall prevail. Nighttime would have screwed us. That's the other problem with caravans, is um, I don't get to choose when the fights happen. So if the fights happen during the night, I am sad. Definitely sad. But I'm not sad when I get to go for 83s. And miss them entirely. And then, what is that, hit a 37? Dennis, I don't know how you do it. But you almost one-shot a raider who is more dangerous than the thug. I'm not complaining. You have weird methods and weird ways, my man, but you did it. Somehow you did it. Bandits have monks? Yeah, I know. They're not doing a good job of converting them. They're there, but they're not doing well. Zero Power wants to take their nose. Welcome, man. Welcome to the stream. Blood mess? Who are you going to kill? The thug one-shot him to the face? Oh, it was a body shot. 50% chance. It was worth a try. Worth a try. Uh, let's go two spaces with the Mad Crow. Get a 73, and it misses. Damn. I encourage you as you still get to play with Snow since he looks hooked on Ark. What do you mean? I'm not hooked on Ark. No way. Ark's, Ark's just a good game. <laughs> it's such a good game. And yes, I've sunk many hours into that game because it's just addictive. It's too good. Kenshan? No. Okay, that way. Alright, so you convinced me, says Chiefy. Well, that didn't take long to convince him. And how are we missing everything on this silly thug? Oh, damn, we are outnumbered. But we should not be outgunned. There we go. Come on, come on, Pashki. You still have a broken injury. Naga can't do anything. Uh, I'm worried about that guy flanking us. And a 32 hitting freaking Dennis? Really? Dennis and Blood Mess, pillars of the team. Oh, they are. They are indeed. Uh, Stefan, though, we going for War Chant? Make sure our throwers don't get too exhausted, and so we get faster than them, even though we won't outspeed the darn brigands. Dog is dead, and I was not even a cause of it. Look at that, chat. Not even a cause of it. I'm innocent. Though we get hit on a what? 32 with the javelin against Mad Crow. Into his face. 
I call hacks. I call hacks. Uh, 62 to kill the raider. I think I have to go for the raider kill, Dennis. You apparently want him dead, so nicely done. Uh, can I shield bash anybody? I can shield bash that guy, I guess. Just to make it annoying and allow this conscript to have some fun. A broken injury, how does that work? No, I meant <laughs> he's got his broken shoulder. <laughs> I did a double negative. I know, I know. Ken Chan with a beautiful kill. Mad Crow, what's happening, man? I don't even know anymore. Uh, this guy's got no armor. And he's dead. Superpower, you're amazing. Well done. Snow celebrating a dog's death is interesting. That's our snow. <laughs> what did you expect? The dog's gotta go, and so does the thug with the one shot to the face. Blood mess? That's why we love headshot crossbows. One shot to the flippin' face. He's gone. What's that run, Terraria, in the lowest setting? Sounds good. I guess, yeah, Terraria can be pretty rough when it has too much stuff going on on the stream screen at the same time. Um, 70%? Pashko with the head chop, let's go. I knew that was going to be a problem. But Naga, let's go. And he takes a 24. Ah, I'm trying to be, trying to be useful, and it's not working. 16, 6, 9... Superpower should be able to get that kill. Beautiful explosion by the Conscript, lining up both of those hits. Keep that fatigue low, Mr. Stefan. You're doing a great job. Someone has to protect the back line. That is true. Someone does have to, and Naga is working hard. Uh, Mad Crow can do a wonderful leap. Out of danger. Kenshan misses 74. That's unfortunate. Superpower Belly. Beautiful 95. Beautiful 95. Love those axes. They are too strong. Ah, there goes a the shield. I was kind of expecting that. Not expecting the 38 to the helmet, though. Interesting. There's enough ass in the back line to do knocks. <laughs> back line equals main line. I mean, in this team, yes. And this team, everybody's on the back line, and everyone's on the main line. That's all we get. 70%? That's a one-shot from Dennis. To the face! <laughs> it's too good! Uh, Game Research says, if I can run seven days to die and arc all damn things, I should be able to run Terraria. <laughs> You'd think so, GB. You'd think so, but you might be surprised. Press X to doubt says Trace this. Oh, I mean, there is a little bit of doubt. A little bit of little doubt. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Do be careful with the profanity if you don't have to use it. I really do appreciate it. But, yeah, a little bit of X to doubt. Uh, Raider, what are we doing? You're gonna get sniped. You are totally getting sniped, and Ulrich is exhausted. Sakael going for a spin as the conscript just gets a double kill? And he gets this kill as well. Oh man, they're stealing our kills. But right before they can flee, uh, Sakael wants to get ourselves something interesting. Is it going to be interesting? Or is it going to be a free kill? Oh my goodness. Sakael, how do you always do this? How do you just pull up and then rock something insanely scary? <sighs> well... As long as it's not a Kraken. Ooh, I'd rather have a Kraken. No, I don't want a Desert Stalker with a crazy good bow. No. No, I don't want that. Fudge, that's gonna be annoying. Well, we've got our work cut out for us, boys. Sins of Death, welcome to the stream, man. Good timing. Good timing indeed. Shivers. Superpower, good kill. Um, Can I do anything else with Superpower? No, that's the end of his turn. 
But I'm not complaining because that was beautiful. Ken Chan, good job. Uh, I can't get Pashka over there in time. Can stop when this poacher goes. Oh boy, oh boy. That's a snow you can give to one of your ranged boys for the party. That's a bow. Yeah, I know it's a bow for the party. <sighs> it's just gonna be a bow I'd have to rip off of his dead corpse. I have to get him into a dead corpse before he starts doing anything else. Blood mess, let's get a bit closer. Now I've got to chase him down. Nice to see Barlow didn't miss. Nice to see that Pashka gets the kill, which is why I put him down there. Walid, don't set superpower belly on fire. On a 69. Not nice. Not nice at all. Bring out your dead, says Digrin. I mean, I'm not in the mood to lose superpower belly. I mean, I'm only going to move, like, through that many corpses. I think Super Power Belly escaped. I think he's okay, right? Uh, how many tiles did we move? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 tiles? With pierced leg muscles? Yeah, I, I think he's fine. I think he's fine. 5%? Okay, fair enough. Yep, yep. yep. Sad to lose level 11 Crusaders so early, says Naga. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Blood mess. I need you up there. Uh, Mr. Madcrow. Couldn't step on that corpse. Okay, we gotta pinch this guy, boys. Pinch him. Nice, good hit by Ulrich on a 26%. I'm not saying no to that. Throw some sand, don't even care. Let's go! Release the dogs, I know, right? 17, not overpowered. I mean... We're not that overpowered. I'm just worried about this guy. Come on, 24%. I can't get a shot off, that's not gonna happen. I would like to release the dogs, Ulrich, um, but the dogs would get wrecked by this guy. So I am a bit worried. Don't want to get my puppies killed so quickly. 59? No! Dang it. Okay, we're scaring him. We're scaring him. He's got Lone Wolf as well. Why do Desert Stalkers need Lone Wolf? Maybe because he's a, um, a fancy one. Probably the reasoning. Okay, let's go for some death blows on 70%. 70%. Ken Chant, you're really not trying to show off how this death blow works, are you? And the reason why people use Katal daggers. To do damage when people are stuck in nets. And you're meant to have extra accuracy when they're stuck in a net. I don't think I don't think you get the concept of it, man. You really gotta start using it. Please. <laughs> he doesn't break out though, so that's good. And he tries to go for a 5% puncture on Kenshan to be a jerk. Can I get a slam dunk? No, I'll go with the slam dunk. Let's go. Beautiful hit by Blood Mess. Mad Crow. Oh, we're bullying him now. We're bullying him! Oh my goodness, Ulrich gets the beautiful kill, and it's over. Blame Ken Chan for missing, yeah. He's trying to show off that Katal daggers are bad, and I, I believe him. Oh, look at that bow! Oh my goodness, that was worth it. Sakael, you got us the best bow that I've ever seen in a long time. It does not have increased damage ignore as far as I know, but increased damage, increased durability, and minus three fatigue. That's beautiful. Ah, it's a beautiful... Fake champion rigged reroll. Uh, the A in snow is for accuracy, says Stefan. <laughs> yes, yes. The A in snow is for accuracy. That's all I have for you. It's pure, unadulterated accuracy. Oh, but that bow is nice. I don't think anyone can use it right now. 
But if we did have a ranged person for bow, we would use it. It means I can sell this war boat instead. But yeah, look at that. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Anyways, the team is going strong, as you guys can see, and I'm keen. Super keen. Hmm, perfect fit. Rotate? Not very balanced. We do want to go to Houndmaster build. I'll go Dog Whisperer. The dogs you release, unleash gives you Colossus, Fortified Mind, Underdog for the dog that you unleash. It is almost leveled up. This Champion Pathfinder Second Wind Steel Brow Dog has no bonuses in defense, but range defense. Ouch. Ah, never lucky. Never lucky. But we do get some armors for our troubles, so I can't completely complain. Let's, uh, let's set ourselves up, boys. We will get the nice tier 2. Nice tier 1. Naga needs a... No, he doesn't need a tier 1. Barlow needs an upgrade. Uh, Sebastian needs an upgrade. And there's not much else that can be upgraded. Yeah, we're still doing good, though. Can't complain. Quick save, and we continue. And yes, the dog build is in full swing. And it has been a long time since I used a dog build. But they are worth it. For the fun that dogs are, even though they're not really that great. Uh, okay, so Naga has seen we've got a lot of new recruits. Let's teach them a thing or two. Fight one-on-one. -on -one. Show me what you can do. Who are you going to teach, Naga? Sing gets permanent two melee skill. Padma gets a melee skill. Diagram gets a melee skill. Feldspar Prince gets two melee skill. Sebastian gets two melee skill. No one learns melee defense. That kind of sucks. But we do get some very nice permanent stats. So good job for teaching all of our new recruits, man. Good job. Can Enduriel put in a War Cat mod? Maybe. Maybe. Because the AC Companions puts in... Well, it doesn't put in dogs, but it upgrades your dogs. I don't know. Maybe I can get Enduriel to revamp AC correctly. Maybe. I don't want to work him too hard, but i got to make him work with like one thing at a time. But I do have a list of things for him to do. And uh, maybe updating AC Companion correctly might be on that list. Dog upgrades? Yeah, like... Giving dogs better armors. Crack the whip. I'm not cracking the whip on him. Sebastian, you're so mean. And the dog... Here, here, here. See? See? The dogs are good. The dogs got us something. Mr... Is it Hunter? It doesn't tell us which dog did it. But one of the dogs helped us get ourselves a leather hood. Which should have an attachment on it, right? Right... No, it doesn't. It's just a basic leather hood. It's better than nothing. Good puppies. Good puppies. It's an upgrade for Ulrich by like five armor, but it counts. And we have a Nikob as well as the Assassin Mask, which is really cool. Uh, we should give that to... Hashka's got that armor. Uh, we could give it to Kenshan. He's already got his own look going for him. Probably give it to Sing. There we go. Assassin Sing with the Reach Flail looks pretty cool. Like to see it. Why War Cat when you can ask for tigers or spawn lions? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, we get our money our experience we get so much ammunition to solve all of our problems because dang nabbit we use a lot of ammunition in this party that's the only problem with the ranged parties pashka not okay fodder rolls ones ouch ouch that's rough uh i want to go spear build in terms of like double grip 
Which means I should go balance and defense. Yeah, let's hope that gives me plus seven. That's not bad. Uh, Sebastian as our banner. Congratulations is all up. Let's go complete support build. And get student. Nice. Uh, Feldspar the pimp. Not bad. Not bad. Let's get that nine lives going. Never know when you might need it. Diagrin the tank. A little bit low in terms of resolve, which does happen to disown nobles sometimes. But we can fix that. Yes, we can. Uh, Padma the Looney as a tank. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Looking great. Let's get that Phalanx strong. And then Sing with the Reach Flail. Plus one. Ouch. But you did get some permanent stats, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, we can do a Reach Flail Mind of Our Body. Oh, I do love the Mind of Our Body builds. And that gets up to 84. Yep, I'll do it. Uh, from all sides, I'll grab that. As I go attack, resolve into the fatigue until I roll a good health. Nice. Nice. It's all coming together, boys. All coming together. I can see the redeems of Sekael going for a quest and Game Berserk for a spin. And, uh, we'll see what we can do. Don't forget to change the dog title to dog tank. Yep, I will forget, so dog tank helps. Thank you, Ulrich. You do want to be the Puppy Master, and you shall. You shall be the Puppy Master. And eventually, the coolest thing about dog tanks, uh, not just dog tanks, just dog characters, um, is you get bags and belts, which is nice to see that this character has it. But you get the ability, which is this one, Pack Leader, where I think you can put the dogs in your backpack. So you can have, like, five dogs. So Ulrich will just release five dogs on the battlefield. And just have wonderful times. So, super keen for that. Let's quickly save. Don't lose any of our progress. And the first quest is the worst quest. Oh, it's a freaking delivery. Oh, <laughs> I have to take it. Thanks, Sakael. <sighs> I need to buy some food. You guys eat way too much. Holy crap, there's so many people in reserve. They're eating all my food. I only have... 185 food is worth four days. What? What? No. Damn. You guys... See, I starve you guys on Saturdays. And you guys eat me completely out of house and home on Sundays. I guess that's the retaliation there. Holy crap. That is a minus bad trait. Looking forward to that, Game Berserker, my man. Um, and let's look at your character first. Tiny and superstitious. Can't lose anything there. Uh, we could lose... Oh, uh, what could we lose? It's bad. The dumb's in the wrong spot, though. Hmm. Maybe I quickly save and reload. Maybe that'll fix it up for me. Imagine you have to purchase inventory slots for your um, Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. That's how it feels sometimes. Okay, Superstitious didn't change. Lumbering changed. Dumb didn't change. I kind of want them to change, though. Snow is surprised that feeding a circus takes a lot of food. Hey, man. It, it doesn't make sense. You guys shouldn't be eating a lot of food. I'm only taking you on road trips. And making you perform against your will. It's not rotating. It's not rotating the perks I want to rotate. That's not fair. I'm trying to game the system. It's not letting me game the system. I might have to re-roll that one for you, GB. The game, it's not ga letting me game the system in the slightest. No, it didn't rotate him again. <gasps> oh, it rotated the Superstitious. Never mind. Goodbye, Superstitious. GB, you're fixed. All yours, just tiny, and we're not going to fix that. 
Your height's not going to be fixed with stilts here in this circus. We're a non-stilt circus, apparently. You're going to live with the own legs that you have. There we go. Better armors. Love to see it. Oh, you love to see better armor on bros. You guys already have... Wait, that's a 40. Can upgrade that. Nice. Alright, we save it and we're set. How am I supposed to be loony, says GB? I mean... You're still a little bit loony. What's your background say? Working on and off, Padma the loony is known as a washerwoman. Someone to ask whenever linens need the rinse. So having no experience in battles, staring too deep in the bottle made her believe that traveling mercenary companies seemed a good opportunity to seek redemption. Yeah, you're a loony because you you drunk yourself to the idea of joining a mercenary company. I'd say that's pretty loony. That's pretty loony to me. So, yep. That'll work. Uh, and we are taking this annoying delivery. Fudge. Padma the alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. It's Padma the alco, which I'm assuming is the, the way to say alcoholic. According to my knowledge. Don't have enough um, space on the darn name. Uh, I'm going to Steinhaus, and that's so far away. Oh, well. Let's hope we don't get attacked, as I see a battle site. I'm back, still alive. Yep, yep. What force did we get? We got a stupid delivery. Went for the tier 2 instead of the tier 1, and it stuck me on a darn delivery. We don't have to feed the animals? Yeah, I know, right? If I had to feed the animals and you guys, I'd be burning through like 100 food a day. We make it safe and sound. No bad events happen to our cargo, but I'm not happy. I don't want to have to do that quest. It's another delivery. Uh, fine. It's so expensive to walk around the map. Why are you guys so expensive to me? <laughs> I need better quests. Oh, I can't just live off of deliveries. Homewick, give me something better. We only have one dog? No, no, we've got more than one dog. I thought we had more than one dog. We've got Hunter. And we've got Blitz, who's level 3 as well. That's the one with Cull. Remember? We got the Cull dog. Which is pretty cool. Don't blame your bros for making you money, says Rasayej. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're the ones making me money, they're the ones taking my money. I only have two days worth of wages, though. That is that is something to complain about, though. <sighs> Snow killed me, unfortunately. Oh, because he liked being superstitious. He just doesn't matter superstitious. Uh, hi, Serpents. Don't be a flippin' delivery. Okay, it's beasts. At least it's something to pay you guys. Uh, I'll take it. Do I take these serpents out as well? It is a daytime fight. I could probably snipe the serpents. Oh, it'd be really bad to fight them. I'm not getting paid to fight them. Yeah, I'm not getting paid to fight them. I'm getting paid to fight in 27 knocks? Oh, the game really thinks I'm strong now. I don't agree. But then again, it is all tier 1s. Hmm, we do a little trolling. I know, GB, I know. You gotta keep it interesting, man. You can't just let me have an easy breezy time here. What's the point? What's the point of watching a streamer who's casually enjoying his... His gameplay. That's boring. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of tier twos. Dennis, that's a good stun. I'll take it. 
I know, right? Barlow 27's a bit... It's a bit we have to worry about. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, 95 times 2. One of those did more damage, because he hit him in the face, I think. Ouch. Well, we got our work cut up for us, boys. A lot of work to do. Hey, Blue Lion, welcome to the stream, man. That's not all tier 1s, I know. I wish it was. That's like 7 tier 2s? 8 tier 2s? Oh, no. If any of them eat a corpse, I'm screwed. Oh, Sebastian, thanks for the spin. This is actually doable if we were not a ranged race party, says Stefan. No, I think ranged race party helps to whittle them down, but it doesn't help with corpse control. So, I... I don't know, man. I don't know. But whatever happens, the spin's gonna make it worse. That is a brigand barbarian. Possible nomad, though. An archer? That's not gonna help. That ain't gonna help in the slightest. Uh-oh. It's a distraction. Not a great distraction, but it is a distraction. Good hits by Mad Crow. Not a kill, sadly. Uh, I'll take the 93. Not a headshot, so it's not a stun. Ken 63s. Nice. Barlow. That's not a dead tier 2. I would have liked that to be a dead tier 2, but okay. I'll work with the spear wall, slow things down. Blood mess, what are we doing? Working on the 95s where we can. Uh, axes. They're all very low, but they're not dead yet, which is kind of a good thing. Kind of a good thing. Uh, Toby, welcome to the stream. Uh, dogs. Uh, dogs would get mauled and they would leave a corpse and then the Nox could eat the corpse. So dogs is a very bad idea to bring to a Nox fight. Because I do not want to give away free tier 3s. Uh, but thank you for the suggestion regardless. <laughs> um, because dogs could help with cleanup, but it cannot help in the early stages of this fight. They are a last resort, as I was saying, Barlow. Yes, yes. The spear wall is working great. Ulrich as the dog tank is looking... He was looking good until he missed, but that's okay. Dogs are strong. Our dogs are strong, but they're not strong enough for, like, tier twos. The Nomad Arch is helping, which is nice. Hello, tier two. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, we're struggling now. We need to get kills. We now need to get as many kills as possible in advance. Ulrich, don't die. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, they're going around the back rank. No, 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 no. Let me have my turn. For goodness sakes, there's so many of them hitting 35s. 30%. Oh, this is rough. And, Dennis, you don't need to be missing 84s, man. You really don't. Stefan dying? Maybe. I am worried if he is going to die here. Um, but I want him to get a stun. And he does! 30% stun, Stefan. You are amazing. Do I release the Hound now? Yeah, I do. Mainly because he's going to be a nuisance. 50% blitz. You can do better than that. Okay, kills time. Blood mess. Good job. Naga. Good job. That's a fleeing enemy. Perfect. Pashgood, 71s! Oh my goodness. Good shield bash. Good tier 2 kill, Barlow. Good job. Had to go for that shield bash because I need him to die. Superpower belly, this guy's in front of you. Really? Uh, I need Mad Crow to go first. Oh dear Ulrich, can you just shield wall this please? 
The tier two is going around the side to get the dog. Oh no. Oh no. Good kill by Mad Crow. That's a tier two dead. Blood Mist can reload and get a... Chat, I swear the game hates me. I needed that 95 to proc a lot of white flags. And that's a 95 miss. Holy crap. <sighs> okay. And that's another 95 miss. Chat, what is happening? Why does the game hate me? Oh my goodness. Well, we're in for a long haul. Though the dog is working, which is lovely. Challenge mode activated. Yep, it's a new stat for the tracker. Yeah. Did I not turn the stats mod on? I did turn the stats mod on, and apparently the stats mod says, screw you too. It doesn't like me winning, so it wants to keep track of my failures this time. Oh boy, oh boy. Ulrich's dodging 5%. Good job, bud. Good job. Keep it up. Don't you sit there and eat anything, buddy. Stay in the, the cone of death. I'm sorry. 26 and 32. Is that good enough for you, buddy? And then a 30% after... I'm done. I am freaking done. Twenty-six, thirty-two, and a 30 and he's dead. Ulrich dies in three hits. And that's a headshot, a body shot, and a headshot. What? After I miss like 295s? The game sends me that. Wow, the game really doesn't want me to win. It really doesn't want me to win. Holy crap. Chat GG. One less mouth to fill, I know, right? But still, holy crap. And there's double 73 misses. Yep. Yep, that's fine. I can miss double 73s. And a 95 again. I'm losing my mind, chat. I'm losing my freaking mind. I... Oh... 395s, but they can hit 330s. And under 30s. There is 173 that I've hit the entire time. I've rolled what? An 84, a 99, a 99, a 91, a 90. How? How? Losing is fun. Yep. Losing is so much fun, as they say. Oh, and those guys are going to get tier 3. There's nothing I can do to stop that, is there? Mad Crow, what do you got? Can you switch hands? Nope, then throw a net. Holy crap, chat. This is rough. Let's backflip over here. And we can't do anything else. As a dead dog. Yeah, what a surprise. What a surprise. Let's backflip one space over here. And that's all I can do. What a surprise. Uh, I stand on a corpse. Gotta stop these tier two somehow. Yeah, I gotta do that. It's the only way I can survive. They're dying on the way out, which is very good. Tame one of the little ones? Ah, oh, there's no way that happens. The dog is working his best. I I don't know if I can win this. Can I throw hands for a second time? Says GB. No, 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 no. Not throw hands. <laughs> Holy crap. 10 percents. Yeah, Barlow is going to die to 10 percents. I'm sure of it. Yeah, just eat in front of my face, of course. Oh, tier 3 in the back ranks on the dog corpse. I called it! I called a tier 3 going on a dog's corpse. I absolutely called that. 
damage. If we didn't have bad luck, we could have had this fight. There's a dead dog. Yep. That's a dead dog. There's no way I'm taming these guys. 0 0.8, 0 1.6, 0%. Stefan, keep singing. It's all you've got, man. It's all you've got. I think I need to tumble. Dennis, stay out of that mess. Uh, what do I do now? Miss. Breaks out. Stands up to Mad Crow. Fudge. Five health. Double 65, it's not enough. It's not enough. Without bad luck, I wouldn't have luck at all. I mean, you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Mad Crow, switch weapons, switch to a shield, and get out of there eventually. Um, Rasley Edge going for a spin. Let's see what we get. Anything we get can't be worse than this. It just can't. Help is coming. It is an undead. Please be the queen. I'm actually wanting to see the queen. <laughs> well, that's Rackengeist. That's Rackengeist. Oh my goodness. Well then. Uh, that's going to help kill the neck, the, the Nox, but it's also going to help kill us. So, yeah, we're screwed. I have to retreat this. Then if I retreat, the all oh, the people who are down are already dead. I might retreat once Rackgeist um, gets upon us. He only has seven action points. It's still enough action points. Um, but yeah, no need to thank me, says Rassayesh. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. What's our next run? I mean, good question. Good question indeed. Uh, please, Barlow. Yes, get this guy to flee because he's on a corpse and he could get to tier three. Holy crap. Superpower, please switch hands. Why is this guy's morale not getting checked? Good kill on the way out. That Rackgeist can get this kill, please. Stefan's gonna die. Someone refresh my memory, what's that? Oh, that's the Watermill boss. That is the undead boss from the Watermill fight. He's, um, pretty rough to deal with. And once you kill him, he turns into a ghost. And has his geist friends spawn in. Um, he might be on the same team, though. That's the only issue. He is undead. Nox are undead. So if he's on the same team, then we're screwed. And I mean, we're already screwed. I can't win this fight. No, we're not on the same team. That's good. So Rackgeist, please get some kills. Would greatly appreciate it. Naga with a good kill. Mad Crow can't leap. Why is it 41 fatigue? Oh my goodness. Dennis, why is there a single knock on you? Really? Oh, I can't do anything! I'm so freaking screwed. Tier 3, get a net on you. I can't I can't do anything here. 67, 67, 76. Uh Pashka, go for a repost in case they accidentally miss you. Don't know how it's gonna help. But hopefully it helps. Barlow, please get that kill. Superpower, you left him on 17. Really? Really? Nox are beast and not undead. No, oh, Barlow rolls an 82 out of an 81. Just my freaking luck. And then Barlow gets wrecked on a headshot on a 10%. Times two! I'm over. I'm done. I am so done. What is this? Double 10%. What is going on with this? Oh, double eleven percent. Yep. You didn't guys. You guys didn't break me. The game broke me. That's double eleven percent. 
Double ten percent. Uh, what was this last one? Double forty nines. That's kind of acceptable. I I can't catch a break today. Oh, don't tell me. No, no. The seventeen health tier two. Seventeen health tier two. Walks up and heals to full. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I can't do anything in this fight. Wow. Holy crap. All the tier threes you ever want. Yep. AC curse this run. I'll I'll blame AC for it. I will happily blame AC. Yeah, it's a dead Stefan. Um, the repost is working for Pashka. Good job. I just need to kill tier ones. That's all like I can actually do at this point in time. Can hit a sixty-nine because I rolled a ninety-five. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed. At least Rackin' Guys can get some kills. Make him feel good about himself. 69, nice. Easy quest has Dre's this. Yeah. Too easy of an easy quest. Superpower Belly, you're exhausted. And the tier 2 comes back. What a surprise. Uh, Stefan. Kenchan, I mean, somehow survives. So good job. What's the next run? Good question. Good question indeed. Uh, yep. 13% on Barlow! Double tens and then a 13%. I am so done with this. <laughs> I don't understand numbers anymore. I think I've lost my ability to do math. Because this game is just confusing. Though, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Naga's devoured. Does the fight end if I get devoured? Maybe it does. Oh my goodness, Dennis, could you not miss that and hit something else? Fudge. Mm, this is bad. This is bad. I did say that staying Fishmong were doing a smart thing to Systematico. Well, I appreciate it. Not our unsung hero. I know, right? We got two people devoured. And uh, Pashka's in there. So enjoy the bellies, Pashka, and enjoy the tier threes. Uh, Rackgeist is going to do very well. I think I just need um, Dennis to run circles around the map. I think that's all he can do. Oh, but he's exhausted. Of course he is. Fudge. Come on, come on. Let the wonderful undead king himself. Early arch stream today, Terraria multiplayer Tuesday. This is cheap. I mean, there's a possibility. Oh my goodness, you do need not you do not need to eat. You guys need to stop eating. Dennis, get out get out of there. Secretly hide. They don't see you. They only see Rackgeist. Show off the power of the undead. They're actually only going for him. This is good. Dennis could possibly live to continue this run. It's possible. I don't think he's gonna lose. That's the thing. As many as tier 3s are there, I don't think he's gonna... Oh, fudge. Now that he's surrounded, they're gonna come for Dennis. Oh, no. Does he have, um... Please tell me he has a repost. He doesn't. No, no, they're going for Dennis! Don't keep biting them. Use your stupid sword, you dumb mini-boss. He's an actual boss, and he's also getting wrecked by 80%. Maybe they need to kill him. 
Can Dennis not retreat? He can retreat, but I'm wanting this guy to get some kills. The undead king cannot be killed. Come on. Fudge. Okay, that's a kill. And then the tier 3 goes there. Okay, fair enough. Let's do arc now, says Barlow. <laughs> you guys are keen. Oh, he misses a 94. Rackgeist misses a 94. I want to see him die, though. Please. Let Rackgeist die so all the ghosts spawn. Yes, they're going after him. He brought to nine lives. There's the ghosts. Let's go. Come on, ghosts. You guys can win this. No, never mind. Never mind. The ghosts are losing on 44%. Come on, ghosts. You can win this. You can win this. Come on, ghosts. Yes, he's finally using his stupid sword for the first time ever. Don't know why he was using his bite earlier. That's so dumb. So I take it we're all dead. We still have people in reserve. And um, we're not all dead yet. Not yet. Okay, can you guys stop eating the corpses to heal? That's annoying. Just take your damage like a man. I am enjoying this fight, though. In terms of these two fighting. I'm not enjoying the fact that we got ourselves massacred. I'm kind of sad that the king's getting wrecked by Nox, though. I mean, we got wrecked by Nox, but so is the him, so I mean... Ooh, ooh, the ghosts are doing damage. Oh, you almost got the kill, ghost. Come on. Come on, you're so close. And the screams are doing nothing. Okay, finally the scream hits. Yay, the screams are hitting well. And then, well, of course, one of the ghosts dies. Ah, another ghost dies to a 44. Okay, a tier 2 dies. That's good news. Come on, come on. How is the legendary undead king... Unable to deal with Nox. Dennis, you just sit tight. I mean, he's doing damage. He's just not doing much. Dennis is adding another spin in to make this fight even more interesting. Okay, if you say so. If you say so. Some of the screams are kind of working. The king needs some help. That is true. Oh, another ghost goes down. Really? Oh, they're rolling on like 50% with their confidence. Oh, that's rough. Back to NGH and the knock run to kill the Rackgeist. I know, right? We gotta send our own knocks against Rackgeist. Okay, let's go for a spin. I have no idea what's gonna happen. This has already gone pretty insane. It's a free kill. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess we kill one of the really healthy tier 3s. Oh, but if we kill that one, Naga's inside. We could save Naga, and Naga could do damage. But then Naga could get killed. That's the only problem. Is that what you're thinking, Dennis? We gotta get Naga out? Okay. I think he might die in this situation. But, I mean, it's for the fun of it. Naga has returned! He'll get surrounded? Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll just get eaten again, that's the thing. He'll just get eaten. Naga, save us all! And the lightning! The lightning's working! And now Naga's fleeing. Great. <laughs> the stupid ghost! You're meant to be helping us! <laughs> Naga's fleeing. Crap. And he got eaten again! <laughs> That's what I thought was gonna happen! He just got eaten again, so he's no longer fleeing. Oh, that's too good. 
That's too good. Okay, rocking ice, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die! No! Don't die! He's on 3 health and he's dead. No! This guy's on 28! He's so close! Ghost helps Dennis not Nagas. I know, right? Dang, these ghosts are so crap compared to the Nox. But that's a tier 3 dead. But I can't do more than that. That's another ghost dead. Wow. Useless mini boss. I mean, he's technically a boss. That's the thing. He's like an actual boss. He doesn't have his entourage. But damn, he got wrecked. Not sure only run when? I don't know. But yeah, these two ghosts are not going to last. Wow. That's rough. I guess the Nox had all the luck today. They really did. All warm and safe inside here, says Daikrin. <laughs> yeah. We've got Pashka and um, Naga. And I think we have to leave them behind. Oh, this is a sad scene. We lose the crossbow. We lose so much. Frying pan into the fire, man. There's nothing I can do. Dennis. Wait, I can't click on retreat? There we go. That was rough. Those who fall behind are left behind. They're still alive, you can't leave them. I mean, they're inside the belly. They're not going to be alive for a long. There we go, they turned into mush. We left them to turn into mush. That's rough. Ulrich lost his head. Yeah, when the numbers are against you, chat, that's what happens. Holy crap. Wow. Well, our new recruits are now our only recruits, so... Gotta go for that rebuild. Oh, if only I didn't have such bad luck. If only. But thank you very much for the no tryouts, Naga. Let's see what we can do with it. Uh, I am going to double check. Are these still tier 1s or tier 2s, or is it tier 3s? Forget to people who die, but the crossbow, why the crossbow says over. I know, right? Why do we have to lose the amazing crossbow? We still have the bow. Um, Dennis is still a nice ranged person. Digrin can use that for the time being. Yeah, it's the best we can do. Um, I guess now is any time is the time to switch Sing and Sebastian's weapons. Uh, sword? For Padma? A lot of throwing weapons. We lost the famed throwing weapons as well, chat. That was rough. Oh, I hate losing famed throwing items. Damn. Uh, I do want to check to see if these guys are still tier 2 or tier 1, because then we could beat them. If they've gone up to tier 3, then I'm sad. No, no, we could possibly beat them. But it is 6 versus 8. Hmm... Seventy-three, seventy-eight, seventy-three. If we go corpse control, it could work. Good job, Dennis. Good job. Uh, Diagon will sit up a little bit closer. Let's see how this goes. Oh, hi, Tier 2. Oh, fudge. This is bad. Nice double 50s by Diagrin. We need some kills to make you guys happy. Good hit by Feldspar. Oh, come on, Sing. We need an actual hit here. Fudge. No! No, the 88 misses! 
Oh no. He doesn't go for the corpse. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Fudge, if this one goes for the corpse, though, we're screwed. I love that the tier two's fleeing. Come on, we need, we need one thing to go our way. The tier two's not... Okay, good. No, we're getting exhausted. Okay, good hit by Sing. That's a very good hit. 35s. Nope, it's not enough. No, Padma, you can't miss like that. Good hit by Sebastian. Good kill by Dennis. Push back the tier two. Okay, okay, this is working. This is working slowly. The knock walks back. No. No. Okay, calm down. Calm down, guys. Stop doing this. Yes, white flags. Let's freaking go. Oh, the white flags of victory. Boys, we'll sing them. Sing them all the way home, except don't die, Padma, please. Uh, let's get Sebastian over here for some accuracy. And then we get Dennis with the... Stun, let's go. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. Good kill by Digrin. Uh, do I go for the slam dunk or do I go for the 53? 43? 53? Ouch. Okay, we're playing wet noodle fight, apparently. It's quite the wet noodle fight. Dennis, please. Good, that's another kill on the block. That's another kill on the block. Tier 2, don't go for the corpse. But he gets a headshot. Of course he gets a headshot. Come on. Come on. Yes! Sing! Let's go! Oh, let's freaking go. Nice. Snow's got his luck back. I mean, a little bit. A little bit of luck goes a long way. That was rough. Of course I'm running him down. They freaking murdered my whole party! That was rough. We get paid. Our roster is a lot cheaper than it used to be. Look at that. From 360 bucks a day to 87. Maybe we did need that culling. No, we didn't. I didn't want to lose those guys. I really didn't. We did not need to have that many deaths. Oh, as much as you guys eat three food a day. I need some bandages. We still have the B party. Yeah, we've got the backup team. We've got the team 2.0. Ah, uh, let's go survival instincts. That's good stuff. Sebastian as our banner. Well done. Let's get some gifted going. And actually, no, let's get some rally the troops. Let's make our team happy. Let's get some renown. Sing with the plus three. That's what we love to see. Well done. And then we go for head smasher. Nice. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's sell some copper for a decent price. Selling anything else at a decent price? 17? Nah. Nah, I'm good. I'll go to a different city. But let's quickly, quickly look after ourselves here. I don't have any salvage. You guys need happiness training. As we get the Sergeant Sash. I'm going for Noble Houses, but I don't know how far away we are from it. Oh, we're really close. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I do have money and food, and I have the Sash, which should go to right to Mr. Sebastian. Looking glorious with that Sash, my man. Uh, then who needs the... Ooh. 
Well, you've got a death wish, so Padma needs this one. Nice. Okay, let's go to Steinkai, and hopefully they have something good. Oh, the Serpents want to chase us now. That's right, because we're weak. They didn't want to chase us earlier, so I'm a bit worried about that. We got rid of the subpar performers, says Sebastian. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Not really, but I'll do all the tier one follow the tracks to make ourselves get back on track. Uh, please tell me you're selling at a good price. 21, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's make some money. Clean up this horrible inventory. Yep, don't need that. Don't need a lot of these things. Brains, who needs them? Um, yeah, I can get rid of those. Actually, for nine bucks, is that worth it? No. I'll take that back. Take some medicine. Not medicine, some wonderful bandages. Oh... Actually, do I, did I lose my net repair? No, I have no net repairs anymore. Oh, that sucks. And I lost my inventory slots. Oh man, everything's being a bit struggly at the moment. But we can rebuild. Tryout? There's no tryouts in town? Oh, that's true. We do have a no tryout. Yeah, that is true. But it is nighttime. I'll do it after the fight. Because uh, it went to nighttime before I saw you guys say that and reminding me. But yeah, we do have some no tryouts that you guys redeemed, and I will increase the party size. 79% uh, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you. Even at night, you still got the accuracy, man. Snow doesn't need brains, no one forgets left and right. Wait, what's left and right? <laughs> yes. Hey, it happens, man, it happens. When I gotta focus on ten different things at once, man. Oof. It definitely gets to you. Okay, so they have a single 5%er in range, second 5%er, and that's it. So he says, I need to remind you later, says Naga. No, no, I should be able to remember it. After I get double 23'd. No, 5% then 23'd. Thanks. 43, 53, 71. Dennis, keep going. Nicely done. Fight Nox, now Rabbles. I mean, it feels a lot better fighting Rabbles. Just gonna say it. It feels nice. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad. Okay, stop with your stupid 23s, you dumb flail. Oh, and I can miss a 60, but he can hit the 23s. Not even thugs. It was a tier 1 for like 200 bucks. Ah, Dennis, it's okay. You missed. Nice. Don't you start fleeing! Nice. He's probably gonna flee. Oh, especially since this guy bled out. No, I can't get to him. Yes, I can get to him. Sweet. I do outspeed him. That's rare. Usually I don't outspeed the enemies. But we did outspeed him this time, so sweet, we got it. Not even thugs, is that legendary difficulty too easy for Snow? Sister Ace, this... Oh. Yeah, loses his entire party. It's too easy for Snow. Yep. Yep. You need dogs to catch the running rabble? Yeah, but we lost both the dogs in the last fight, Ulrich. <laughs> if only we could get some more free dogs. It'd be nice. Um, Feldspar, congratulations on your level up. Good job, your stats are doing quite well. Uh, Padma, plus three, plus two, plus three is kind of rough, but it's something. Into... Oh, camp cooking, right? We have a cook tank. Let's go. And that means I could buy some cooking equipment. 
Yay! Things are looking up. It's worth the grand. I cook, I clean, says he came for Zerker. I know, right? Does everything we need him for. 290 bucks. What's the tier 3? I'm dreading what the tier 3 is. Oh, it's a caravan. Oh, but they're going to pay us so much, but I don't think we'll win. We'll do the no tryouts. We'll add to the party. Uh, I'm looking at these fishmongers thinking they are a very good choice. The miner is a decent choice. That's a cheap juggler. Ooh, there's so many fishmongers, though. I want a fishmonger. Hmm. How many other tryouts have you guys done today? One. I think it was just the one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go for a fishmonger. Let's go with the cheapest fishmonger out there, and he's kind of ugly, but he'll be fine. I mean... That's not bad. That's a reach build for sure. Reach cleaver? Reach mace? With aggressive 15% melee damage. That could hurt. Yeah, I'd say reach cleaver is a pretty good call. Not extra accuracy, sadly, but there's like three extra accuracy. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. So, reach, cleave, build. And it can work. Um, who wants to join in as the no tryout? I do believe uh, Naga did it. So, do Naga, you want you have your own character back? Naga, what, 3.0 now? Welcome. Welcome back. Naga says yes, and we're happy to have him back. Uh, we do have a polearm, which is a great idea to give to you. Hopefully you don't die with it. And armor-wise, 25 foot... That's the best we can do. Helmet-wise, let's just hope you'll be fine. Uh, we do have a lot of salvageables, which is a good thing to fight rabbles. That is the best reason to fight them. They give you so much free crap. Uh, salvage that, salvage that, salvage all the crap. And then I want to get someone new. Let's quickly save, though. Uh, Drazus wants to go for no tryout as well. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for the other fishmonger, I think. Oh, there's a fisherman for 300. But let's go with Mr. Gruff. Got a bit of stubble there. Let's see if he's got something good. Ludwin is a slight disappointment. And he's club-footed and he's night blind. Ooh, um... Okay, tank, roll, well. Ouch. That's rough. But I mean, you guys make me do a no tryout, so we're basically playing with complete blindfolds on. But uh, he's playing with a night blindfold and a horrible club foot. So good luck with that. Um, let's give him... The f fancy spear... Let's give him a 40 helmet. And goodness me, we're running out of good armor. As usual, we're running out of everything. But that's the best I can do. Okay, so for the party size, are we full? We're not full. I do want to test out something. I see Sev going for a spin. But before we spin... I'm so glad I didn't go for the juggler. Oh, I'm so glad that guy's garbage. Um, I will spend some money to try out some people. I want some good people. Pragmatic. Hmm, maybe that could make up for this character. And they're talented. Snowcall? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's Lemon. Solem, thank you for the resub with Prime for six months, man. Appreciate the support and glad you're enjoying. Uh, especially with today's struggles. That is a good tank. You're not fancy with shields, though. That's the sad part. 
Um, how are we for frontliners? Tank, tank, tank. Kind of a tank. We need more DPS. We don't need more tanks. We need more DPS. Uh, militia. Nocto... Nyctophobia. No, I don't like Nyctophobia very much at all. And I don't like militia that are embarrassingly bad at their job. Ah, uh, the fish... Oh, triple defense with shields. Mm. Excuse me, that's tempting. That miner could have been good, but I didn't want to. Uh, fishmonger... Nope, you're useless. Oh, why is everybody wanting to be a tank at this point in time? Why? Triple defense and a flippin' dexterous. Oh, why is everyone just so flipping defensive? I'm taking the fishmonger, and I'm taking possibly the miner with dexterous and death wish. Oh, but he doesn't have shield expert. But Dexterous could get him to a decent skill level, where he could be damaging. Mm, okay, they're cheap enough to try out. Because range didn't work? No, 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 it's not about range not working. It's about me having bad luck. But it's all about... Ooh, you are talented, aren't you? Yep, okay, so this person's good. Definitely a DPS character. Oh, I'm keen. Um, but did you roll high enough? Oh. Rolled insane for defense, but didn't roll high enough for damage. Unless out with a pickaxe build. Actually, yes, pickaxe tank. That'll work. That'll work. Um, I don't know if there's legendary pickaxes, but I can still go with like one-handed maces and stuff. Or just go with the pickaxe, because screw that. That'll work. Solon wants the miner? Sure thing, man. Welcome to the party. Are you Solom 1.0 or 2.0? That's the big question. Have we killed you before? We have a long list of killing. Yes, I did kill you before. So that is Solom 2.0. <laughs> Definitely. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, and who wanted the uh, fishmonger? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we do have a bit of um, shiny armor on some people, so we're still surviving. So many dead. I mean, Naga's in the lead with 3.0. <laughs> it's a long list. But that's the thing. On stream, we have fun with all the deaths, and uh, we show ways of coming back. Stefan wants to join in? Sure thing. We do need some good DPS in this party. Uh, Drazus thinks he's 2.0. Did I not put you as 2.0? Diagrin. Drazus the Fencer. Did I not put your character as 2.0? Oh, that's this character. Yeah, that's right. I forgot to rename it. There you are, Drazus. Welcome, welcome. I was wondering where I put your character, and I forgot to rename it. If Barlow joins in, he's a 4.0. That is true. That is true. Since I have a melee star, should you be DPS? Says Game Berserker. Game Berserker, where are you? Padme? No. No, no, no. You're not going to be... You're not going to be a melee person. Because you're not going to get high enough to the level. You're only a guaranteed 71 to 79. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be good enough, man. A single star usually doesn't de designate DPS. It's two stars that usually does, and you have to have a decent enough starting skill. Um, Solom's a pickaxe tank because he can get accuracy from this to plus 12 melee skill. Um, and the reason why Stefan is a DPS is because he's got one star, but his base stat is 59. And um, Padme's is 55, which for some weird reason, maybe it's calculating it wrong. 
No, it's not calculating it wrong. Yeah, no, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been good enough. But the reason why I'm going with Stefan is because he's gifted and talented. He's got the um, Rising Star, he's got the accuracy for a cleaver build. Or even a spear build with over... Why am I never lucky with spears and overwhelm? Why am I never lucky? Fudge, that's annoying. Then I guess he's a sword build because of the accuracy. Spears and overwhelm never happens. Dennis says he has to die. I mean, you are one of the OGs. You're one of the oldest characters on the team. There's no way you have to die. <laughs> no perks are you going with me, says Naga? Where's Naga? Oh, Reach Cleaver. Definitely going Reach Cleaver. Um, I don't need to make you a cook because technically Padme's the cook. Uh, going with as many Butcher's Fillet, Butcher's Strikes... As many cleaver perks as we can. Uh, even Vigorous Assault would be actually good for a Reach Cleaver, surprisingly enough. That's actually a good thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually keen on that. Dennis's plot armor? Apparently he does. Apparently he does. I don't know how much melee skill I had, I just know the star says GB. Yeah, that's alright, that's alright. Um, Stefan, what are we looking at? Hopefully some survivability. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is gonna be rough. I'm all out of helmets. Okay, Naga. You gotta sacrifice your helmet for the time being. Oh boy. Everyone's in the lineup, and we just need to not die. Uh, we take the caravan? Yeah, we take the caravan. If we get attacked, we're just ditching. It's gonna screw us over for getting noble contracts, but... I don't want noble contracts, because it'll get us killed. Noble contracts are too hard for this team. Uh, but we will go training, because I need the new guys to level up. Also, I wish I had more tools. Before we go training, let's do this. You're gonna pay 10 crowns a head for the whole company? No. No, I'm not spending our hard-earned money. You guys aren't drinking just yet. You guys are gonna die. <laughs> Dark Xavier, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying. Welcome to the stream. And also, Stefan, thank you for the spin. Let's see what we get for the party. What luck is gonna go our way to try and do this rebuild? That is barely on the brown, which means it is a positive trait. So, Stefan, where is your character? He is right here. DPS, positive trait. Let's see what we get. Survivor! Okay, that's some good omen right there. That is some good omen. Survivor, pragmatic, and short-sighted. Let's see how you go. Let's see. Let's quickly save. And we shall continue. Bit more salvage. As things are repairing. Please don't anything attack us on this trip. This is going to be so valuable for the team. Uh, we're done doing that. Now it's time to train. Gotta train as much as we can. Come on, boys. Survive the caravan. Is it a really good omen? It means we would die more to utilize that trait, says <laughs> Stefan. Hey, 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 we'll be fine. We've got, like, look at the roads. They're being patrolled for once in their lifetime. It's so rare to see. Look, look, there's a patrol. Please protect us. No, you went the wrong way. I spaced out. Did you do my spin, Sebastian? Yeah, yeah, we did your spin. I can't remember what we gave you, though. But I know I did your spin. I think we gave you stats or a trait or something. Uh, there's a man fixing a road. What do we give to Sebastian? Where is he? There he is. 
Um, did we give him a level up? We might have given him a level up. I, I honestly can't remember what it was, but I think I did your spin there. Sorry, man. All good. Well, so for the moment, I don't want to jinx it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying anything. It's only rabble and thugs. Let's freaking go. They beat up some peasants before they went to us. That's good. Any bugs with the current Legends mod thinking about updating Sicilian? Well, here's the thing. We are on the latest update. I am on the latest MSU that um, has been personally tailored for me. But I don't know with the MSU that's available if it's good enough for the latest Legends mod. Um, but do remember, Solemn, if anything bad happens, you can always revert to the previous version. Make sure you back up your saves. Um, but I am on the latest Legends, latest everything, so it should be fine. Um, but I'm not perfectly on the same build as you guys are. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, it's doing pretty good. Uh, we do have a lot of enemies, but I think this new team is ready. Especially since Dennis can carry us to victory. 84%. Uh, I care about 90s. Yeah, 90s are pretty good. Can't say no to that. Jinxed it anyway, says GGB. I know I jinxed it. But at least it's an easy fight. And for free experience, I don't care about jinxing the easy fights, man. This is a good thing for us. Rolling on 27's quick shots, that's a bit annoying. Um, but I will end the round early. Just for this first round, because I don't want to chase them. I want them to chase me. Ready to die together, just trace this. Hey, hey, have some faith. It's only brigands, and it's only easy brigands. If they had some veterans, then I would have been like, yeah, you gotta be ready to die. But there are no veterans today. Which is great news. Okay, they're trying the flank. That is good for us. They're getting engaged in melee. That's even better. Bring it. Bring it, boys. Faith in my luck? No, 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 no. Faith in my strategies. See, my luck is the worst thing to have faith in. It's the strategies that you guys come here for. Or, you know, my failed luck. That's probably why you're here. <laughs> Naga, let's get some accuracy. Mm, that would have been nice. Good hit by Diagrin, though. I'll take that. Uh, 86 on the poacher. I said that poacher. Dennis, you're rolling 86s and then you hit the 71. Fine, I understand. We'll kill that one next time, bud. Good hit by Solem. Good kill by Feldspar Prince. Let's go. Dennis is just being rebellious. That's all it is. I'm putting it down to his rebellious phase. I'm telling him to kill one thing. He kills something differently. Fair enough. Don't call out Accuracy Snow. I will miss if you jinx it, says Naga. I I can totally understand that. Sing misses, unfortunately. Dre's this gets rushed, which is perfectly fine. I was kind of expecting that. Left him there for the last turn. 40%. That's an unfortunate miss by Sebastian. Stefan, though, I'm worried about these guys flanking. And Stefan really doesn't have armor. So did I put Naga in a bit of danger? Yes. Have fun, Naga. You'll be fine. Weird shield bash by the caravan hand. Okay, so the rabbles are trying to flank even further. That's good. That means Naga's not in much danger. Ah, uh, caravan hand getting hit. That's fine. Solemn, don't get domed. Wouldn't want to see that happen. Dennis, I said to kill this guy last turn. But you killed him this turn, so good job. Counter sniping for the win. Uh, one, two, three, four. He could jump up here, but then I don't care. That's a 49 I like to see. It's not the accurate hit. I accidentally went for a smite. But I'm not complaining. Sing gets a beautiful kill. Solemn almost. Feldspar finishes up, and now they've got some white flags. Let's go. 
Let's go headshot with Digrin. Padme with the white flag. It's over, boys. It's over. Love to see it. Don't believe any of you will all go down together. Snow will get me killed for the sake of me dying. Aw, oh, come on, man. Ye of little faith as I miss a 74 by rolling a 76. Then again, little faith is usually what most people have in me. That's understandable. All any interesting changes or starts in the new version, says Solem. Oh, wait, you meant version 16, Solem? Oh, I thought you just meant the latest version of what's what's on at the moment. I thought you meant... Oh. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, Legends. Yeah, I knew you were talking about Legends. Are you still on version 15? Is that what you're saying? Or you just wanted to go from 16.08 to 16.09? Because version 15 to 16 is a big jump. Oh. Yeah, no. Going from 15 to 16 is worth it. Totally worth it. It's obviously still got a few bugs here and there, and they're still working on it. It's not perfect. They're doing a good job. But going from 15 to 16 is important. The main reason why it's important is um, obviously because as time goes on and updates go on, things usually get better. But um, there's a giant chasm, like it's a giant cliff face uh, between 15 and 16. Because they've changed the workings of the mod and the fact that it's now reliant on MSU... And because it's relying on MSU, it allows integration with other mods to be so much more smoother and easier to work on. So um, mod conflicts are a lot are a lot rarer and a lot easier to fix if there are any. So things like um, conflicts with some of the mods that I'm adding into it, uh, things like PTR, the fact that they can work across all sorts of different um, ways. Yeah, the newest version 16 is um, definitely better for that reason. And there are some new starts. Um, unfortunately, Lone Wolf got reworked, and I don't like the way they reworked it. Uh, I don't know if they fixed it, though. But yeah, the, things are looking up for Legends when it comes to version 16. Oh, I can't hit any of these guys. Really? I can hit this one. Yeah! Good job, Dennis, for moving. Snow has even worse luck. Yeah, I do. I have even worse luck in this version. Nice kill by Naga. Let's go. Uh, can we get this kill, Mr. Stefan? Almost. Why do you just keep shield bashing him? You are so much stronger than him. Weird caravan hands, man. Absolutely weird. I don't understand them. Oh, a spin! Thank you, Rasej, and Sakael, um, Rasej for the reminder. Sakael for the spin! See, whenever Sakael doesn't want to do a legitimate spin, he preaches it from the rooftops. But when he does an actual spin, it's so hidden I don't even notice it. Um, but there is a Brigand slash Barbarian on the horizon. Oh, I don't want to see that! Mmm, that's... That's not gonna be good. Sakael, why do you always send in something super freaking scary? I don't know what your luck is, man. The easy fight ends now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like the fact that the easy fight ends now. Version 16 took away Snow's plot armor. Yeah, the paper armor that I had. Yeah, paper armor is what, unfortunately, I live with. It's a genetic snow condition, where my armor is made out of snow. It doesn't work. Good kills on the way out, that's what I like to see. Saturday team says hello, Sakayel. Yeah. The Wildman Saturday team has said hello. Fudge. Oh, we're losing some heads today. That's cull 40%. Someone's gonna die. But most importantly, Dennis is gonna get the freaking stun! No way! <laughs> Dennis for the freaking win! Holy crap. 
Dennis will save us. Sebastian called it. Sebastian freaking called it. Right in the nose. This is how we do it. And Feldspar Prince gets a 41. Solem with a beautiful hit of a 48. And we get him confident. Fudge. Oh, this is good. Accuracy? No, Naga, you missed the accuracy hit. Good hit by Stefan, that's not going to do much, though. Dennis has a 33% because of the survival instincts. Then I'll wait. Forty-two percent's a miss. Twenty-six times two is not gonna work. Oh, never mind. A thirty and a twenty-six will work, because Solom now gets some luck. And the twenty-six from Sebastian! No way! I was not expecting that twenty-six to hit. There was no way that 26 was going to hit, but it did. That's a dead flipping chosen. I get his armor. I get some armor. Oh my goodness. Total hype. Sebastian's a hero. Dennis is a hero. We're bringing it back, boys. We're bringing it back. Oh my goodness. Okay, Solom, I need you to wear this new armor. Um, so you can actually have some defensibility. <clears throat> uh, get rid of the helmet. Actually, no, wait, I need that helmet. Sheesh, I'm just scrounging around for anything at this point in time. Any slight upgrade in people's armors. Anything can be helpful here. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that, repair that. And... Does everybody have their nets? Yep, 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 everyone's good with their nets. Whew! Takes a bow, returns to washing up, says Sebastian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 95% misses, 30% equals 100% hit, says Rasayej. I don't know, man. It happens. We're just too lucky with that. Anyways, experience across the board. Please tell me there's a level up. There's a level up for Solom. Congratulations, man. Plus four is beautiful. Plus one is garbage, but I'll take it. Because we want accuracy on a pickaxe tank. And immediately getting Ore Hunter. Plus 12. As much as I want to get nine lives, you need to start being a menace on the battlefield, man. Stefan, congratulations on the level up. Wrong number. Plus three, plus two. Beautiful defense roll. Beautiful health roll. Uh, do I go Butcher's Fillet? Yes. Because I... No, no, I don't because I'm going Sword. That's right, I want to go Sword Build. Or possibly Spear Build if he doesn't roll well enough. Hmm, which means I want Pathfinder? I could go two-handed sword, mind over body. With Rising Star, I could get a few extra perks along the way. Uh, with that defense roll, 12 to 30. Mm. Two-handed sword, mind over body. That should possibly work. Any unnamed bros left in the team, Barlow asks. Uh, I think everyone is named. Yes, everyone's named at the moment. Let's go with Pathfinder. That's a good helpful perk. Naga as the Reach Cleave, plus three, plus four, plus four. Not bad at all. Let's get that Butcher's Filet early, or actually, that's not going to help early. Uh, maybe Crippling Strikes will be helpful. Yeah, that'll be helpful early. Uh, Sebastian, 3, 3, and 4. Nice. 
into the fortified mind. That'll work. Sing flail, unfortunate roll of a one. Ouch. I'll get you that small target, though. He said if he gets paid, he doesn't care what he washes. <laughs> as long as he gets extra. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> no party space, so it's useless? Yeah, we can't do the tryout stuff. Um, because the party space is full. We can do it a little bit later, though. Oh, I missed something. Dre's this. Congratulations on your level up. Plus two. That plus three melee skill is tempting. Hmm... It's very tempting. That means it'll be a guaranteed 70 to 88. Oh, that's too risky. We do have a new dog person, though, so let's do that instead. Uh, in terms of tank ability, let's go Phalanx, and let's see how that goes. But yeah, we have new dog perks, so that's nice to see. And we'll hopefully get some more dogs that won't die on us instantly. That would be rough. Should we get space soon? <laughs> yeah, we might, unfortunately, get space soon. But let's hope not. Let's hope we survive. That is the trick. Let's continue, continue our training. Come on, boys. We have a pot of gold. Pot of gold waiting for us at the end of this journey. Mercenaries, let's go. Clear the road ahead. Nice, protect us, boys. How's our renown going? Oh, that's what you meant. We're so close. We are so close. If we finish this quest successfully, we will have space. Stefan says, hey, Snow, was doing the Holy War Crisis. What does the Oracle do? Saw an event where Southerners captured or something. Ah, okay. So the uh, Holy War Crisis is very different to other crises. Green Skin Crisis and Undead Crisis are all about Oh dear, there's a squire in that party. Um, okay, so I'll just really explain this before the fight starts. Um, the the Undead Crisis and the Greenskin Crisis are all about attacking civilizations and killing cities, and you're meant to like repel the invasion until like the game says you're good enough. Noble Wars, it's basically you fight enough Noble Wars and then they get tired of fighting. Holy War is different. The Holy War is all about fighting over strategic points of interest, or POIs, as you guys have heard before. And there are three, uh, technically three POIs in the Holy War. Technically four. Yeah, if you want to be really technical, there's four POIs. There's two abandoned fortresses, there's an oracle, and then there's a fallen star. So the fallen star is a meteor that's stuck in the ground. The oracle is a fancy holy ground. And then there's two abandoned fortresses on the way out of the southern lands. Well, it's it's one or two. It really depends on your map seed. And basically, the Holy War Crisis is, um, instead of being paid to go to fight sieges like the Noble War, the Holy War Crisis says, Hey, the Northerners captured this uh, strategic point of interest. Go defend it. Or go reclaim it for the Holy Land. And the Northerners will be like, Hey, the Southerners claimed these very important points. Go beat them up, or we have it, so defend it for us. And the more you do that, the more that the war succeeds and finishes. Um, in the early stages of the war, you'll get more support. The later stages of the war, um, whenever you do those locations, it's going to be a little trickier. So, I don't know. I guess, I guess doing the Holy War a little bit earlier is a bit more interesting. But regardless of what you do, the Holy War is painful. It's hard. Because either you join the Norths and have to deal with really tough Southern armies. Or you join the South and get the all or most of the Northern nations hating you. 
and still have to deal with tough armies in very bad situations. Um, is it better to fight with the nobles or the southerners? Um, that's a good question. I'd say... Fighting with the northerners is an easier experience because you can pick your battles. If you don't want to fight the war, but then you want to go and do some other things, then you can come back to a Holy War fight. Like, you don't have to fight the Holy War as much if you're a northerner sider. But yes, of course, the southerners have mortars, and that's annoying. That is really annoying. And they have assassins and stuff. So this is, fighting the southerners is annoying. But having the northerners on your side means you have so much more access to the map. And... And the thing is, you can pick your battles. Whereas, if you're joining forces with the South, you don't have to fight mortars, and you can fight, like, arbalesters and footmen. If you're capable of fighting footmen any day of the week, then joining the South is a good idea. Um, if you have a capable army and set of brothers. But the problem with joining the South is, most of the map is cut off to you. You're going to be chased by parties. You can't go do as many quests. Your only friends are, like, three stupid cities down in the south that you can't do as much. Um, yeah, you gotta stick to the arenas when you're not doing Holy War quests. It's It really just limits you on the map. But it does allow you to fight more. And it allows you to fight, like, general enemies, like the nobles. And not have to worry about mortars. So that's why I usually recommend fighting with the Northerners against the Southerners. Because it usually gives you a better experience. But, yeah, it's to each their own. Um, also, why are Thralls beating up mercenaries? And why are the Barbarians fighting something out in the north? What? I'm so confused. Uh, is someone going to chase us? Or do we just get scot free? South is best, says Jesus. Well, I've done it from both sides. I've played from the northern side, I've played from the southern side on stream, and on YouTube series. Did I miss a spin? Stefan, I missed your spin and I have to do this fight. I'll... Sorry, man. Sorry. We were too busy talking. I'll do it. I'll do it after the fight. I promise. It's okay. We'll get something nice for you. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. What's worth to know? Three southern cities that don't have docks. So you have to travel by road, says GB. Oh. Oh, that's rough. Doing a southern holy war without docks. To not to avoid the patrols of the northern raiders. He promised, says Drazis. this. I know, I know. I'll do my best. I'm just too busy talking about the southerns and the northerns. We're getting locationist at the moment and being a bit biased to one side. <laughs> Thanks for the explanation, though. It's the first time i played it in the past 200 days. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Holy War is not something most people gravitate towards because the Noble War is the easiest one to fight. That's a dead dog. And... The Greenskin War is an experience on its own. The Undead War is not too bad. And then just the Holy War, is, it's a weird way of playing the game. It's not what the usual ones are like. So that's why... It's a good question. Uh, who do I kill? I kill their range, right? Really? How does that not kill him? Ah, that sucks. Noble War is the easiest? Yeah, yeah, Noble War is the easiest, 100%. Absolutely easiest. Beyond a doubt, Noble War is the best origin, best crisis to start your game on. Because no matter what's you start your game on with the crisis choice, it's going to randomize after the first crisis. Um, but yeah, Noble War is 100% the easiest. And I recommend it to anybody starting the game or who who is in, who's trying to learn the game or trying to get better or wants an easier experience. Totally go um, Nobles. Orcs is the easiest. Trace this in no way. <laughs> Orcs is not the easiest. But yeah. Um, Gamerzerka said, that was my actual first Holy War experience. Didn't know I'd go against the whole North. Not only did the three Southern Cities not have docks, two of them didn't have weapons or armor smiths. Oh boy, GB, that is rough. That is a rough way to start the Holy War. 
I don't disagree, but I really hate them pushing through my front lines, says Stefan. Oh, Line Breaker. Yeah, Line Breaker's pretty rough. But here's the thing. The reason why the Noble War is the easiest is because you don't have to participate in it. You never, ever have to do a Noble Quest. You never have to participate in the war. You can easily just ignore the war completely, and it will never affect you. So that's why the Noble War is the easiest. You can do whatever the heck you want in the game and not get punished for it. You can still do quests, you can still go roaming the map. Nobody will hate you as long as you don't take a noble contract that fights in the war. As long as you don't pick a side, it's super easy. But that's lame, says Drazus. I mean, you're playing Battle Brothers. The point of the game isn't to just be a hero. The point is to survive and get a strong party. So, the point is to, to you know, build up your competent party. Running them into the ground by chasing after Noble Wars is, is not the best choice, in my opinion. There we go. I know you get to have fun beating up Nobles. I know, that's the fun part about the Noble War. But where everything tries to kill even RNG, says Stefan, yeah, that's, that's when you accept and really appreciate the wonders of choosing your own fights in a Noble War. Drazus, please don't die over here. Oh, man, this stupid raider with a shield. Hmm. 31%, really? Really? Solemn gets a hit. Not very great, but it's a hit. Uh, do I go and rush these guys? Hmm, maybe I walk in front. Uh, let's spear wall and wait. Also, the loot is good from nobles. Yeah, they give you great armors and weapons, and you can sell them and make so much money. Making money off the noble war is very easy to do. If you can kill them. 35% headshot. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. Okay, just be like that. Not only is it avoidable, it's actually profitable. Armor you can get from your bros, weapons for your bros, equipment that's actually profitable and noble contracts are pretty fun usually. Yeah, yeah, with the Noble War. It is, it is profitable, it's good stuff. But I do say that fudge this guy with his stupid shield wall. Anyways. Um, the Noble War doesn't have to be done. That's the thing. And you can choose the sides you want. You can pick the strongest army to fight for you. And why is Dennis not getting kills? I don't know. Thank you, Dennis. Barla going for a spin. Sounds great. Um, Please don't get wrecked to raise this. Oh, Naga. That's rough. Um, but before Naga deals with his problems, let's get a spin. I'll take a free kill. I will take a free kill. Thank you so much, Barlow. Uh, could you kindly kill either this stupid guy with the shield or this stupid guy trying to beat our flank up? I would greatly appreciate it. But where would you like to go? Kill the donkey. That doesn't count. Kill the half-dead po- Really, Barlow? You want to kill a poacher. Oh, fine. Okay, you get your wishes. And, unfortunately, dev tools are still on. There we go. They're off now. Why is there no crisis about killing beasts, says Sakael? Um, because, I don't know, beasts don't want to invade this the country. Beasts are weird. They want to live a normal life. I don't know. The donkey looked at me funny. I consider it an enemy, says Sakael. I mean, I'm not surprised. Uh, 36%. Can I shield bash that? Yeah, I can shield bash that. Feldspar, keep it going. And then sing with the headshot? Dang it. That would have been nice. Padma gets one of the 70s, and why does this guy run to our back ranks? Looking for an early death, and Padma gets a second headshot! On a 20%! Oh god, this game hates me. 
Two headshots in a row from less than 30%. Wow. Naga didn't know he could teleport around. Yeah, I know, it's a brand new ability. 74. I can't hit 74s. But this dumb person... Fudge. Uh, Solom, what are we doing? Abandoning Stefan? Yeah, for the time being. Stefan, you'll be fine. Please survive. I hope there's a Davkul crisis, says Stefan. Oh, Cameron Hand's coming to help. Thank you. <coughs> Beast Flood Crisis seems like an interesting idea. Oh, wow. Okay, that Caravan Hand did not survive. Ouch. Okay, the Raider just got wrecked by the Caravan Hand with a headshot. I'll take that. Have something like a Monster Horde where the team up and attack towns like Unholds and Lumwords in the same party? That would sound like hell. But thanks for the idea, though. Um, can I leap out of this option? Yeah, I'm just gonna leap out of danger. I'm gonna ignore these two. They are very difficult to deal with. Good kill by Feldspar. Okay, can you stop getting so much luck, you stupid thug? 84-95. That's how it's freaking done, Dennis. And I'll shield bash that guy, because why not? Rolls a 43. Mm. I can't hit 73s! But this guy can hit 30s every freaking day of the week. Sebastian with the headshot. Let's freaking go. That's a kill by Dre's this. Thank you, Dre's this. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for that. Not sure if I want to fight a monster horde, but Snow loves to lose, so it's okay for him. Thanks. You guys are too kind. The uh, Brigan Poacher on 5 health, the Broken Ribs rallies. Good job. You want a trophy for that? Okay. Good job, Caravan Hands. You're doing a good job down there. Onwards and upwards, I say. Let's see if we can get some of these kills. We dodge a good 36 from Sebastian. Nice. Losing in fun noises? Yeah, I know, right? Oh boy, the game does throw some curveballs. Diagrin with the back flank. Feldspar Prince struggling with 40%. Don't you even think about a headshot on a 30%! Oh my goodness, this thug needs to go. Dennis, good job. Um, I don't know what else I can do. This freaking peasant flail is going to be the death of me. Sebastian with a second headshot? Holy crap, man. Outperforming. Double 77s. Oh, one of these days, chat. Another 73. One of these days, how can I roll 90s? How can I roll 94 and 97 every single flipping time? I don't know how I do it. I'm just too good. Holy crap. Ulrich says no tryout just in case someone dies. I mean... These two are looking pretty rough. And that peasant flails has got some blood on him. Sakal going for a forced quest. Oh, I'm not looking forward to that. 69 and we miss and we roll a 96 again. This guy has plot armor. Literal plot armor. I'll take a 59, though. As in, spress the cult spreading, otherwise the Conquer Towns become a base permanent hostile fashion. Stefan, that's kind of like the YouTube series we've got going, um, which has been delayed, unfortunately. But the idea of the Davkul cultists is um, that there is a hostile faction. And it's not really a crisis event, but it kind of does get worse over time. And that series should be coming online quite soon. I just need to do a little bit more testing with it. And hopefully, we can enjoy the wonders of cultists within the next week. 
I'd love to predict that be working this week. But finally we get rid of that menace. Finally he's dead. Holy crap. That was more damage than it was worth. Can't believe I'm being useful, says Sebastian. I know, right? I'm not even giving you melee stats, and you're doing well. Congratulations, man. That's a good kill. Whoo! Took a bit too much damage in that fight. 71 and 103. Whoo! But we do get some levels, and that's what counts. 157, some armors and some helmets. Finally a helmet. Oh, that's rough. Would it be like regular quests to suppress that the noble quest of the cult to start to spread too far? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Feldspar Prince, plus two, plus three, plus three. Nice. Into the shield expert, and that means that shield will never break. Beautiful stuff. Let's put you on the flank because you are doing well. Draze this. Please roll better, even though you are rolling great. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, my man. Give you a bit of medium armor, even though it's not going to give you much. It's going to give you something. And that's what matters. Feldspar, the pimp tank. A um, bit more armor goes your way. Which is wonderful news. Uh, Padma, the alcoholic. That'll work. Accuracy is not enough. Keep that tank stat rolling into the shield expert. Let's go. Into the better helmet, please. Is there anything I can do for your helmet? Fudge, there's nothing I can do. That's so rough. I can do this at least. That's like plus five. That's nothing. Uh, Stefan, what can I do for you? Really not much. But I do want to save, um, this wondrous body piece. The Magician's Robe is super valuable to me. So I want to make sure it's on someone for a late game purpose. Uh, let's salvage a bunch of the garbage we just got. Because it's going to be very valuable for us in terms of tools. And salvage that. Sweet, sweet. Spreading limit to crisis only, but anything works. Don't forget Stefan's roll. Yes, 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 yes. I will get his roll. I was just sorting the levels. And the darn armor situation, that is struggling, man. This armor situation is struggling a little bit too much. Uh, let's quickly save and get that roll going. Naga has a roll himself, but we'll go for Stefan's first. That's a free heal, and we don't need it. Okay, fair enough. That's an event! Okay, we'll do that. Stefan, what event shall we have? There's an alp in a hole. Kill it. We get 96 bucks. Nice. Sebastian kills it. Nicely done. Uh, then we shall do another roll, which is Mr. Naga. Of course. Well, congratulations. What would you like? What would you like? 96 to 69 backwards. <laughs> nice. What are you after, man? What are you after? Really need some headgear? I mean, maybe a helmet for the team? That is something we are desperately needing. Weapons are always nice, though, because we don't have the best... I mean, we do have good weapons for most people. But I'd say helmets is where we're really struggling. But it's up to you, man. What are you thinking? Your character currently... Doesn't have much armor, but I mean, he's got a weapon to deal with his situation... He's doing all right. 
College sworn some bros dies because Nock headshot them. Yeah, headshots are annoying. How do you shot cults? Cults are spending through like what you do quest wise, fight cults group attack locations. Yeah, you guys have a good idea about that cultist thingy. I get some headshots. Nice. Hey, it's Sir Nelson's Owl. That is nice. Nice indeed. Um, and if you don't mind donating that one, Diagrin, I mean, Naga, kind of want to give it to Feldspar Prince or Solemn. Actually, if I give it to Solem, then he's completely outfitted, but then he's completely encumbered. Holy freaking crap. Holy crap, he already is encumbered. Uh, can I deal with that encumbrance somehow? Nope. Ooh, that's rough. That's very rough. <laughs> uh... 37. Hmm. Hmm. How am I going to deal with this? Encumbrance is an issue on our brand new bros. Getting head sounds awesome, says Blue Lion. A, I knew what he was saying. I knew what he was saying. Uh, but I'm really worried about this armor situation. We are having quite the encumbrance issues. Uh, actually, Drace, this seems like the right person with the terms of encumbrance problems. He's got no body armor. How do I get the pimp to do what I need to do? That's an 18. Hmm. Solemn can have it so you live longer. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We do want to keep you guys alive. Um. I think I live with the encumbrance issue because we already have the minus fatigue use. We'll give it to the Feldspar Prince. I think that's the better choice. Solemn can have this helmet upgrade and it won't kill him completely. Yeah, wow, we really need some fatigue on these bros. Holy crap. We need like perfect fit and a few other things. And Feldspar is going to be a nimble to... Oh, that's going to be roughed around anyways. I'm going to have to organize these armors eventually. I just need you guys not to die. That's the trick. I'm going to have to go with that. You need as a dog, as a future dog master, if I survive to raise this. Yeah, you will. You will need an extra dog. Uh, let's finish up the training and we'll go again. That's 200 some XP across the board. Congratulations with all the lovely level ups. Pickaxe tank with the plus three. Let's go. Beautiful stuff there. Uh, let's go for survival instinct as that is a great perk. Diagram, what are we looking at? Plus two, uh, plus threes. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to get you some fatigue. You need it, man. You desperately need it. Let's get some medium armor perks. It's plus 11. Let's go. Uh, Stefan. Plus 2, plus 2. I wish that was a little bit better. But it's alright. Let's go with some survival instincts instead of the medium because you don't have armor. And uh, let's get back to camping. This has been a very good uh, trip, and oh my goodness, are we going to make it? Or am I going to jinx it? Are we actually going to make a five-day caravan with this party? Let's freaking go, chat! 1600 XP across the board! That is a hype moment. That is gigantic hype. No way did we survive a five-day caravan. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. We now are respected by the noble companies. We can get noble quests. We get tons of money. Uh, don't know if I want to do this. Uh, I'll do that. That's easy. I've never seen that one before. Five met weapon masteries. But most importantly... 
That is level ups across the board. 100% across the board. And party space. It's, it's, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. We have money in our pockets. We have experience for everybody. That's literally two level ups for all of our new bros. That's from level three to level five. What a jump. This caravan has saved this run. There is so much more we can do with this. Um, let's get that medium armor. Uh, let's also get the hammer mastery, maybe? Um, maybe I go nine lives? Uh, I want to go minor strikes, but then I kind of don't right away. I think I just keep going defensive as much as I can. Nine lives first. Plus three, plus three, plus two. Plus four, plus four, plus one. Actually, wait, the plus one's not as important as health. Nice. That's an 80 accuracy tank. With a garbage weapon, but it doesn't matter. Accuracy on tank helps. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, Drace, this isn't rolling as amazing. Yeah, he's struggling a little bit, but that's okay. He'll still try and be useful. Let's get a shield expert. Let's also get... Uh, that's a good question. Hmm. Dog stuff, that's right. Uh, do we want dog breeder? Then we can get infinite dogs. Dog whisperer. Let's go dog breeder before we get dog whisperer, because we're going to lose dogs like fire. But then we can have dogs on everybody. Yep, we can do that. Now, how, how many tryouts are queued up? Is it worth buying, says Barlow? We've got one tryout queued up. Yeah, we only have one tryout queued up. And there's two slots available. So buying in is perfectly fine with the tryout, I think. Time to breed them, I know, right? Uh, Diagrin also has dog perks, but I don't think I'm going to go with them because we already have another dog person. Uh, I could go dynamic duo, but I don't want to. I want to go resilient because I need some more health for you, bud. 3-3 three, three, and I need some more stamina. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. Padma! That's a nice level up. Nice. And we shall get... That's a good question. Brawny. Because then we can go into Battleforged. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And Padma's defenses will be 35 guaranteed. Nice. Uh, Feldspar Prince, you are struggling with the super heavy armor that we've given you. But that's kind of expected, um, because you're meant to be a nimble tank. Let's get you Resilient. Which gives you 8 possible permanent health, and that will sort you out. Stefan, 2 and a 3, that's nice. I'd like to see it a little bit more. 2 and a 3 and a 4 for health into the Fortified Mind Resilient. Fortified Mind Sword Master. Then I can give you a sword. That'll work. That'll work. Barlow's going for no tryout. Sounds good. Um, Stigrid's a spider person, not a dog guy. I mean, that's true. That's true. Gotta love them dogs and gotta love them spiders, especially with the hex runs, man. Diagram going for a spin sounds good. Barlow's 4.0 is coming along. I mean, we'll have to see what you get. Uh, plus 2, plus 4 into the plus 2. Not bad, Naga. Not bad. And then 2, 3, and 4. Also not bad. Sanguinary is pretty disgusting. Sword-like sucks because it's a reach cleaver. So do we go Accuracy? Yeah, we go Accuracy, Butcher's Fillet, into the Cleaver Mastery. And I also want to get Vigorous Assault. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, Sebastian as our banner. Beautiful rolls, man. Absolutely beautiful rolls. Let's get that Discovered Talent. Holy crap, triple fours. 
Holy crap. He already has a, a hundred resolve. He's looking great. And I think I go for the peaceable route now. Yep, let's do it. Plus 20 resolve. Horrible melee skill, which means Sebastian's gonna suffer. Which means he needs to switch over to the banner now. Um, but it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Extra experience and resolve to everybody else on the battlefield. So you've been promoted, Sebastian. Looking strong. Uh, sing with the Reach Flail. Not bad at all. Oh, so close for another level. Let's get that Flail Mastery. Dennis with the Sling Headshot. Plus four. Let's go. Let's go, Dennis. What do we get now? Uh, I'm leaning towards Clarity. Do I need... I don't get Ballistics, which makes me sad. But I am strongly leaning towards Clarity and then maybe Anticipation. Oh, I'm also leaning towards Small Target. 10% head chance. Oh, I'm strongly leaning towards that. I'll do it. I'll flip and do it. Headshots for the win. Headshots for the win. Let's save this run. Hey, look at that diagram. A bit of positivity over there. Is that what I'm seeing? Careful, it gets infectious. Okay, let's save this. And let's continue. We have some spins. We have some tryouts. Let's see what we get. In the first corner. That is permanent stats. And I do believe that is Naga's spin, right? Have I been talking for 13 minutes? Or did Naga get the event? Snow ignoring all rules. I'm not. Yeah, that's mine, says Naga. No worries. So permanent stats. Um, Digrin did the next spin. I think I had two spins banked up. Yeah. Because I already did Ulrichs. And now Digrin has a spin. So Naga, let's get the... Um... Let's get... There we go. Permanent stats. Nicely done. And then we have... Digrin spin. Event. Random event. Let's see what we get. Snow, could I be a narcissist? <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Oh no! The event didn't work. Okay, I'll be right back. I did save before it happened. I'll have to get back into it. Donkey incoming. <laughs> nope, the event just had a bad time. Bad time with the events, as usual. But it's all good. Okay, come on, Vortex. Hurry up. Hurry up. My PC is fast. Vortex is not. There you go. Thank you for being faster this time. Even though it really wasn't. Just remove events from the spinner. I might, I might do that eventually. But the thing with Barlow is we need the events there for the uh, barbarians to spawn in. That's the point of it. Alright, we got all the level ups. We're happy with that. Um, did I forget anything on the level ups? No. Though I don't think I got Naga's stats. Now it's at 70. Good. And now we get the event. <gasps> Let's freaking go! Digrin. I don't think you're going to complain about this event. I don't think you're going to complain about this event. I don't think anyone should be complaining about events any longer. Events don't need to be removed from the spinner, Barlow. And I think this is why. I think this is a valuable event. Because you get your luck, you're rolling the dice. Welcome to Cirque de Stab. So that's my no tryout then, says Barlow. <laughs> 
That doesn't count as a no tryout. No tryouts or no tryouts. But, Diagran, who would you like to give this guy to? Keep your distance from the witch. Because, Diagran, I think you have a character in here, don't you? Diagran 2.0. So where would you like this person? No space otherwise, says Barlow. Yeah, I know, I know. I know how it works, man. But this is Diagran's role, so you gotta let him make the choice, bud. You can't just take someone else's reward. If someone wants to give it to you, Barlow, out of the kindness of their heart, that's how it goes, not you demanding it. Okay? But if Barlow is allowed to be the witch because of Diagrin, then that's fair. Okay. Then... Oh, come on, turn off your silly dev tools. Turn off! There we go. Then, we will happily have Barlow as the witch because Diagrin said so. Barlow 4.0, goodness me, as the witch. And we'll see how it goes. We have the best armor piece in the game, which is a 80 piece, which is disgusting. Um, I love this. I love it for Nimble Bros. And I think Feldspar Prince is going to be our Nimble Tank, so I will desperately want to give him the dress. And uh, it's very nice of Barlow to say thank you for that, and yeah. Yeah, next up is the no tryout for Ulrich. Yeah, Ulrich. So we'll get our Ulrich into the team as I quickly save. But it is nighttime. So we have to wait till daytime. Uh, let's quickly salvage some stuff overnight. There we go. We get some renown. Ambition is fulfilled. We have tons of armor on our bros. We're professionals. Uh, then what do we do? Full roster of 12 men, that's super easy, because we're adding another parson. Let's go! The prince looks everything but nimble at the moment. I know, right? Something about Feldspar, says Sauron. Hey, his ears perked up. There we go. I was saying how you're going to get some nimble stuff for your tank. You'll be set. Uh, also, I want to get some of this lovely, lovely uh, tools and supplies. And some lovely ammunition. Sweet. Medicine. Everything's looking up. This city is looking after us. And I'm keen. Absolutely keen. Helmets are on sale. Body armor's on sale. I don't know if I need it, but I'll grab it. Because someone's going to need it. Sweet. Uh, Stefan has a two-handed sword, mind over body. Definitely happy to have a little bit more armor going your way. Uh, Barlow as the witch needs to stay in the back lines. Uh, Feldspar Prince, you need to start wearing a dress. I swear it's a good look. Not through personal standards, but through um, previous experience in the game. How am I going to make this nimble, though? I really don't have much... I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out later. Not now. <laughs> so I'm working so I mute all stream off and on and I get phone calls. No worries, Sauron, no worries. Um, but we're talking about how, yeah, the Feldstar Prince is going to be wonderfully nimble now that we have the Vala armor. Vala armor for the win. And why does Singh have a dagger? You don't need it. Sweet. Looking good. Okay, now... Get rid of some of the crap. 15, 15, 15. I'll keep the 25s. Uh, I need a bit of salvage, and then I need to do the no tryout. Don't forget the no takes a next quest to Sakael. Yeah, that's right. You did do a must take a next quest. I'll have to do that. Okay, with the no tryouts, I'm not getting the oath taker, because I don't have the money. Uh, the militia is not a bad idea. Hunter's not a bad idea. The cheaper militias. Oh, there's a freaking shield maiden. <laughs> I might take that. I think even a bad shield maiden's a good shield maiden. It doesn't really matter how, matter how bad a shield maiden is. They're good. Yeah, I'm taking it. 
So, for the no tryout, which would be Mr. Ulrich. Welcome to the party as a 17 base defense shield maiden who actually can do damage. Holy crap. There you are. Welcome as a DPS. DPS shield maiden. I know, right? That is rare. Snow is complaining. Why is everyone so defensive? Wait, what was I complaining about? I'm confused, Stefan. Something about this forgotten spins or something. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, okay, so what am I looking at? I'm looking at Ulrich... 2.0. Ulrich 2.0. And yeah, shield maintenance are just so good. Fear of beasts and slack is kind of garbage, but I mean, look at those stats. 69 health, nice. Oh, battle forge. It's going to be a two-handed DPS for sure. Two-handed, battle forge, DPS. Uh, hammer, definitely hammer. Because I'm thinking of sword, but I mean, why Why not just go hammer? Though hail and hearty with sword could be interesting. Five percent speed after gear, though, but that's after gear. No, I don't like that. If it's after gear, that's only good for nimbles. That stacks with brawny. Yeah. If I could do brawny with wears it well, and have a nimble bro, and do hail and hardy, then that would be the ultimate combination, but yeah. As in melee defense, says Stefan. Oh, oh, all good. Ulrich has a tick. Oh, it's the silly tick thing that I always think looks like a candle. Yep. So I forgot how every recruits to turn those me melee defense enemy when he wants melee attack early in the stream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 why is everyone so defensive? I thought you meant defensive as in, like, people are being defensive about certain things. No, no, no. Defensive as in the characters. Yeah, I know, I know. But here's the thing, this character's aggressive. Like, this character just gets plus three in melee skill. And then, ooh, the morale is kind of bad. I'll wait for a better roll. Um, do I go Fruits of Labor for Fatigue, Hit Points, and Initiative? I mean, why not? It's such a good perk. Nice. Uh, let's give you the shield. Let's keep it the spear. I could get something better. One-handed hammer. That'll be good. Hard to swing with, but it'll do some damage. Uh, do I have any nets? No. Okay, well, so much for that. Let's keep saving, and then we're set. I have some spins I forgot, says Naga. A, A, nice try. Nice try. Though I don't think I did Sauron's spin. Uh, any dogs in the shop? That's a good question. No, there's no dogs in the shop. But let's do Sauron spin before I forget, because I will forget. I'll take permanent stats. That's the way to do it. Snow, take the Force next quest. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it. I don't have a choice. But Feldspar Prince. Permanent stats. 62 defense. Whew. That's looking pretty good. What is the noble quest they're forcing us to do? Beasts roam the... No. No, I'm forced to do a hunting quest? Oh, 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 I hate doing hunting quests. I might just come back and not give them anything. Far away to the west. Really? The run's not over, this is just painful. I've got eight more days to figure out if I can do something out there. Oh, famed throwing weapons. That's so nice. 
We did do a caravan here, so there should be plenty of... Oh, it's a nice spear. Not the best spear, but it's nice. Crappy to... That's an axe? But that's the picture of a Volge. It's a funny looking axe. It's technically a great axe. Um, and then that's technically a Zweihander, even though it doesn't look like a... Yeah, weird. Alright, we'll ignore that. Um, and then the armory has some pretty colors. And they're all pretty bad. No, the two for one... Oh! That's so good, but I don't have any money! Two for a hundred! Look at that, two for eighty-five, two for a hundred. Two for a hundred is so freaking good. Five for one twenty-three, look at the difference! Five for one twenty-three is garbage compared for two one hundred. Oh, I don't have the money. I wish I could. I wish I had money. <laughs> Sad times. Oh well. Let's get some repairs going. As I as I slump into the sad solace of. Luckily, we got more renown though. That's nice. Five arena fights. Yeah, we might as well do that instead. That's an attachment need for my nimble bros, says Stefan. Yep. Yep, that's the best nimble attachment I've seen in a long time. It's it's good, but it's not happening. Good subscriber, folks. It's time to raise your Terraria banner in the poll. We need to vanquish the Ark faction for the coming Tuesday. Totally not because I have a vacation. It's the only Tuesday I can join, says Diagrin. Hmm. Hmm, totally not. That doesn't sound like Diagrin. That does not sound like Diagrin at all. <laughs> a little bit more salvage going our way would be nice. Uh, I can get rid of this. Yeah, that'll be about it. I need some dogs. I know. I should make some money to buy this stuff to Sigmatico. I mean, I'd love to make some money, but it's not easy to make money. It's being painful. Um, Knowles Fold. I don't even know where that is. Direwolf, Spiders, Nox, Hyenas, and Serpents. They said, like, a long way to the flippin' west. I'm not gonna... This is not gonna be working. Let me breed, says Trace this. I mean... I'm assuming you want the dogs bred. Um, oh, yes, it happened! Yes, yes, the minor permanent... Permanent four fatigue. Let's go. The miner sucks in a great gulp of be wonderful air because he's been out of the horrible mines and he gets permanent fatigue. I love this event. It can only happen once per miner, and that's what we were looking for. Because miners have bad fatigue, but if you let them live in your party long enough, they will get that event. Oh, <gasps> Nox! That counts as the quest. And then I can go back in town and get paid for the heads. Why are they so flipping fast? Get back here. What are you making a miner do, says Nuck? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. You've got no video evidence of me doing anything to miners. <laughs> and letting them out of the mines. Dennis, beautiful hit. Don't one-shot them. They're all tier 3? No, no, no. They got wrecked from a different fight. A miner, says Tigran. <laughs> we need support for Terrario in this court. We already played Ark. I mean, but who can say no to Ark? Who can say no to Ark? Sakael can say yes to a spin. What shall we get? That was close, Sakael. That stopped a little early. It was getting close to that darn yellow that you like spinning. They look like they need help. Well, they're getting help from some veterans. Ooh, looks like they're getting some good help. Sakael, how do you always spawn in such scary stuff, man? Damn. Not looking forward to a Zweihander, of all things. That's rough. This means fancy gear for us. If I can dagger him down, maybe. Art thou as lucky IRL as in on stream, says Diacrin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sakael does have the best luck. Oh, here, here he comes. Hmm. This is gonna be rough. He doesn't have vigorous assault, does he? No. Okay. So then I'll wait for him. Hmm. 
And I'll freaking dome him with a stun, Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, you ruin everything that chat wants to do, and I love you for it. I absolutely love you for it. Naga tries to go for the 57. It doesn't work. Ulrich gets a beautiful kill and gets us confident. Diagrin with the beautiful hit. Solem will go around the side and round the back. As we try and assist with this beautiful kill up here. Oh my goodness. I might not get good armor from this guy because we're killing him too quickly. But I'm not complaining. Oh, I am not complaining. Welcome to Slings, chat. Welcome to Slings. Also, good to see you, Epo. Welcome to the stream, man. That's a dead flipping Zweihander. <laughs> Dennis is too strong. No one can stop him. He's the only way to do it. Um. Well, what do you think? Sorry, give me a second, chat. I got a IRL thing. Okay, I'm back. No issues, no issues. Um, yeah, the wife's just a little bit unwell, but she's gonna be looked after, it's okay. So don't worry too much. Um, but yeah, beautiful kill by Dennis. I love it so much, man. He's way too strong. Way too strong. Uh, and we actually get the helmet. We damaged that helmet though, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Snow Wife has claimed our streamer for mining her cave. What? GB, goodness me. Um, Zweihander, ah, oh, such good loot. Such good loot. Hope she gets better, says Gamers Okay. Yeah, I hope she does as well. She's been trying to look after herself, and I've been looking after her as well, trying to make sure she has nice oranges, lemons, drinks a lot, sleeps a lot, all that good stuff. Oh, I'm not, there's a bear? Do I want in on that fight? Do I want to fight the bear? Mm, I don't think I can tame the bear. I do need to kill the wolves and the spiders. Technically, I can get money from this. And with the help of a caravan... Okay, okay, I'll do it. Unfortunately, we start on the edge of the map, which is annoying. Oh, never mind. I shouldn't be running forward. Holy freaking crap. They just instantly rush forward. Um, 78. Dennis, don't fail me now. He rolls a 100. Oh, no. Uh-oh. What do I do without Dennis? I don't know what to do. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Dennis, don't fail me now. Without Dennis, I am nothing. Instant regret. I know, like, they're meant to be over there. They're not meant to be near me. Sakael trying to redeem a spin when it's on cooldown. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a frenzy. No, 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 no. I don't want to deal with the frenzy. Solem's dodging 9%, so let's freaking go. But at least I'm going to get some kills. Hi, Hexen. Why are you going after us when there's caravan hands? Just, just a simple question. No need to answer. I was just wondering. I was in the neighborhood. Ban an in-game action using Dennis. <laughs> never! You will never take him from me. I cannot give up Dennis that easily. Diagram with a good hit. Let's freaking go. That's a dead wolf. 
That's what I like to see. That's a dead spider, let's freaking go. Now my only issue is, what happens if that Hexen does something successful? That's when I'm worried. If I can tame the Frenzy, I would be super happy, but I don't see that happening. I do not see that happening. But chat, I'll let you know, I might try. 34 Sebastian's not enough. 71's not enough from Solom? Oh, come on. Come on. Maybe the Direwolf goes back after this guy because he's next to the Hexen. Uh, Stefan takes a couple of bad hits. Oh no, I didn't think about that. If the Hex takes damage, she's freaking... Oh, she's going to kill one of us. Well, we might have some open spaces in the party. And the caravans are probably dead. That's fine. I wasn't expecting them to win. If Dennis can't save us, time to run. Sauron, yep. Uh, Sebastian took some damage from that hex, which is kind of rough. 62 damage. 62%. It misses, Dennis? Okay. Um... I can only do so much. Can't keep missing this. Frenzy, where are you going? You're going back here. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Good damage by Dre's this. Sebastian, please don't die, man. Barlow gets a kill. Let's go. Now the only trick is... Can we keep poor Sebastian alive from this hex? Hmm. Surely she'll possess a care in hand. She tried. She tried to possess in melee and she failed. Which I'm very surprised about. She might do it again, though. And she might succeed this time. She hexes Sebastian because she hates him. And then she succeeds on the caravan hand this time. Ah. Okay. She'll hex Snow to bully him. I mean, she's going to bully me with the caravan hands and the stupid hexing. It's gonna be annoying. Uh, Dennis, let's get you over here so you can start sniping. Hello, bear! Oh, I'm not looking forward to the bear. They do stupid AoE damage. Diagon has a Kopesh? Yeah, he had a Kopesh for a while now, man. He's doing well. You know who's not doing well is me looking at that bear and the stupid frenzy direwolf. I'm glad they don't know how to heal. Because that would be an issue. Um, actually, I wanted to go here. I wanted to go here. And I wanted to go here. Okay, so the front line's fine. Of course. Of course. I don't catch Sunday streams often. Oh, no, no. We got the Kopesh today. That's what I was saying. Sorry, Epo. We've had it for a little bit today. Fudge the hex! No, 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 no. No, don't keep putting stupid hexes on our guys. Good kill by Naga, though. I'll keep that. Bear's too weak. He needs a buff. What? Do you, have you seen what he does? Have you seen our YouTube series? Bears are not weak. Padma, fudge. Mm, Sixty-nine. Dennis! Dennis, there's a chance to capture him! Um... I... I... Ah, oh, there's a chance. Barlow's going for a spin. The bear goes for a giant AoE and hurts the caravan hand for one damage on his shield. Hits the direwolf in the head, which is nice. Barlow, please get the free kill and kill that bear, please. Yes, he gets the free kill. <laughs> nice, that's so good. Kill the bear. He's too big. He's too powerful. I'm also trying to capture the frenzied direwolf, so be nice. Um, you know, there's only just the bear, the direwolf, the hex, and the frenzied direwolf. Kill a you can't kill a caravan hand. They're allies. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Kill, you can't kill the donkey, he's an ally. 
I'll be one second. Kill the Hex, says Stefan. That's a good idea. Diagram says kill the bear. There's the two options there. Kill the surrounded wolf. Okay, okay. I'll have to kill the surrounded wolf. Alright. Okay. Now, I've got to do something. Um, I'll have to be right back, so i got to look after my wife. Um, you guys just enjoy the wonderful pictures of my cats, and I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Sorry about the delay. My wife just needs some attention because she needs some help with certain things. Yeah, being sick sucks. Um, but luckily she has me to look after her. But we're back and we are keen to keep going. And I can see you guys have enjoyed the wonderful stream starting soon. I don't have it saying AFK on it. I'm apologizing for that. And I'm uh, glad you guys entertained yourself with the wonderful emotes and uh, the cute kitty cats that I do have and uh, the fun stuff there. Okay, so back into where we were. Um, can I get this? It's a 2% chance when he's dazed, sprained ankle, and fractured ribs. I can do better. I can do better. I will wait on the turn. I will then... Oh, fudge. I don't like the look of that bear. I need to go here with Sing, which is super freaking risky. I need to rush that Hex. I'm worried about this bear. Sebastian, please don't die, man. Oh, I don't like these ideas. Solom can't surround because he's too exhausted! No! Oh dear. I'm going all out, chat. I'm going completely all out. Would a net help? Exactly what I'm trying to do. But unfortunately, no one could do the net. <gasps> Naga, no! I was trying to get the net. And he, did, he already finished his turn. Dang it. Oh, we totally don't outspeed this, do we? But he is dazed. Do we outspeed him? Do I just hope for the 2% chat? I'm worried about... That I won't outspeed him next turn to capture him and he's going to do a lot of damage because he's frenzied. He will do a hell of a lot of damage to Ulrich, and Ulrich will die. I have to go for it now. No, it wasn't going to happen. I rolled a 63%, and he it was a 2.1. He has taming protection on him. And... Oh, we did outspeed him, though. I didn't have to be so risky. Yeah, I didn't have to be so risky. Also, Singh has betrayed us. And sing out speeds Barlow! Uh oh. Well, that can't be good. Um. Um. I can stagger sing! That works! Let's go! Dennis, the savior once again. Let's go. Hey, Murph, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Um, Naga, this taming protection, we gotta kill him. That sucks. Snow didn't give me a helmet, says Barlow. No, I didn't, because I wasn't expecting you to be in the lineup. Um, also the caravan hand has decided to betray us, which is wonderful news. That's wonderful news. Uh, John Pot, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you and hope you're enjoying. Uh, can I please get rid of this stupid hex? Yes, there's no hex on the hex anymore. And the bear is over there, which is good stuff. Barlow, get away. And now you don't have to get away because Sing's back on our side. Let's go. Let's go. Now we just have to deal with the bear. <laughs> Not like that's, um... That's any better than a hex. Right. Battle stations, people. First thing I do when I wake up is join the stream, lol, says Ken Chen. Welcome, welcome. There is a new spin, Barlow. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you, thank you. That is a monster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Frenzied Hyena. Okay. Don't know if I need to get that killed or captured. There is two people on the map. Um, that is annoying, but I think we can deal with it. Let's just, uh, be careful where we put people. 
The bear's gonna have fun killing these guys. I'm just gonna let them die. Screw it. Uh, let's do it like this. Let's whittle down the bear because we can with Dennis, because Dennis is amazing. But let's carefully and quietly move ourselves back a little bit. Like this. There we go. Highness for the quest, says Barlow. That is true, so it will count for extra money. So thank you, Barlow, for getting us some extra coin. Bear will have way too much fun killing the donkey. He didn't heal, did he? The hyena's leaving. No, the hyena's leaving. <laughs> you guys are going to get an undead. Oh, no. Well, so much for that. So much for getting extra coin, Barlow. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Ouch. But you guys are gonna have hype with the undead. We already had a really crazy undead spawn today. Let's see if we get another one. Because you never know. Also, is the bear healing? I don't think the bear is allowed to heal. But it looks like it is. 379. Look at this chat, 311. If that goes any higher than 311, the bear's cheating. Any higher. Yep, yep, 311. He should still be on 311. Dennis does outspeed. Okay, now he's on 242. Yeah, yeah, I won't kill him before I spawn the undead, Barlow. I know what I'm doing. Uh, all good. And 282. Was he on 282? Just looked like he was healing. I already forgot the number I was thinking of. Bear can heal by consuming honey every day, says Rasayaj. He healed 4242. Okay, thanks guys for reminding me. So he healed 40 for attacking. Damn. But thanks, chat, for being onto it. I was too distracted by the bear just getting a kill. Appreciate the reminder. If it's one enemy, you can spawn it now. Oh yeah, he's gone. Fudge. Okay, it's a hole and hound. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I can live with that. Whew. It's just not possible that a bear heals from dealing damage. I know, right? 322. Yeah, he heals. He heals 40 health. Stupid flippin' bear. You're not allowed to heal. That's cheating. Well, the hound's going south. Um, I'm not going to be ballsy. He's just healing with his normal attacks. That's the thing. It's really weird. Uh, let's just get a little bit closer to the bear. Don't poke the bear. Just a little bit closer. There we go. As we shoot more rocks at him. And we miss and hit the cart. Tame the bear? I mean, he's running though. I don't know if I can get that bear. I was like, he killed the hound? No, he didn't kill the hound. Forgot they teleport. Remember when this was a ranged throwing party? I know, man. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Preparage Farm always remembers when this was a ranged party. Oh, the bear's coming back, and it's going away? Weird bear. Hound, just die. Oh, thanks for teleporting into our back line. Thanks for not teleporting into our back line. Weird. Okay, if you say so. Can I do anything else? Dennis, gotta get a bit more closer. Take the cart with you, the parrot cannon doesn't need it. I mean, apparently they don't. It'd be nice if I could take it with me. But the game is not gonna be that nice. Kiss love circus, here we come. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have the bear circus. But he's leaving! I can't stop him. There's no way I can stop him. I don't need dogs. And a dog would get mauled to death and heal him 40 health anyways. Vote Terraria, guys, it's awesome. You guys are really trying to push Terraria a lot. I see how it is. Nobody likes Ark anymore. Yeah, it's okay. I understand. It happens. 
Dennis, good job for getting rid of the darn caravan hand out of the way. Now we can get with the real, real show, which is this big boy. Oh, can you stop fleeing? What is he teleporting backwards for? Weird undead. If it's a time, we can always remove Snow's vote. Hey, Murph, I see how you're doing that. Trying to think that my vote doesn't count. Tisk tisk, and the bear's gone. Well, so much for that. This battle should be called the Bear Witch Project. Ah, uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, let's huddle together for warmth because apparently this darn dog wants to teleport in our back lines. And it's dead nicely done, Padma. Which is, um, GB's character as far as I remember. We get a Hull and Hound Bones, we get a Poison Apple, and a unusually large wolf pelt. But that's about it. Not bad. No one plays Arcs anymore, quickly logs off Arcs as GV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would you present Tisk as Tis? What did I do? What did I say? Tisk Tisk? It's Tisk Tisk, isn't it? I don't know what I said. But, I'm very happy um, that we have 9 out of 15 heads for a quest I don't give a crap about, and for a quest I don't put effort into. So, I mean, 9 out of 15 for 91 heads. It works. Disc, disc, and dis, dis. Nice. Nice. We're gonna tame all the rats, says Barlow. You guys and your rats. I thought tisk was for tongue clicking, like... Tongue clicking. No, I thought it was just tisk tisk. Nine fifteen for ninety one heads. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's not great. It's better than nothing though for a quest I didn't put much effort into. So yeah, we'll do it. <clears throat> Jerstall should have some quests for us. Please look. Okay, thank goodness I have a space bar. And thank goodness it's only thralls. I'll take thralls. But I'll take the level up first before I forget. So, Sing, congratulations on your level up. And congratulations on... Do I go with Deadly Precision? Or do I go with Fortified Mind so that I can go into Mind Over Body? Yeah, that's more valuable to me. Fortified Mind into Mind Over Body is better. Okay, let's get some Thralls. Nice. Give you a helmet? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're worrying too much. Anyways, I don't really have helmets in the party. I barely have any helmets. From here, we might get a... No, they don't really give helmets. You'll be fine. I'll just keep you away from their throwing weapons. Terraria is winning, says Murph. Did you do something about that? What did you do? You guys are swaying the votes. Someone swayed the votes. Terraria is winning. How dare you? We haven't even done a main boss fight in Ark yet. We've only done mini-bosses. You guys are missing out. But we can do Terraria. I'm, I mean, democracy is a thing. I cannot say no to democracy when I give democracy. So, that's how it is. If Terraria wins, then Terraria wins. I've never played modded Terraria before, so I'm going to be probably mediocre at the game. Because I have played a Terraria a decent amount in the past. It's been a while since I've played, so I'm definitely going to be rusty. Uh, 95 Barbarian, could you please die? Dang it, it was a body shot. Dang it. But, Drays this runs up and gets a good kill. Stefan with the high ground. Unfortunately, a bit of armor damage should be hopefully not an issue. I may have swayed some votes, says GB. Yeah, yeah. You can still play off stream, says Diagrin. I mean, that is true. But that the point is for you guys to enjoy it as well. It's not just for me. I don't stream just for myself. You do know that. I'm not just streaming so I can enjoy the game. <laughs> uh, Feldspar Prince, you are pretty tanky. Go take these two down the bottom. And then Naga, I don't know, just go here. And then Ulrich, you are horribly armored. Maybe go assist Feldspar. Snow set up RimWorld on the votes. Uh, I didn't put RimWorld on the votes because I did not believe that the uh, multiplayer was working properly. 
But if it is working properly, um, we can do that next. Put it on the votes next time. But you want to see arc, arc boss fights to Stefan? Arc boss fights are pretty cool. And they're a little bit scary. Because the mini bosses were a walk through. Like, they were a walk in the park. I've done all three mini bosses, and the only mini boss that was scary was the one we didn't do. It was the the giant frozen bear, and Drazus is dying to 45%. Um, the reason why the Ice Bear was scary is because um, you were dying to the freaking negative 40 degrees cold. The bear did nothing. It's the cold that kills you. So I went through like 50 medical brews. 50 medical brews just to get through one fight. So, yeah. That was my issue with the um, bear fight. Because it takes like 10 minutes and you do, like, no damage to it. Unless there's a cheesy way to beat the fight, which I have not figured out yet. Um, the bear fight is annoying. But once again, like, I didn't have a chance to lose my guys, because they were just too good. If you don't want to see Ark on a Tuesday, vote Terraria. Diagram man, it sounds like you're doing a campaign. Sounds like you're really advocating for this. Uh, 64s? Feldspar just two shots the guy. Kenshin goes for a spin. Let's see how we go. And it is a green skin. Oh, great. Please don't be a bad green skin. It's an orc young. I'll take that. I will happily take that. Ulrich going in for a nice hit. Sing with the double kill. Let's flip and go. Sebastian with a kill. I'm so glad I took these guys on. Except for the fact that Drazus is dying. As soon as I say I'm happy that we got this freaking fight, Drazus dies to 40%. The freaking guy never missed a 40% and Drazus is dead. I mean, he wasn't only an okay tank, so I mean... I wasn't expecting many things from him, but I wasn't expecting him to die to, like, four 40% in a row. Fudge. That sucks. Oh, well. Losing to Thralls is rough, and we've done it before on this stream. In this series. So, GG, boys. GG. <coughs> There's a Feldspar Prince in this campaign, too, says Epo. Yeah, we just got him today. He didn't deserve to die. I know he didn't deserve to die. He was a freaking 40% constantly. It's pain and suffering, man. It's pain and suffering. He died for not liking Ark. I mean, he brought this upon himself. Isn't that right? Mm? It's the father help. No, my boys. Meme. Yes, yes. I love that meme. Because it's based off the Astaff movies. And they're hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Most of their jokes are really, really good. And that's a good kill from Sing once again. Dre's this is dead, and he leaves us with a sad life of four battles and nine kills. But he did a lot of kills for his four battles. So, I mean, he did good. Uh, we get his weapon back, which is nice. We get a decent amount of loot. And, uh, yeah, we have to figure it out. I can't breed anymore, says Dre's this. That is true. We're out of the dog. Yeah, we have to put probably... Um, Digrin as our dog tank now. Okay, so we got a new dog tank in town. That's mean, snow, angry, Terraria deserves praise, and a Tuesday stream says Barla. <laughs> I said, I said, if democracy brings, democracy brings it, man. I can't knock the democracy. If I, if I invoke democracy, I listen to the democracy. And uh, with Twitch, it's not really democracy. It's more like cultish swayings with advertising and um, peer pressure. It's not really democracy. But, you know, we call it democracy because it sounds good. Poor Snow forced to sink time and money to new games. I mean, I already own Terraria, but yes, I usually on Tuesdays, it's a new game for me. Like, I never played Seven Days before. I never played Project Zomboid till you guys got me into it. I never played Star Sector before you guys got me into it. So yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, but you guys pay for us. You guys pay to watch this sometimes with the, your subs. So the people who sub give me some money so I can pay. 
I bring that back into the games that you guys want to see me play. So, I mean, that's how it works. That's how it works. Terraria is $5 right now on stream. That sounds good. $5 for Terraria is a good deal. Uh, let's go student, and we definitely want to go mind over body for this build. Uh, we don't have melee stats, so I'm just going to go full support build. Complete support build with um, Barlow. Do I have a helmet for you? There you go. That's all I've got. I do have this cool new metal helmet, which can be given to Soul. No. Can be given to Padma. There you go. Looking fancy. And then a head helmet for Naga. And then a helmet for... Ulrich. And a lot of salvage. That's all that matters. Salvage. The more we salvage, the more we win. Apparently. Uh, Cithion, or Cathion, or Cathion, or See the One. I, it's probably See the One. Um, thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying. And welcome to me butchering people's names, because I do that all the time. So if you want to correct me, by all means, that is perfectly fine. And I'll keep butchering names till the end of time. But welcome, welcome. Free buy-in for anyone who wants to switch to Ark Contraria next BB stream says Barlow. Wow, now you're trying to sway the votes with buy-ins? Damn, man, you guys are getting desperate if you're trying to do some bribery. Didn't know you guys were that desperate. Uh, okay, so what else am I doing here? That's pretty much it. Do I go after these barbarian thralls again? Yes, but no, because we have darn... Mm, yeah, I'll go for it. No, they just got wrecked instantly. Well, so much for that. Look at the poles. Did it swing? Oh, it swinged back to even. And they're all constantly going up and down. Nice. Nice. Keep playing with those poles, boys. When I close it, it's closed. That's just how it is. Murph has 70k snowballs to do the same for arc people. Nice. Nice. Uh, hit one terrorizes for tier one. That's not bad. Or follow the tracks. I like both of those options. Both is good. Let's do a follow the tracks first. Get ourselves a nice, easy, easy fight. And get some bandages. And who can have some bandages on them? Ah, Mr. Barlow. There you go. And let us, let us go wandering. Come on, come on. How far away do you have to be, you darn thieves? Get back here. I hate the thieves that run away. Make my life easier. <laughs> Stop running. Did I want to rephrase that all? Oh, with the poles? Or with the thing that Murph was doing with his points? Time to play all sides and get maximum profit, says GB. <laughs> it's the only way. No boss progress. Yeah, we're working on getting some boss progress for the next bit and a half. Oh, who am I going to kill today? Probably you. Dang it. He only broke his leg. Dennis, you're getting soft. Keep playing with your poles, boys. Oh, is that what I said? Oh. Yeah, no, that could be perceived wrong. Yeah, that is true. I should have said keep playing with your votes in the polls, is what I meant to say. It's not exactly how I said it. <laughs> Thanks, Sebastian. Thanks. I'm too distracted by, like, four things at once. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll vote Terraria if we get another stream date. Oh, goodness me. You guys are trying to work me. Work me hard, aren't you? Terraria has rats to tame? It was funny, says Sebastian. Thanks, thanks. I uh, could have stuck with just votes. Yeah, I know, I know. Art got additional streams. That is true. Art got additional streams because I was going on holidays. Um, and I was going to give you guys some extra streams before I went, so you guys felt not left out. Um, but my holiday got cancelled, so that's why it got extra streams, and I was expecting it to not be able to do today's stream, and not be able to do 
Tuesday's stream. And no, you're right, Stefan, I have not spent time for my anniversary yet. Which is why I'm still here today. I would not be here today if I could go on my holiday. So there's that. So Tuesday wouldn't happen if I was on my holiday. And you guys are trying to make me work even harder. Exactly, exactly. Man, Twitch chat is just never impressed and uh, never satisfied. Hmm. I vote no stream as Snow gets to go on his anniversary. Ah, but see, the thing with my anniversary is I can't go because my wife's sick. So if you guys could somehow miraculously cure my wife, then I could go on my holiday. But unfortunately, she's still unwell. That's the limiting factor, unfortunately. That is chat's role to just be never in impressed and never satisfied, Rasayage. Yeah, I know, I know. It's such a constant for Twitch chat. I'm used to it by now. I'm used to it. I almost expect you guys, and I almost can predict what you guys say. It's it's actually pretty easy. It's pretty easy these days. Diagrin's gonna complain about some sort of streamer not being a good streamer. Um, Murph's gonna complain about... Actually, he doesn't complain as much these days. What would Murph complain about these days? Probably me forgetting something. Um... Barlow would complain about a spin. Uh, hmm. And a few others out there. A few others would have a, some pretty good, pretty good ones. <laughs> I could try and make a list. I could try and make a list. But that's a lot of effort. Also, I did a stupid move and put Sebastian forward because I was too busy thinking whilst playing the game. <laughs> Cheems broke the poll and he voted for three things. Nice. Nice. Uh, too shifty for you. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. And welcome, welcome. How's the run going? Uh, a, a bit shaky. <laughs> shaky is the, the, probably the right word to say it, and probably a, um, a, a casual way of saying the struggles we've been having. Mainly because, um, we're on our second rebuild of the run. It's been rough. Um, we've had some really good plays. And then one stupid fight can ruin everything. Oh boy, man, we've had we've had the times today. So yeah, but we're bringing it back. That's the thing. This is the bounce back stream on Sunday, apparently, and uh, we're showing everybody how it's done. Coming back from nothing, from the bottom to the top, and we've done it like twice now. So it's good to see. It's good to see. Chicken noodle soup. Yeah, chicken noodle soup's great. Cough drops is great. Murph will throw a fellow viewers into the water. Yep, yep, that is a common Murph thing to do. Nog is exhausted. Great. Cough drops in. What was the other one? Some chicken noodle soup. Yeah, that's common. That's a common thing. And uh, time to send Snow all the money to get best meds for his wife. Thanks. Appreciate the... The, I appreciate all the get well soons for my wife, and I can have a deserved holiday. You guys are very kind, thank you. Yeah. Sometimes I do worry, and uh, I do have to look after her. But that's just life. Why did some people vote for mobile games on the poll? Thought that was disabled? It shouldn't be enabled? I'll have a look at it. Maybe you guys are just playing around with it too much. And it broke the poll. I'll have to double check it, man. I won't worry about it right now, because I'm too busy streaming. But I'll look at it later. Shikon soup, says Diagrin. I have no idea what that soup is. But I did a stupid play and put Sebastian on the front line and he's fine, so. You worry, worry only sometimes, says Stefan. Yeah, I'm usually not a big worrier. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I worry about mainly dying with all these guys, and then sometimes I worry about real-life conditions and stuff. <laughs> it's it's a give and take. It's a give and take. We need a bell to run with medicine to Australia to heal Snow's Rife. <laughs> you guys gonna try and send, send the, what is it, the medical army support. Sounds great. Good vibes, good vibes. Dennis said he might have broke the pole. Oh, and Diagon also did spin. I'm so sorry I missed it. Um, Schwifty says, second rebuild, oh boy, bad RNG, I guess. Oh man, you don't know the half of it. Holy crap, that, that knocks it a fight. Holy crap, man. I'm sure Chad has clipped it or something. But that knocks it a fight, um... That RNG was bad. 
double 95s and missed in a row, plus an extra 95 later. Getting smacked in the face for 10% four times in a row. Yeah, it was disgusting. And then, because of that, the knocks spiraled out of control. And I was missing 70s, they were hitting 30s constantly. I was missing almost all my 70s. Yeah, it was disgusting, man. It was so disgusting. I haven't had that bad RNG in a little while. I always get bad RNG on this game. But, my god, that uh, that was just the cream of the crop. Hanky Panky, welcome to the stream. What origin are we playing today? We are playing the Troop Origin. All about that circus life. Um, we were play We are still playing, but we're not really enjoying it as much. Um, the Accessory Companions mod that's been updated for the newest version of Legends. Um, the way that they changed how the game works and how the mod works, I'm I'm not a big fan, and I cannot recommend it at its current state. I might request to get it fixed or something, but I really don't like how it is. But it is basically the troop origin. Um, we made it all just like a circus group, and our troops died like twice. Not all of them, but a good chunk of them, so our obituary is pretty high. But... We are rebuilding constantly, and successfully, so I can always be happy in that. And, in all honesty, when you play games like this, and you have to rebuild with Bar um, Battle Brothers, it's very good practice and learning um, of what you need to do, what you need to avoid. It's a way of improving. If you get no resistance in your gameplay, then... It's not as um, interesting, I guess, in my opinion. Gotta have a bit of bad, bit of lows to experience the highs. <laughs> I guess. Did I lose all my starters? Yeah, I probably did. I don't remember who's my starter anymore. I think Dennis might be a starter. Yeah, I think Dennis is a starter. In all honesty. Company for 66 days. I think he's the only one that survived... We got 14 days, 14 days, 8 days, and 3 days. So, Dennis might be the only OG left. Less than losing is fun? Yeah, I know, right? I know. You have to lose in this game to have fun, apparently. It's always in the tooltips. It teaches you every single time. Oh. Sing with another double kill. Disgusting. Let's go. Let's go. And let's try and get these last couple of kills, please. Nah, I can't get there in time. Nope, nope, you're gonna miss. Uh, I can snipe this guy, possibly. That would be nice. Nice, Stefan, good kill. Uh, I'm hoping Dennis can pull us through on this last kill. From the darkness, there goes a beautiful rock. That's how it's done. The usual fun BB times, says Swifty. Yeah, I know, right, man? It's it's rough. But we power through. Not much in terms of loot, but I'll take it. Every shield counts. Every... What else do I have that's garbage? Don't need that. Uh, da, 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 da. I probably grown to grab that shield. There we go. I'm happy with that. Drazus is trying for the 3.0. No tryouts for us. We are missing one character because we did get you killed. But we will try and do a no tryout for you, man. <clears throat> try and build you back up. From losing from 440%. Holy crap, man. Sometimes the numbers are just a little bit bad. But that's okay. We'll get there. We will get there. Uh, let's get that repaired, and let's head back for our pay. 660, not bad for such an easy fight. We need another stream day for all the games. Yeah, eventually we'll have to have a certain game for a certain day of the week. Um, but that's that's a thing in progress, Barlow. That's a thing in progress. I gotta work on my schedule. I gotta get back into the YouTube stuff, because there's been a delay on our YouTube series. I've gotta try and balance that, balance life, balance streaming. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But it should be able to be done uh, in due time. We do have a tier 1 beast quest. We have a tier 1 orcs quest. Ay. Don't know if I want to do that. Rasei says, so if I leave a good note tips from loading screen, a 95% chance it holds a 5% chance to miss. Thanks, man. Totally needed that loading tip screen. 
That's such a horrible one. It's like, hey, remember, even if your bro is as good as it can possibly get, even if you've stacked as much uh, accuracy on your bro as possible, no matter if he's flipping the best thing in the world, he can still miss a rabble on a 95. Yep, yep, thanks game for reminding me that no matter how good you are, you can still fail. I appreciate that tidbit of knowledge. The game is too generous. Too generous. Apocalypse says must take a quest from earlier? Where? Oh, there was from 21 minutes ago. Well, this was the next quest, so I have to take the tier 1. Great. Okay, okay. Would I call it heartache by the number? At the 95s? Yeah, that's a heartache. That is a heartache. You bought one of each, says Epo. Sounds like a plan, man. Sounds like a plan. I do need a bit of salvage, but I also do want to do the tryout. Uh, who would I grab that's got a no tryout? Ooh, cultist. Ooh, taxidermist. Taxidermist is cheaper. And he has a possibly a better chance of being better. I'll go taxidermist. And I'm disappointed. He's got 68... Oh, actually, I'm not disappointed. No, no, he could be good. 68 base melee skill. This is why you go taxidermist, chat. No stars, and he's a freaking beast. Taxidermists are unsung heroes. I have them in my guide video. For a good reason. Because that's disgusting. That's, like, almost as good as hedge knights. So good. Watch me get him killed. Um, thank you very much, Epo, um, for the no tryout. Wait, did, no, Drazus did a no tryout, but Epo did it first. Yeah, no, this is Epo's character. Drazus, you'll get the next one. Um, and this is a DPS something. Uh, can I finally get my Spear Overwhelm build? No, because the game literally hates me. Why can't I ever get my Spear Overwhelm builds, chat? Why? Why am I cursed? I don't know, man. GB says I must have snow luck because every time I get a tax man, he's absolute garbage. You must have very bad luck. Taxidermists are great for me. They're almost always great. Uh, for the time being, though, I want a reach weapon for him. Do I have a reach weapon? Uh, I don't think I... Yeah, I do. There we go. Reach weapon. Into the 55 base with the 25 attachment with the 40 helmet with an attachment. And is that it? Tier 2. I can go for a 65 base. That's even better. 25. That's not bad. Uh, I can get Ulrich some better armor because I can't believe I've left him uh, this long without any good armor. There you go. 90 is a lot better than what was I giving him? 45 or something stupid? My Discord died, says Dennis. Oh no. Oh no. But the polls carnage every couple of minutes. Yeah, the polls are being a bit carnage at the moment. Um, I barely check them. And you guys are having too much fun. So I'll just leave that until it dies down. Uh, let's get this to going. And let's wait for the beasts to come to us because they always do. So let's get some salvage. And let's hope this party can live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we're at new slots. I know. And you found some dead people. I know, I know what happens. It's weird. 9 to 7 to Ark now, says Rasayaj. Ooh, interesting. You guys are making it interesting. Uh, okay, so that cleans up my inventory. I have more space in the party. Let's go. We can open to 15. I'll do it later. I don't want to do it now. That's too much effort. Too much effort indeed. Okay. Footprints. Why didn't you come and say hi? My bet it's Nox. It's gotta be Nox. I rarely ever see anything 
other than Nox. But I'll take spiders. I'll happily take spiders. We have no tryouts lined up. We only have one no tryout lined up, so I will have to get a new one. And that's for Dre's this. Ark is like anime for dinosaur lovers, dinosaur weebs. Hey, Epo, what are you talking about, man? Ark is a good game. It's not for dinosaur weebs. It's for people who enjoy survival games. And want a different twist to it. That's a beautiful dead spider. I bet for spiders, where's my money, says Murph. Nice. Um... I don't know where um, your, the, the money came from, Murph, um, but I don't have any money for the bet, so all bets are off. <laughs> we'll do it that way. Also, we'll end our turn because it's too much. Ark is a good game. Noise of a player defecating, says Digrin. Oh, that, that funny meme noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I put Apocalypse in a bad position, didn't I? And the spider decides to footwork and dance around the edge. Mmm. Okay. Okay, they're bullying. They're bullying us now. Holy crap. Really? 38, 32, 30, 33, 43. I'll take the 43. Rolls a 99. What did I expect? I don't even know. Uh-oh. Digrin going for some kills. Love to see it. Dennis with the beautiful, oh my goodness. Headshot for the win. 72, 74s. I'll take it. Can't do it. Barla's going for a spin. Uh-oh. We're a bit landlocked here, man. I don't really want to see something scary. That's an undead. Okay. Have it your way. It had to be a Necro? I mean, in this fight, that's not that scary. There's no humanoids to resurrect, so that's kind of good for me. But he's gonna get wrecked by spiders that spawn in at the back. <laughs> I didn't think about that. That's good. Why didn't I take the 100% snow? That Then that would have hit. I know, if only I had the 100%. Would have been set. Would have been set for life. Okay. Okay, can I break out, please? Thank you, Solemn. Can I shield bash? That works. Can I... 28%. That's not gonna happen. Damn. Okay, Apocalypse, please don't die. I only just got you and you're pretty good. Good, the spider went south. You didn't take any poison damage, that's good. Oh, fudge. They're just bullying Solemn. Can you dumb spiders not? Naga with a good hit. Apocalypse with a good miss. Sing with a good miss. Oh my freaking goodness. They're leaving them on 5 health. Dennis with a good kill. Oh my goodness, Padma's stuck. Tame the Necro? <laughs> if only it were that easy. Good hit by Feldspar. Ulrich misses. 31 by Sebastian. We need to save Solem. Okay, Solem will survive, hopefully. Ah, <laughs> the spiders are beating up the Necro. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Sucks to be him. Kraken dead now. We have no problem. We have a Necro. I mean, if a Necro could revive a Kraken, man. I would be a bit scared. Necro's gonna have his fun day. Good hit by Stefan. Uh, there's still ten enemies, so I can't live... A happy life just yet. That's a confident Necro. Oops. That was an accident. Wasn't trying to get him confident. We need NGH's zombie beasts. 
That would be pretty insane. Okay, I'm gonna try and capture the spider. Come on, we gotta get lucky with a capture for once in our lives. It's injured, it's surrounded. Stefan can throw a net on it. Singh can just do nothing. The spider can't break free. Um... I can hit the Necro because I'm a jerk. Oh no, I almost hit the spider with the 42, okay. Uh, I'm too exhausted to try and catch the spider, too exhausted to catch the spider. 5% chat. 5%. My brain after figuring out how Stegos and Arc work. Oh, because they added the stupid tail attack to them. Yeah, freaking Stegos, man. 5.8%. That's so lame. And I rolled a 93. Oh, <gasps> but it didn't give him the immunity. Okay, okay, I can try again. I can actually try again. When would you start allowing more champion spawns in Battle Brothers as in purchasing a bounty board written new favorite enemy perks? Ah, uh, oh, I see what you mean, Stefan. Um, I uh, recommend going for more champions when you have a late game party. When you have, like, close to level 11 bros, when you're very confident with your killing abilities, when you've got good DPS in your party, um, really don't rush it. Don't rush champions if you can't deal with them. That's my big take home. Missed a 5.8%. And it didn't give him immunity? Now it did. Okay. I tried three rolls, chat. I rolled a 93, a 55, and a 95. When I needed to get a 5%. And this is why I can't recommend... Um, this is why I can't recommend accessory companions. Spiders are such an easy thing to tame. And with a spider on 7 health, with a cut leg muscle, with a net on him, with 5 people surrounding him... My best I could possibly do is a 5.8%. That's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. We couldn't even tame dogs last week. So, yeah. I wish I could get champions to spawn. They never do when I want to. Um, yeah, there are ways of getting champions to spawn. Oh my goodness, Dennis. Stop missing the 82s, man. You need staff builds and poison. Yeah, I know, but it's... It's still stupid and not worth it. <laughs> I made the mistake of not making it six. I didn't have a sixth person. And in all honesty, that sixth person wouldn't make a difference. It's so bad, the percentage. It wouldn't work. There's no way. Because I see the way that they um, programmed the uh, AC companion mod to be changed is they do it a percentage base. But think about this, like, an extra 20% of 5% is 1%. It's not a 20% bonus of, like, a 20% accuracy. It's 20% of 5%. Which is really bad. So if I get, like, a 200% chance to tame a spider, when the base chance is, like, 5%, that's, like, 10%. That's garbage. That's absolute garbage. And it's not like I'm taming something that's going to survive the next fight gonna freaking die so yeah I'm not at all keen on all that okay so where are we going we're getting Solom out of there because he's gonna die we're getting da Digrins exhausted Stefan what happened to you you need your shield back Feldspar Prince nicely done and then 72, 65, and 64. I'll go for the 72. Damn, that's not a kill. Krakens are mindless beasts controlled by hunger alone. Zombie Kraken needs to be added. Uh, I mean... 
Maybe. Cult is a good word if you realize every religion's an overgrown cult. Zombie crack needs to be added to... Wait, what did I miss? To my next book. Oh! That's the part that I missed. No one needs to understand his intentions. It's like Cthulhu. It's like the whole silly idea of Cthulhu. It's very funny. Uh, Naga, let's get you up there. I think there's a spider still waiting for his turn, though. Yeah, I knew it! And now it's a dead spider. Sucks to be him. Good kill by Sing. Good hit there. Sorry, Snow, we're chatting potential story ideas for incoming books. Yeah, that's all good. I just missed that little tidbit, and everyone's replying to the same comment. I'm like, zombie cracker needs to be added. I was like, I guess. Oh, it was to the book. Yeah, that's all I missed. All good, all good. Feels bad seeing Barla begging to play Terraria. I don't know, man. I'm not aware with all of your favorite games out there, so I don't know. I don't have an opinion on who's doing what for what their favorite game is. Um, but I am intrigued. But I don't have a good line of sight. That sucks for Dennis. It's kind of rough. I'll live with it. I'll live with it. The spiders are starting to flee. Let's go. Bye bye. Don't call Cthulhu silly. Lovecraft makes job. Uh, Rachel making all rosters reasonable. Define reasonable, but okay. <laughs> yeah, Lovecraftian horrors. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so far as to call them reasonable, but fair enough. He does a good job of making them interesting. That's the word I would use. He goes out of his way to make things very scary and interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't say reasonable is in that list of things. Ah, uh, Dennis, I can't do anything. Go here. Nice! Good kill. There we go. All them are dead. It's over. Um, have you played The Last Spell? Similar to Games Battle Brothers and Last Spell is fun. I ha I wanted to play The Last Spell. I played the demo. And I was considering playing it for YouTube and stuff, but I didn't get a chance to add it to my schedule. Or I wanted to possibly play it on stream. But yeah, no, I liked Last Spell. Um, it's a little bit repetitive. But it is a good game. I think they just need a bit... I don't know, I remember hearing this review, and I, I sort of agreed with it. Um, what was the thing about Last Spell? They were saying that it didn't have that much specialization and it was a little bit, a little bit narrow in its, um, the things that you could do with it. But it was, it's still a great game. It's still a great game. And it's got a good concept to it. But yeah, definitely a good idea, Dennis. Definitely a fun game. Uh, Jurstall, let's go this way. Set to people up for a game that can play with snow all day already, says Barlow. Um, but Barlow, you, you're missing the point. It's unfortunate that you're missing the point, man. The point of voting for a stream is for people to watch it. Not everyone can play during the week. The people who are on stream want to watch something, they're allowed to vote for what they want to, man. So, swaying people's votes in all fun and games for you guys is fair. But when you start taking it seriously, I, I don't expect, I don't um, accept that, and I don't think that's a very nice way of going about it. The whole point of the democracy thing is to be democratic, to allow everybody's vo vote to sort of count. Not everybody's vote does count as strongly, um, if you want to put their votes down. People are allowed to vote for what they want. And some people are still like, I think it was Epo who keeps voting for Eco almost every week. Because it's a good game, like, there's, there's a lot of good games on the list that we have. Sort of count is not, you know what I'm saying, Murph. What I'm saying by not everybody's vote counts perfectly is because if you if it's one person voting for a certain game and everybody else wants to see a different game, then that one person who voted for a certain game, it's not going to count because it's it's not making it's not going to succeed. 
in swaying any votes. But eventually, it might. It might count. It's kind of like when you go democratically to voting for an election and somebody votes for the Pirate Party. Yeah, your vote technically counts, but it's not going to make a big difference. But swaying people and like bullying them for the votes that, that you want them to go for, you don't want them to go for. As long as it's just in a slight little tidbit of fun, that's fine. But if you guys start going a bit further, then that's not fair. And I don't appreciate that. But yeah, everyone should be able to vote the way they want to, and that's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, destroy Iron Shore Camp. This is the darn orc one, isn't it? Mmm, orcs. I don't know if we're ready for orcs, chat. That's what I would worry. Bullying is bad. Bribery, though, that's super legal here in the USA, says Epo. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, not everybody lives in the USA, but yes, yes, that is a fun, fun joke there. Says the bully streamer. A, 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 A. Trying to bring it back to me. Of course, of course. Murph says, must take the next quest. Thanks, man. I am ready. Well, I don't think I have a choice now. I must take the quest. Thanks, Murph. I don't see the high detail games on stream since the emus eat the bit rate and it looks fuzzy, says Epo. Ah, uh, yes, that does happen sometimes. I do need to do the tryout strays this. You are correct. You are correct. So I'll do that in a second. I'm just trying to remember. Stats. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'll take it. Uh, armors. That's about as good as it's going to get. Sadly. Um, okay, so who am I going to try out and who's going to be worth it? Gravedigger is... Eh. Cultist could be good. Or do I go for a hunter to try and get a good ranged character? Because we don't have any more range in this party, and you know what? I might go for a hunter. Hmm. Alright, are you going to be good to me, or are you going to be good to me? Hagen or Gunderbad? Gunderbad sounds cooler. The Woodsman. But then this guy's a deer hunter. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me. Did I mention the free rats as Epo? <laughs> Trying to get the rats going. It's the only way. It's not bribery when you declare that you're not aware of receiving said funds, says Stefan. <laughs> it's not bribery if you say you plead the fifth about somebody asking you if you took bribery payments. <laughs> Take the woodsman, he might have a better beard. Oh yeah, he does have a better mustache. Okay, Nagas, you got me sold. Oh, I got ripped off. But he got 63 as his stats, so... If he rolls well, he's good. If he rolls bad, I mean, he probably won't roll bad. Yeah, hope, let's hope, let's hope it works out. He's got ballistics, he's got bow. He can use the brand new bow. This is a really good bow. I wish it had bonus accuracy to it. Um, yeah, let's just hope he rolls well. He's got Poacher's Armor if he needs to. The only thing that's his saving grace is he rolled high with the 63. I think that's the only saving grace. Um, and let's go as a bow build. And of course I had dev tools still on. Okay, so who was this one? This was... Dre's this. What, like 3.0? Is it Drazus 3.0? It is, it is. Okay, goodness me. Obviously, Gun to Bad is a gun build. Ah, uh, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, bow build seems like the right play here. And throwing could work. But I don't have any fancy throwing weapons. And he doesn't have recover. He does have Pathfinder, though. And he does have Clarity. Bow or throw. 
With 59 melee skill, he could hybridize. Mmm, yeah, I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Anyways, we do have one more no trout from Ken Chan. And that makes me sort of want to go for the other one. It's gonna really cut into our money, though. But we do need more range in this party. Reach Cleaver, that's a DPS, which... No, we don't need more range, because we have a lot of backliners. We've got that backliner, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six backliners, I need a frontliner. Okay, so I am possibly going for the Gravediggers. Disease swept through... Yeah, okay, let's go for this guy. He seems like he's he's down on his luck. Yes, let's go! Let's freaking go. <laughs> he's good! Oh, that's worth it. That is so worth it. We got a tank. We got another tank. Thank you, Ken Chan. Uh, 2.0, isn't it? Didn't I get you killed already? Or are you still in the party? Nah, I got him killed. Nicely done. Oh yeah, that fleshes out the party quite nicely. Um, except I don't have armor for these people, so good luck. And to let you know, we're counting on you. Oh, I accidentally spawned that in. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. Say goodbye. There we go. Dev tools turned off. Ken Chan is ready to roll. Grab him a shield. Grab him a... No, that stupid thing's two-handed. Um, grab him a Cruel Falchion, because Cruel Falchion's good. And that's about it. Good luck. Good luck. Grave Digger's ready to dig in our own graves. Hey, man. I mean, if we can pay him to dig our graves for us, maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. I see a good deal when I see one. And it could work out for us. Um, the only problem is we're leaving, leaving a level 1 into an orc fight. Which I'm a little bit worried about. So, we'll see what we can do. Solem goes for a spin. Let's save and get into the spin. Let's go. Permanent stats. That is what we like to see, Solem. Congratulations, now I need to remember where your character is. I thought he was on the front line. He's right here! Pickaxe, tank for the win. Super great accuracy, super great defense. And most importantly, gets a bit of fatigue to help with this encumbrance issue. Because um, Miner's fatigue is garbage. So, very happy to have it, man. Congratulations. Uh, and now let's have some luck, hopefully, with some orcs in the middle of the wild. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, we've got enough frontliners. Um, let's hope we can pepper down these enemies with Mr. Dennis. And that's a lot of thralls and some reavers. No thank you. No thank you. I don't like the night time. I can't see anything. I don't want to fight them at night. Daytime, and it's a few warriors and many young. Let's hope that's like 12? 14 out of 15 roster, says Rasayage. Yes, yes. I can only field 14, but I can have 15 in my roster, so someone will be on the AFK. Um, so as your roster gets past like the 14, 15 size, um, there's going to be more and more size to your roster, but less that can be fielded. That's why it says 14 out of 15. And that's why it says 14 out of 14 when I'm um, in the field. Uh, Drazus, I could have given you better armor. Forgot to do that, but you're probably not going to get hit, hopefully. Let's keep you safe. Uh, 88%. You know what? I won't say no to that. I will not say no to that. And it bruises his leg so he can't run. Sweet! Freaking young with the annoying cleavers. Young with the baseball bats, I don't care. Young with the cleavers and the axes, they hurt. They hurt a bit too much. 
Right back, good luck, restart my PC, says Dennis. No worries, man, hopefully we have some luck. And hopefully it turns out quite well. But I can't promise anything, because this is going to be rough. It's only 10, but 10 should be enough to make us struggle a little bit. I don't want to break formation. Because I don't want them pushing through my lines. And I also don't want them flanking up top, because Apocalypse is there. One stone to break his whole armor? I mean, pretty much. It's worth it. 70% with Drazus on his very first shot. Nice headshot. Nicely done. Okay. Who's up? Dennis. We need a death. We need someone to die. That's a stun, and he's on 7 health. So close. And you can push that orc back. Even better. Let's go. Let's go, Dennis. You're carrying us to victory. It's a famous rock. Wait, Dwayne's here? Dwayne the Rock Johnson? <laughs> we just keep throwing Dwayne at orcs. He'll stop them eventually. We have the power of Dwayne in our hands. Uh, do I walk forward? Is this too risky? Oh, I think it's... Is it the right call? Mm. Do I move my line one space forward? I think so. I think it's the right call and I missed. 64, we get a kill. Nicely done. Send me in Cesaron. I'm trying. I don't know if it was the right choice. But it might be. Oh, and Sauron's getting his morale checked. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The orcs are waiting, which is good news. Very good news that the orcs are waiting with the warriors. The morale's getting checked, which is wonderful. Um, apocalypse... Fudge. I have to end your turn. I'm too worried about this orc. Okay, sweet! We collapse. We collapse right now. Nice hit. Uh, Kenchan, you shield wall. Good hit by Stefan. Uh, bar low, we need to go for a 57. That did not work. 56, 69. I'll take a 69 and miss! Dang it. Yeah, we do need some more plot armor. Desperately need some plot armor in this situation. Naga, let's get you up there. And then Sing headshot. Let's freaking go! He's on two health and he's bleeding. Solemn misses an 89. Are you kidding me? Ulrich with the shield wall. Nicely done. And Sebastian with the 47. No! Freaking warrior runs up. That is not a good sign. That is nowhere near a good sign. Holy crap. Oh. 62, 63. Ouch. That's bad. Okay, we're dodging 26s. Good news, good news. 78 and we miss. Chat, is this happening again? Am I cursed? Well, I know the answer to that question. The answer to the question is, am I still cursed? In this specific fight. Double 57s, because I'm rolling 90s. 61, I need this kill. Thank you, Digrin. And then I need some headshots. No, I just need some body shots. Beautiful Sing with the double body shot. Let's go. Uh, 58, 49. Uh, I actually need Barlow to go here. Weirdly enough. Yeah, of course he breaks the shield. Of course he goes for the shield break. No, don't kill Kenchan just as we get him. King Orc Warriors. I can't do anything. Ken, you've got to ditch out of this fight. Can I capture the Orc? No. <laughs> that would be funny if I could. 
Other loading screen tip, if your plan can fail with bad luck, maybe it's not good enough in a plan, says Rasayage. Thanks. Oh, that's a rough one. That's a rough one. I knew he would try to push through, stupid freaking warriors. Why? 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 We dodge a 61 and 70, 71 and 64? Why does the morale get checked after I just rallied the troops? Oh my goodness, I hate warriors so freaking much. Ninety fives, it's not gonna make a difference. I miss the ninety five. This is line breaker so annoying. Yeah, it is. It is so freaking annoying. As the fact that it checks them around when they walk there. It should not be able to do that. It should not be able to check their morale. Um, I can't even go for a good hit. Yes, I can. Sweet. And I can push him away to keep um, Ken Chan safe. Oh, that's so nice. If I get a 5.0, it would be a new record, says Barlow. That is true. And also, Stefan! He's getting wrecked by just freaking Young. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's not good. The, the victory morale only works on one person. Sebastian, my man, come on. That's a dead flipping Vala. Really? Also, Feldspar dodges. Ken Chan escapes. Oh, I'm so pissed. Stupid freaking orc warriors have to ruin everything. They take so long to kill as well. And a 72 and we miss. Fudge, man. There we go, that's a kill, finally. Stefan's dead. No, he's struck down. Okay, he's not dead. That did nothing. That's a dead shield, of course, and we get hit on a 35. Of course. But I'll take that fleeing orc over anything for a while. Fodge. That's another dead. <sighs> okay. The rally works for once, Sebastian. Good job. Okay, that one's dying. Uh, Ken Chan's leaving, which is perfectly fine. 50% Feldspar, good job. He survives on 4 health. Really? Wow. Uh, 74, I'll take it. That's a good snipe. 82 with a good kill, I'll take it. Digrin will survive this. Um, now what's the big question is... Drazus goes for a 47. And misses, that's okay, that's okay. It's going to be Barlow, says Ulrich. Yeah, expecting Barlow to die here. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. 75 and Digrin misses. Sing with a headshot. Beautifully done. Shield bash? What the heck are you doing, you stupid young? Stop breaking all my shields! Why would you line break? I'm so freaking confused by orc. They make no sense. Good kill. Sebastian with a good kill. Man, we lost one person. Edit this run together, posted as the most cursed ever. I mean, it's pretty cursed, man. Not gonna lie. Nice snipe by Drazes on a 53. Oh, I thought we were gonna lose more than one there. Stefan loses an eye. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. It's good for his character. 
But we lose the freaking Vala that we got so lucky to get. Oh, wow. Oh, well. Can you even fight Orc Warriors with a pure melee party? Yes, you can. Um, it's usually better because then they don't try and push through your lines as much. I mean, they'll push through your lines for, um, for your reach bros, but you can. You can. Barlow 4.0 is dead. Yep. He's dead. We just keep killing him. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's just so unlucky. They just zoned in for him. And he was just gone. Let's try the no tryout, says Barlow. <laughs> we'll try. We will try. There are new people in town, though. Look at that. It got refreshed. Okay, Barlow. We're going for the brawler, the miner, or the taxidermist. I have good luck with taxidermists. But a brawler and a miner, oh, you can get like a 50-50 luck on that. I don't know. Taxidermists are just weird. They're just good. Brawler, he says. Okay, let's try out the brawler. Let's see what we get. Oh, he's good! He's a polearm worthy, bro. Or he could be Spear Overwhelm if I would ever get Spears and Overwhelm in the same stupid... He could be unarmed. Yeah, he could be unarmed. I haven't done a Puncher in a while because I haven't been lucky enough to get unarmed people. Yeah, let's do Punchy. Punchy. And this is Bar Low 5.0. Let's see how he goes, chat. Let's see how he goes. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's, it's, yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, we do have actually helmet armors now, which is weird. It's very weird. But we'll live with it. Um, do I go with a heavy metal shield or do I go with just a normal shield? Normal shield, normal sword. And let's try and give some helmet armors to people so they don't die. Orc Helmet Armor sucks, but it's better than nothing. Diagrin with a face. Kenshan, you lost your shield. A lot of people lost their shield that fight. Kenshan with the big ugly face, that should be fine. And I can't really give you better body armor, which sucks. Uh, to raise this, though, I should give you something better. Just ever so slightly. There we go. We'll give you the nice skull on your head. Hopefully that doesn't make you a target. Road to 10.0. Yeah, exactly. It'd be so interesting with the stat tracker if it would show the dead, too. Yeah, that's a thing that's in the works. I gotta let Enduriel know it's not working properly. Um, but it is a feature that is being worked on. So the obituary should show some stats. Unfortunately, it's not working as intended, but it's still a work in progress, so we'll hopefully see that sometime soon. Um, oops, oops, oops. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of the crappy shields. And in terms of armor situation, to raise this, congratulations on your level up. Bow or throw? You just maxed. Beautiful, man. Beautiful stuff. Now I make the decision. 85, 203. I like this bow. I've lost my cool throwing weapons. As much as I love throwing weapons, I might have to go bow. Yeah, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with bow, which means I go with... Uh, I like target practice, but I'm going to go with Poacher's Arm, I think, because it gives me just extra accuracy, because why not? And extra damage, just a little bit. Just a little bit. This is such a roller coaster run out of wheel spins. Yep, yep. Definitely a roller coaster run, but it's enjoyable. 
it, although it is, you know, slightly frustrating. Just slightly. Uh, the Pimp! Beautiful rolls, man. Beautiful stuff. Uh, let's get that... Where is it? Underdog? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, Mr. Cook Tank. How are we looking? Looking pretty good. Uh, we want to get more defensives. And that includes Bulwark? Because why not? I don't see any of the defensives I desperately want right now, so I'll go Bulwark. That'll be nice. Plus 8 resolve. Gonna be helpful. Diagrin as our dog tank. Looking pretty good there. Pretty good indeed. Uh, let's get dog breeder. So we can start breeding some dogs. Uh, Apocalypse has DPS rolling wonderfully. Absolutely wonderfully. Man, welcome to freaking taxidermists. Welcome to taxidermists. They're too good. And what build are we going with? We can't do my wonderful duelist and wonderful spear build. So... 80 to 98 guaranteed. Gamers are going for a spin. Thanks, man. I will do that in just a moment once I finalize the build I want for Apocalypse. Because I do have a beautiful two-handed uh, flail ready for some good damage. I do have... Not much else. We've got a two-handed sword on the way, we've got a pickaxe tank, we've got a reach cleaver, we've got a flail bind over body. I'm thinking about going for that flail build. Charming, night blind. Yeah. Really starting the plan, Pengu Storm. The plan to flood Snow's house with penguins, says GB. Thanks, man. Thanks. I do love the penguins. It, it's like one of those where you try and prank somebody, but they love the prank. It, it's one of those pranks that backfire. It's like, haha, pranked you. I gave you a cream pie. It's like, yeah, but I love cream pie. I'll just eat that. It's great. It's like, haha, I bought you chocolate milk instead of normal milk. And it's like, hey, that's a good thing. I'll take it. What's my trait, says Dennis? Uh, where is Dennis? Oh yeah, forgot Dennis is the big boy. Uh, Dennis is brave and a Spartan. That's the guy I don't feed. Phrasing snow. Oh, you know what I mean? <sighs> Fudge, you guys take it so badly. I gotta be so careful what I say to Twitch chat. Cream pie as in like the, the coconut cream pies. Not the other... Hmm. You guys have dirty minds. Cultured chat. Oh, yep. Welcome to chat. Welcome to Twitch chat. Anyways, anyways, uh, Braves and Spartan is what you got, man, which is great. And Apocalypse, I'm really leaning towards that Flail Mastery. Because I don't mind the Oversized Bone Grinder, which is a great name. You know, the only pie I actually know is Pumpkin Pie. I don't like pumpkins, and I'm going to get a lot of hate from GB for saying that. It's an American thing. Pumpkins are an American thing, and apparently Australians, and I'm just Canadian. But then again, Canadians like pumpkins. I don't know, it's just not me. It's not me. I'm not a pumpkin person. I don't like them. The only person who ever convinced me to eat a pumpkin was my wife, because she made pumpkin soup for the very first time in my life that was actually good. And I was like, sure, I'll try it, because, you know, I've got no choice when I have a wife. You know, you got to try things. And I was like, this is actually pretty good. This is actually pretty good. And I was like, I'm not eating anything else that has pumpkin in it. I'll just eat the soup. Y'all need Jesus. I mean, literally, I only knew of pumpkin pie. I never knew the pie existed a couple years ago, says GB. Oh, you literally only knew there was only pumpkin pie. Oh, there's so many good pies, though. Like apple pie, rhubarb pie. I'm not a big fan of cherries, so I'm more of a like a blackberry, raspberry, 
Strawberry. I don't think there's strawberry pie. That would be weird. I think there is, though. But no, like, rhubarb pie is pretty good. But, I, yeah, just not cherries. I don't know, man. I don't know. But Apocalypse, you know, I'm, I'm really selling myself. Because we have a flail in the party, so I'm going to sell myself on the wonderful flail build. Let's do it. And it helps with accuracy because you don't really need as high of an accuracy to go with flails because you go past people's shields. But it should be fine. Let's repair all those. Let's get some money out of it. And yeah. Obviously chat's going to start talking more about food. <laughs> Our food Sunday talks are great. Uh, let's get some of this, some of that. And let's get some more tools. Because why not? Do I buy the copper at 234? Uh, yes, it's not that bad. Do I buy food? No. It's expiring though. A lot of that food's expiring. Okay, I need to sell some of this food. And look at that. Fresh meat for six days. Perfect. Sweet. There's a phrase in Mandarin we call, to explain is to cover up, says Stefan. <laughs> I need to try other pies. Yeah, there's some good ones out there, man. I'll be going now, Snow, so you'll see you. See you in August. Thanks for hanging out, man. Have a good one. We'll catch you in the next one. If I don't see you in the Tuesday stream, have a wonderful week ahead, man. We'll catch you sometime soon. Uh, let's go to Skagenstad. Or Skagenstead? Or Stegenstad? I don't know. Something similar to that. Carrot pie exists if I remember correctly. See, that sounds weird. See, carrot cake sounds weird, but it actually tastes good. See, growing up, as a kid, I was like, carrots and cake is stupid. It's really stupid. Why would you put a vegetable in a cake? It sounds icky. And then eventually, somehow, I don't know how I got convinced, but I tried a uh, carrot cake. And I was like, this is good. It doesn't really taste that much like carrots. It's just mostly sugar. But yeah. Carrot cake's great. The only problem I have with carrot cake is sometimes they put too much icing on it and then they make it taste disgusting. So I have to shave off like half the icing of carrot cake. Because it really doesn't need that much icing. Most places I go to that do carrot cake give you too much icing and I'm like, screw this. I'm not eating that much icing. So I just have a small amount of icing on my carrot cake. They don't sell it around my area, GB. I never had it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Just give me the sweet bread. Oh, I see what you mean, Volt Charge. You don't like the, the icing part of the carrot cake. You like the sweet the sweet carrot cake just on its own. I don't think I've had much carrot cake just without icing. I think it needs a little bit of icing. Poppy seed cake is really good too. Simple, cheap, and filling. Um, I don't mind poppy seed. I don't think it's great. But I don't mind it. Um, Sauron's doing a must-take quest, tier 3. No. No. I will do a tier 2. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill the party, Sauron. I know a tier 3 is gonna freaking murder us all. We've got level 1s! There's no way I'm taking the tier 3. I'll take the tier 2. Tomato soup cake. What? Ulrich, why did you curse my eyes to see what that's... Tomato soup cake. What? You paid 1k snowballs for a tier 3, says Sauron? Yeah, but that's not how that works. You know the rules. You can't just change the rules, Sauron. I get to choose the quest. And you guys just pay to make me take one. And it has to be at the next location. I had four choices there. That's how it is. Refund this man's snowballs. I'm forced to do the to follow the tracks quest now, because I have no choice. You know the rules. Stop trying to change the rules. How can you have pies for food that have no moisture, says Stefan? Um, baking people are very good at what they do, at making things taste good, even if they sound weird. Slash riot, says it's Sauron. <laughs> I'm sure you'll start a good riot. You'll have a good riot there. When were these rules posted? These rules were discussed always. Always. You need proof and evidence? I need proof and evidence that they're not there. Because, uh, where does it say that it allows you to choose the quest? Hmm? Hmm. The streamer must do the next quest scene and cannot abandon it in any way. Hmm? 
Hmm. My next quest scene was the one I clicked on, Mr. Sauron. So, technically, the streamer gets to choose. Also, Stefan, did you want that before the fight? Where does it say take the easiest? But I saw the two... I saw all four of them, Sauron. I saw all four of them. Which means I get to choose. I'm not going to do all four of them. Nice try. Nice try. Stefan wants to be buffed. Okay, I'll fall back. And I'll do the buff for you. What are we going to get? Something good, I hope. Also, Diagram said he posted a video of the cake. I'll have a look at it. Um, that's a heal. And we need a heal. Sweet. Thank you, Stefan. There is a cut arm that needs to be fixed. And he's all healed up. Thank you, Stefan. And it was for your own character. And you also need a shield. So thank you for reminding me you needed a shield. And for Solo, need a shield. Holy crap, man, I need to put more shields on you guys, because stupid orcs ruin everything. They ruin everything. Flipping orcs. Okay, dev tools are not turned off. Could you please turn off? Let's quickly save. And let's go for it. During the day, some raiders. Let's see if we get some nice stuff. Diagram beat to me. It's in the Discord. Um, what cake were you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know you put it in the Discord food. You said it was the tomato soup cake. What the hell? Oh, it's from Campbell's Soup. Campbell's Soup does some weird stuff. There used to be some weird recipes back in the day. I don't think I've tried most of them, but I've seen a few. Yeah, this rule is sus. Ah, <laughs> you know you only saw the tier 3 since you knew that was what you wanted, Cesaron. He's trying to, like, you try to do, like, the Inception thing where you convince me that the idea was mine all along. Yeah, nice try. Nice try. Objection and your honor, this man is being a sussy back. <laughs> Epo. Tastes like chocolate. I highly doubt Campbell's soup would taste like chocolate. Ugh. Now, nah, that'll be weird. Unless you're drowning that in sugar, it's gonna taste so flippin' weird. But that's the thing, like, like carrot cake and all that. The only reason it tastes good is because people drown it in sugar. Or corn syrup, as you guys understand that. It's still sugar. It's just too much sugar. That's a good kill. If I need to convince you, you know you're in the wrong. Just avoid TPK. <laughs> Sauron. <laughs> He's going the next level. He's going even further beyond. Nice, nice. Okay, so what's up? We have a lot of enemies with not very good helmets. So if you guys could be very kind, could you please, you know, stab him in the face? Shoot him in the face. Do something to the face. These guys forgot to bring their helmets to the work day and they're not having their hazard hats. Their hazard helmets need to be put on and I'm not helping them. Uh, yeah, I think I just wait for Drazus' turn and then end the round. Also, Ken-chan's upset. What did we ever do, Ken-chan? What's the problem? You can talk to us about your feelings. This is a safe space. Uh, 55? 59? I'll take it, but that's a body shot, not a headshot, but that's okay. That's okay. We understand. We're here for you, Ken. With your 200 missing helmet. Okay, so they only have four range. One of them that's scary. The other three are not. This will be a walk in the park. I need Ace Attorney to represent me. So Sauron. <laughs> totally, man. Totally. Uh, do I just counter snipe them? Yeah, why not? Why not? My dream was always a cleaver bro, says Ken Shan. Aww. You're not gonna be living your dream. You're a shovel man, apparently. But yeah, no, you gotta be a... You gotta be a tank. Definitely have to be a tank, man. You can't even be a shovel tank, because it's a two-handed weapon. That sucks. But yep, yeah, you're just stuck as a... You're stuck as a tank. Maybe in the next life. I'm not here for him, I'm here for Chaos's GB. Nice. Nice. 
He posted the original TikTok short of tomato soup cake. Says Ulrich. Oh. I see. Anyways, Feldspar Prince can work on this dog. Naga can try and get a 73 and he doesn't. Great. That was a bit risky. Now top flank's gonna struggle. Yeah, I thought so. Great. Not what I wanted to see. Alright, we got our work cut out for us. Uh, can I get a 62 to raise this? Sniped! Let's go. Love to see it. That's two down, 17 to go. Ken, what are we doing? Waiting them for to get to us. Yes, I don't need to get closer to these guys. I need to get closer to the top flank, though. That's the rough part. Sebastian, let's go here. Oh, I could have moved one space forward and gone for a swipe at somebody. But I didn't. Ah, that would have been smart, because then I would have screwed up if I did that. Hey, Stefan? Stefan. This is bad. Oh, Naga. That's bad. Uh-oh. Apocalypse, could we get a kill, please? Thank you, that is beautiful. And then I need Sing to get a dome on this big boy. Fractured skull, that's what I like to see. Last few seconds after tasting is brilliant, says Ulrich. Uh, I'll have to take your word for it, man. I'll really have to take your word on that one. <laughs> And Dre's this misses his shot and snipes this guy. Let's go! I didn't even expect that to happen. <coughs> but I'll take it. Question, are fame shields destroyed in Battle Lost Forever, Stefan? Yes, it is depressing. And that's a headshot, and Dennis, you are disgusting. You are so disgusting. Well done. Well done. But yes, unless you get the blacksmith retinue, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so if you break, if you get a shield that's um, famous and it breaks, you're dead. Reload time, I guess, is Stefan. Oh no, did you lose one in your run? Yep, that's that's rough, man. That's rough. You hate throwing spears for this? Yep, throwing spears just destroy shields. They are just jerks, because enemies don't give a crap. They really don't. But yeah, you lose a shield, you're, it's gone. Unless, as GB says, you get the blacksmith retinue. Which is now the spare tools retinue or something? Something like that. Barlow coming out of the woodworks, trying to make sure I don't get you killed a sixth time. Nice. Nice. Solemn is disgusting. Sebastian steals the kill. Padma doing some work with 40s. Oh, oh, oh Diagrin just dumpstering. Epo setting up a beautiful headshot. Sing also dumpstering. This fight is over. Over before even the south flank gets some involvement. Ulrich destroys this guy's body. His elbows and ankles have just been destroyed. Taken from him. And we rolled an 87. Dang it. Blacks with retinues are necessary if you get a shield if you want to keep. Otherwise, have a pocket shield to switch to. Yes. Pocket shields are great. They save you in times of trouble. Dennis, good kill. Barlow with his very first kill on his fifth character. <laughs> Feel like we've been here before. Naga with a dumpster of a spiky hit. Uh... Kenshin does take a hit, but that's okay. Back flank is in no hurry because that guy's flanking so slow. 70% miss, but Singh still gets one of those kills. I think the poacher might be leaving, though. Don't want to let this one go. But we should finish this one up nicely. Kenshan. Unfortunate situation there. Ooh, that's a bad hit to Barlow. 
But we can clap back. We can totally clap back on this. Ulrich. Let's do what we can. Too many retinue I need and too little space. Yeah, it happens. And the retinue slots are open so slowly. Dennis still sniping as per usual. Drazes misses a 72. Maybe my fame shield would rather keep them in my stronghold over destroying them, says Stefan. Yeah. Yeah, fame shields are very dear to my heart, too, whenever I get them. I'm like, I really don't want to lose this. And then the game's like, you know what? I'll send some orcs your way. How about you do lose it? And I'm like, great. Stupid freaking orcs. Good kills. It's up to... Oh, come on, stop hitting 40s on Ken. He's a tank. Frickin' heck. Pocket shield it is. Yep. Don't really like fame shield anymore unless the game more health since there's so many things can destroy them. Yep. Unless you have shield expert, don't give a guy a fame shield. Just don't. It's too risky. Way too risky. Also, this thug's punching above his weight. You need to die, buddy. Stop. Stop. Just stop. You've asked nicely. Now I'm saying stop. I know I didn't really ask nicely. I'm trying to kill him. There we go. And then we go this way, and then this should be enough to kill him. Uh, Kenshan, you ditch. I don't want you to get wrecked in this fight. Apparently you already took a bit too much damage. Ulrich with a good 48. And then it's up to Dennis. It's 95% and he's dead. How many kills does Dennis get? Five kills. Whew. So much damage. Dennis is really carrying this party. And we get some good loot. Lots of salvageables and a couple of armor pieces. Not bad. Not bad. Even a shield expert, most mid to late game enemies have a weapon that they can use split shield and they will use it half the time. Yeah, they're a bunch of jerks. It goes in my experience. It goes in my experience too. Usually split shield um, is annoying, but they nerfed split shield. It used to be like 50% bonus damage. Fudge. I know someone has split shield. There. It used to be like closer to 50% according to my memory. But then they nerfed it because it was too strong. So it's only 15% more damage. But I remember back in the day when split shield used to be 50% bonus. And that was disgusting. That was very disgusting. You could totally destroy footmen and their lineup a lot more easily when it was a lot higher. That's why health is the most important is that when it comes to fame shields. Yeah, yeah. If your fame shield is like 140 health, which we've seen before in some of our shields, this one's 75. That's a little bit on the lower end when it comes to the highest we've seen. Um, yeah, when it's like 142, which is insane from, I think, Saturday's stream. Yeah. Definitely a shield that won't break. Which is kind of kind of why, um, in vanilla, orc shields are highly coveted. Not because of their defensive stat. It's because of their health. Orc shields have insane health. They're super heavy, and they've got horrible bonuses to reduced fatigue, increased fatigue. But the health stat of an orc shield is unbeatable in vanilla. And why it is such a highly coveted item. But yeah. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Any, any tier 1s out there? I definitely do. Nice! Kenshan will be sorted for a little bit longer. Let's head back. Eleven 1 hundred for the fight. Um, we need to pay two fifty two a day. Our money's going up a little bit, as we got ourselves a shield maiden that costs almost fifty bucks a day. Great, great. Okay, tier one. What are we looking at? Barbarians for tier one. That's not bad. Tier two is a delivery. Nope. Okay, this is the tier three Sauron. It's a freaking barbarian king. There is no way we can beat a Barbarian King. Thank you very much, game. 
Oh dear. Anyways, I will be needing to go to bed soon-ish. It has been, what is it, five and a half hours? Damn, we've been doing pretty good. And I'm not even that tired compared to I usually am. Maybe I did good today. Maybe I did good. Anyways, no, I'm not doing the tier three. I'm not doing the king. There's no way this team could possibly TPK. I know, Sauron, that's what it would be. Dennis can't carry a party through a barbarian king fight. He can carry us through a lot of other fights. But I don't think Dennis can hold that much weight on his shoulders. Remove the quest before someone forces it. No, it's fine. If someone forces the quest, I chose the, um, here's the thing. I clicked on the one first. So even if you force me to do the quest, I'm doing the tier one. But I will remove this quest. So after I do the tier one, you can't force me to do the tier three. See, I'm thinking a headshot. I can outsmart chat sometimes. I wouldn't say all the time. But sometimes I've got the head up on chat. Anyways, Kenshan, congratulations on your level up. As a tank, I would like to give you Pathfinder. That is very helpful. Plus three, plus four, plus four. Very beautiful rolls. Max rolls abroad. That's what we like to see. Sauron tries to go for a spin instead. Chat will remember that, says Ratsayashi. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Uh, that's a positive trait, Sauron, so congratulations on a beautiful roll. Points well spent. As Feldspar Prince, which I will quickly save beforehand so we don't screw anything up. Outsmart chat, I like the sound of that, says Stefan. <laughs> it's a back and forth and you guys know it. Uh, iron Lungs on the Pimp Tank, let's freaking go. Well done. That is a good roll. That can counteract encumbrance. So I can stack more armor on you, even though you're technically going to be nimble. So yeah, pretty much one of the best perks in the game. Widely recognized by most people. Great idea. Let's go after some barbarians instead. Let's see how the town is treating us. Eh. Eh, they need to give us more food. That's better. You guys are hungry, boys. And they're selling at 23? Holy crap, I can make money. Excuse me. 23 is great. Uh, I don't have much to sell, though. I can sell that. I can sell that. Don't need the hunting bow. Uh, I don't need the orc shields, they're only useful for selling. Don't need the poison glands. Don't need the wonderful copper, don't need these, don't need that. And look at that, we're at decent money now, chat. I was worried. But we've brought ourselves back to a decent amount of money. I just have a lot of things I need to- oops, sell that. Uh, a lot of things I need to salvage, which is going to be no issue. Uh, we can salvage quickly before we go into this barbarian fight because they're probably going to give us a lot of salvageables. Which will be nice. Uh, let me check my inventory first. Did I do it correctly? No, I missed a few. I knew I'd miss a few. I knew it. I can't be onto it all the time. And that's good. Okay. Quick little salvage. Iron Lungs, he needs some iron hands to keep his pimp game strong. <laughs> Need an iron backhand. Um, let's steal everything from the cart. Why not? We get some bread. That's it? Oh, that sucks. We tried to rob them and we only get bread. You can spend some for drinks for bros, says Rasayage. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You guys can have a round if you'd like. Do we have a... Yeah, we have a rat catcher tavern here. Let's have a round. Who is the lucky few who will get free drinks? Feldspar, Sing, Naga, and Solem. Nice. A single round, that's all I'll be enough. I'm, I'm a skimpy one. Uh, let's go this way. I only have enough for a single round. <laughs> Especially since I don't want to get you guys drunk. It's <laughs> my secret reason. Um, so true women won't pimp themselves, <laughs> Sarah. 
Oh, okay, well, it's a ton of thralls. Um, interesting. I mean, if it's a free fight, I'll take it. It's 14. That's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. Unfortunately, Ken Chan is still unhappy. That's because he's a dastard and I forgot about that. Uh, and we'll have to fix that eventually, hopefully. Oh, some throwing weapons. Yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, I might have to rush them. I don't want to be chucked freaking spears at my face. <clears throat> okay, time for some fun. Yeah, you're dead, bud. Have fun with that. We still need dog breeding? We do have dog breeding. We just need dogs. Yeah, we got dog breeding on Diagrin. We just need to get some dogs. That's our only main issue. Naga, what are we doing? Are we walking up? Are we making our lives difficult? Hmm, I don't know. I'll wait. I will wait to make a decision. Also, Barlow. Uh, we rush their back line. It's risky, but it'll work. Stefan with a good hit. Diagram with a good hit. Oh, let's go. Uh, Apocalypse, let's wait for a decision. I'm kind of moving my army south. As I'm missing 76s and 67s. Fudge. Solon with a good hit on the head. Ken Chan round the back. Uh, Sebastian... Let's put you over here. 61. Nice. That's a fractured hand. Nah, I can't go to snipe. Draze this a bit closer with the 46, 59, or a 48. How about neither of them? Because I keep rolling 90s. Fudge. Everybody's calling you fighting's words for the dastard? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he's, oh, he's horrible, man. I don't know. Gotta keep picking on him. It's the only way. Also, Sing, did I screw over your turn? Damn. That was not intended. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like the 20s. And I like that they're missing them. I don't like that they're trying to go for the flank. I knew top flank would be rough. 81% accuracy to Sebastian's face. That's not fun. Well, this guy is bleeding out with an artery. Bully stream is going to get clipped. Oh, with the whole bully thing? Oh, nice try, GB. Nice, nice. I'll take the headshot with Sling, because that is disgusting, and I'll take it. 93. You're going to die, bud. Good kill by Barlow. Good damage by Stefan. Uh, can I get an accurate shot on 62? Yes! The dog has given up. I repeat, the dog is out of this fight. Naga sets up a kill. Padma almost gets the dog out of here. Digrin gets a beautiful kill there. Kenshan work in the south. And Feldspar Prince kills the dog. 84 and Epo kills that one. And look at that, they're down to seven guys already. Beautiful stuff, chat. Absolutely beautiful. And it's practically over. When rolling 96 is on 95, how did you miss? He was like five feet away. Yup. Yup. Tame. 100% tame. He technically was rolling 60s and I was complaining about how he rolled 95s. But still, but still, it's still a pain. And I'm not gonna lie, I hate hitting those, missing those 95s. 74 from Dre's this, ah, uh, fudge. I'll take an 85. Seven health, Dennis, nicely done, nicely done. 93, Naga with the headshot. No, that was a body shot. Oh man, that's insane. Take an 84 from Epo. Nicely done. 
Sing with the kill, and it's it's over, boys. It's done and dusted. Nice. Tip, overdosing on potions can lead to characters vomiting and getting sick. Thanks, Rasage. Thanks. Overdosing is bad, boys. Don't do it. The potions are too strong. Stefan's getting hit on 40%? I'm sorry, chat. That's a 9% with a stun. Jerk. You'll get shot in the face for that. Uh, I can't do anything with Nago. Can I snipe with Dennis? Yes, I can. Not successfully. Buy a dog? Yeah, we gotta buy some dogs. We gotta start getting them dogs to breed. Have infinite dogs for the party. And then we're set. Then we can beat the Barbarian King, right? Right? Dogs is always need. Spin the wheel, Ulrich. Literally, he's on four health. He's the last guy. And you want to spin. For combat. Right. Okay. If you say so. Oop, wrong thing to put up. I can use it for a party? I mean, it's your choice. It's your spin. I mean, it happened during the fight. I've got to do it during the fight. Unless you're super desperate to do it for party, I can be nice. But it's in the middle of the fight. If you spawn something crazy, we gotta fight it. I'll stress on this one. Um, it doesn't been in the situation. It's an undead. Just spin so I could before it was taken. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see what undead... Battle, rules are rules. Rules are rules. You spun it in battle, it happens in battle. It's a normal zombie. Okay, let's see what you have to do with him. Sebastian gets the good kill, and then it's up to us to beat up a normal zombie. I know. Sad times. If only it was the queen, you know, we might lose like five people. Rigged. Yep, yep, and I was snow as... Hey man, hey man, if it was Rackengeist again, or if it was the Queen, I'd have a very good right to be worried. <laughs> I mean, how long did that guy last against Tier 3 Nox, man? So freaking long. Uh, let's see if we can kill him in one turn. Probably not. Oh, wait, maybe? Nah, we couldn't kill him before the end of the turn. Yeah, the queen would have been really bad, grossly incandescent. The um, undead mummy queen is literally the harbinger of death. She destroys everybody. Stop, he's already dead. Yeah, I know, <laughs> he just had to bully that zombie. But because you brought the zombie into the fight, we get more experience, so thank you very much there, Ulrich. And level ups all around. Sad rolls for Apocalypse, but he'll get there. He'll grow. Uh, he'll also get Head Smasher, which would be very nice. Uh, who's next up on the chopping block? Ulrich. Nice rolls, man. I know you don't really need them because you're a Shield Maiden, but nice rolls. Sheesh. Let's get that formidable approach. Uh, Drazus with the bow, plus three, not bad start. Not a bad start to your character. Uh, let's get the range supremacy. Barlow is Mr. Punchy, let's go plus three, plus, oh, plus one. And then, what do I want? I want high health, I want high initiative. I want unarmed training. I want Resilient. Would have loved Colossus, and I would have loved Alert. 
So he's not going to be the best puncher in the world, sadly. But we can make it work. Plus three, plus one, and then... I think I pump health. I'll get that um, resolve up whenever I roll really bad on something else. Yeah. Fast adaptation could be good on a brawler. Yep. Yeah. Um, but your, your accuracy doesn't need it right away. But yes, it could be good. Punchy with the sword. I know, but you don't you don't make them punchy till they're at least like level four, level six. At least. Snow says he's not a worry person, and Snow is worried about the queen. Yeah, well, it's right to have a bit of caution there, Mr. Stefan. <laughs> caution with the wind is very important. Especially if the wind can murder you in 5,000 different ways. That darn queen, man. I've got nightmares of that queen. Scariest thing that the undead have to offer. Worse than Rackengeist, man. Uh, keep Barlow 6.0 in the queue. <laughs> it's the only way to do it. Have no trust in me, or the RNG whatsoever. Queen needs her book bro, the lore master. Oh, if you put those two together, that'll murder a good party. Flip, man. The book bro, the lore keeper, basically is the game of attrition. And the queen is the game of, holy crap, I need to kill this thing before it murders everybody in my party. Type of gameplay. The queen isn't a problem, she's nothing, says GB. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you diss the queen like that, now she's gonna show up in the game because you said that. She's totally gonna be here to whoop my ass. Totally, man. Gotta be worried about that. Snow RNG murders a good party. <laughs> I know that's true. It's so true. It's so true. Okay, we'll do one more quest, large city up north. Or one more fight, whichever comes first. And then I'll get to get some sleep. We can beat up a bunch of zombies. We can beat up a necromancer, a bunch of zombies, and a geist. Ooh, could that give us a fancy, hmm, famed item? That is the raiding party, so it's an easier fight. You know what? I'm interested. I am interested. How are we looking, boys? We're looking good. Let's go. Let's go to a random fight. A few geists. Ah, we'll be fine. We got a banner. It's only 25 enemies. It's only 25 enemies. It's a good last fight of the stream. It's a good last fight of the stream. We'll take it. Take me to 6.0. <laughs> You never know. We gotta we gotta murder these guys as quick as possible. Uh, let's go for the ones who are scary, like that one. I need to make sure he doesn't bring up his weapon again. What could possibly go wrong? I know, right? What could possibly go wrong? Regarding the game you mentioned earlier in stream, was that the last spell? Look at the stream store now. It's a strategy game like BB. Saw those base building. Yes! Yes! Uh, Dennis was mentioning it earlier, I do believe. And it is a good game. It's like Battle Brothers a little bit, where it's tactical, it's... Uh, turn-based. It's procedurally... Oh, it's not really procedurally generated, but it is, it is like, roguelike, as they say. And, uh, it's, it's a good game. It does have its, like, faults, because it's a smaller game. There's not as much, um... Depth to it, is what the word I was trying to say. But it's, it's really cool. And, um, I think it has potential. I played the demo, I enjoyed it. Once you get the knack of it, it's it seems like it has a pretty good hook to it. And we missed an 82. Okay, Drazus, I know you're new here, um, but please don't adopt the miss policies. Where's the Grand Illusionist, says Superpower? Oh, you mean this one. He's a bit further back. What game is this, Sterling? Oh, you mean the game we're playing is Bar Battle Brothers, but the game I was talking about was Last Spell. Oath Takers or something else. Oh, oh, welcome to the stream, man. Um, no, we're playing uh, the Troop. The Troop Origin. We're playing modded Battle Brothers, so in Legends there's an origin called the Troop, which is like a circus origin. And uh, we're playing that. 
Okay, calm down, Mr. Weirdo Ganger. You don't need to hit 39s. Don't need to hit 39s. Uh, Shay, thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, this is the last big fight of the stream, though, so just to warn you guys. But we'll hopefully have some success with the giant horde of zombies coming at us. Uh, oh, fudge. I need to get rid of the ones with the weapons, but I can't hit them. Alright, I'll hit that one. Stun! That's what I like to see, Dennis. Well played, well played. Incoming Geist. Has Superpower, Deli uh, Superpower Belly died? I don't think so. Where were you, man? Oh, wait! Was Superpower Belly in the party before we did the wipe? Yeah, I think he might have died. Yeah, we got completely wrecked today. It's the second rebuild. I know, man, it's rough. It's rough. Also, we have some cleavers in the party, so I might be able to behead all these zombies if I put Diagrin up to the task. We only have one cleaver. Dang, I wish I had more cleavers. Um, Sing might be able to do some fatalities, though, so I'm hoping on that. A lot of blood. Couldn't the blood pass? That's a crushed skull, Sing! Well done for the headshot. I did a guaranteed lash. Nicely done! Murph, welcome back! Going for a spin. Oh dear. I mean, for the last fight, you gotta make it interesting. Let's see what happens. What on earth is joining us today? It is... Oh great, it's a beastie boy. But that's kind of good. He'll maul through the zombies. Or he'll just get completely wrecked by the zombies. Oh, it had to be a shrat. It's not the Greenwood shrat. So I'm not that upset about it. But thanks, Murph. Thanks. Uh, how do I deal with these zombies? 78? Oh, really, this? That's the second 78 you've missed. Oh, well. Thanks, Murph, for the good luck, man. Wonderful luck on the silly... Oh, shrat. Let's just hope the zombies deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. Stefan was camping and looking at the timer and Murph just swooped in. Nice. Okay, Undead Horde's on its way. Um, I still want to snipe that Necro. I don't think I'll be able to. I don't know if I can push Dennis into like a protected sniper spot. To try and deal with that necro. It would make the game easier, um, but I was not preparing for it. Question of the day, can shrats get scared by ghosts? Um, shrats are not unbreakable. So I think you can scare them. Because he's steady currently. You can see that green bar. Whereas you see the green bar on zombies, they're unbreakable. They can't be screamed at. So yes, I do believe the ghosts can scare a shrat. So ghosts can sc scare trees. Weird concept, right? Weird concept. But apparently, it's a thing. So we'll have to live with it. Alright, we're breaking out. Let's go, boys. Let's push forward. Who are you possessing? Oh, of course, the guy with the stupid hammer. No, that was a bad miss. I'll work with a good hit. Tame the scared tree. I mean, it's not gonna happen. I'm not going to get any chance. Oh, stupid screams. No, not the screams. Sebastian, you're going to be very helpful in this fight. Save us from the screams. Ghosts can scare trees, sounds bizarre. Yeah, a little bit. Ghosts can't scare some... Cannot scare knock, and you want them to scare trees. I mean, they were scaring the knocks, they just weren't doing a good job of it. <laughs> That's the thing. Okay, how close do I need to be that Necro? I need to be two spaces forward. Dennis, we've got a job to do. I need to push him into a great defensive position. Surround him, boys! Protect Dennis at all costs! The Shroud is coming in and he's going after some zombies. Let's go! That makes my life easier. Bash his head in, and you didn't smash his skull sing, so he's coming back. Yep, he's coming back. Great. 
One attempt, then kill, says Ulrich. I mean, if I get a chance, I'll try it. But if he's murdering my ass, then I'm not gonna try it. Freaking shrats, man. He's not as bad as Greenwood's, but they're still annoying. Okay, so Dennis is protected. We have a chance to snipe that Necro. <coughs> but now the trick is, can we stem the tide of screams? Zombies we can. It's the sc Oh no, here it starts. Ken, Ken, please. Think of the children. The zombie children that will be disappointed if you flee this fight. Shield wall and back away. <laughs> Just back away, man. Uh, Sebastian... Catapult yourself over here and so you can protect and rally Mr. Kenshan. Ghost too weak confirmed. Yeah, I don't know why. The ghosts were just sucking against everything else. But I guess, here's the thing. Monsters and almost every enemy in the game have good resolve. They just have boosted stats. The AI cheats. And it sucks. <laughs> the AI will always be better than you in stats. And you just have to be better than it in strategy. It's just annoying. Uh, 88, beautiful snipe, um, smite from Mr. Naga. That did not cut his head off, so he's coming back. And I couldn't chop his head off with Diagrin. But Diagrin, wait a minute. No, I missed the 74 to chop his head off. Fudge. That sucks. I believe one attempt then kill is probably the best I can do. After all, with such low odds, you can't force it. I know, right, man? There's no way. I'm probably gonna have to hope for like a one percenter. It's the best I can do. Oh, here comes the double pitchfork. This is why I wanted the pitchfork ones to die first. <sighs> I hate zombies with pitchforks. 80% Dre's this. Thank you for the snipe. Unfortunately, he's coming back. Dennis, 69! And he's stunned! He's not coming back this turn. Let's freaking go! Let's go. Push back the stupid pitchfork guy, because I hate him. The Shrat's going for the Necro. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to kill the Necro before you can. Good luck with that. Naga with the re-kill. Um, Sing, let's get up there. And work the guy with the stupid hammer. Apocalypse, I'm worried about the flank, my man. This is not a good flank to be playing with. Because they're going to jump all the way... Yeah, they are. Morale game against the AI is the against the player always. Yeah, it's it's horrible, man. It's horrible. That's why I like using Fearsome sometimes, because then it tries to break it and allow you to get a bit better chance. It's not perfect, but it does help. Especially when you can proc it multiple times a turn with Fearsome. Okay, hit your 24s, buddy. Hit your 24s. Leave him on 6 health. Go strong Scarab, bro, so it's fine. Yeah, well... Yeah. Always fun. Always a pleasure. Lone Wolves, Hedge Light with Protective Sigils. Yeah, but even then, that doesn't do much. It's sad. Digrin, stop missing. I need you. I need you to not miss. Okay, I'm on the Pitchfork guy. Good. And then I also need Sebastian to rally up down south. Ulrich, good hits. I'm worried about the flank to raise this. You better outspeed that zombie next turn. Oh. Okay, you got him one stage. That helps. Necro got wrecked. Okay, you guys come back normally. That sucks. No, Feldspar. You're two tiles away from the stupid banner and you can't stop a... Mm. Well, zombies back down. Dre's this. Good shot. Good shot. You should check my Lone Wolf Crusader run with the Undead Necklace and 200 Resolve and still get scared by ghosts. Yeah, that was great in YouTube. That was a great run. It's also great to know that the stupid ghost necklace is one of the most useless items in the game. That the game's like, hey, you need to farm for this. It's like, no, I don't want to ever farm for that item again. Such a waste. Such a waste of time. Uh, Apocalypse, can you get this ghost? You're amazing, man. 
Nicely done. 38, pulls it out of nowhere, rolls a 5. That's one less ghost to deal with. Also, 72. That's one less necromancer to deal with. Let's freaking go, chat! Let's go! And let's push him back, because why not? And Diagran is still exhausted. That's rough. So no, I don't appreciate being yelled at. My fancy hat is supposed to prevent that. I know, right? Gotta have your fancy hat. It's gotta protect you from the Geist. It's the only way. Um, Padma, let's go back and defend the back flanks, because the front flanks are kind of okay at this point in time. Number of enemies are decreasing. I know, right? How good is that? That's a rarity. The only problem is, the number of enemies are still there when it comes to the big boy. And that's what I'm worried about. He is still an issue, and he hasn't done anything! He's just sitting there, menacingly. Just staring at us. You will fix that, says Rasayej? Thanks, thanks. I appreciate you trying to fix the issues that we have of a reduced enemy count. Morale has been fixed, Sebastian. Well played. And Ulrich can't do anything because he needs 16 fatigue because of the stupid worn down. I hate that! Oh, I hate worn down so much. It screws you over with the 1%. Rasayash, thank you for the spin, and let's see what's added to our lovely fight of the night. The night fight with the zombies and the stupid tree. It is now going to be, most likely, the Barbarian King. And see if I say it now, chat, it's not going to happen. Aha! It's not the Barbarian King, it's a poacher. I'll take that. Uh, but yes, Brigand Barbarian, Possible Nomad was the role. And uh, as long as I call the Barbarian King early, it's not going to happen. So I'm happy with that. And I miss an 88 because of it. So I guess I'm, I deserve that. I deserve that. I'll take the 74 though, thank you. Does he mean the Shrat will run all the undead boys are dead? Um, no, it's probably not going to run because it's a jerk. And now it's lining up three of our guys. As I miss an 83, I'm out of here. No, no, and a whole lot of no. Epo with a 95, well done. Zombies are really trying to flank us. That's annoying. Perfectly fit to the composition. Yep. Yep. Solem says I'm fleeing. Nah. Nah, you'll be fine. The resurrect and fleeing, bro. <laughs> He'll be fine. Don't know why it got him fleeing. That was so stupid. So dumb. But, we'll get him. We'll get him. I think Sebastian, two spaces, can probably fix him. I just don't want to get wrecked by this stupid Shrat. Did the zombie ignore the Shrat? No, 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 it did. The Weirder Ganger hit the Shrat with his pike. Which is very nice of him. Thank you, Feldspar, for the good kill. Also, Dennis, do something. I can get rid of that poacher immediately. Um, that kind of ruins it. Let's go for this hit. Nice. Stop coming back. Just stay dead, you stupid zombies. Just stay dead, please. Oh, I can't go two spaces and do the rallying cry. But, Solemn dodges because it's a 10%. I'm afraid of Ghost. I am not a Ghostbuster, says Chibi when it comes to Solem. Yep. Solem decides he's not into it. Naga, though, is still dumpstering, and Apocalypse is working really hard. 80% with Dre's this? That's a good headshot. I'll take it. Okay, the Shrat just decided to go after Digrin, and luckily dodges him. Digrin dodges on 35 but he destroys the zombie in front, which is what I like to see. Exactly what I like to see. Sing with a nice headshot does not break his skull, but I'm not complaining. Apocalypse with a slam dunk, that is a decapitation! And he ain't coming back. No siree. <clears throat> Though no matter how hard we try, these zombies keep coming back, which is annoying. GP's also scared of snow since he's your bully. Hey. You'll die to the shrat, I'm out, says Solemn. <laughs> he's like, there's a tree? 
It's walking. No, no. Solo mate gonna ain't Solo mate got paid to play, fight trees. No way he got paid to fight trees. Uh, please get this kill, Dennis. Thank you. Thank you very much. Got to fear the power of the streamer. <laughs> Yeah, the power of the streamer who constantly dies. Yeah, that's the one. So much fear induced. Thank you, Ulrich, with a good kill. Solemn, could you come back? You're full health! Nothing happened to you! You're literally full health! And now Feldspar's fleeing. Great. Good kill by Naga. That doesn't fix Feldspar's problems. 84 by Dre's this fudge, man. How many 80s are you gonna miss? Souls likes I've seen the Lord of the Rings. I know how this stuff goes. Fake news, fake news. Uh-huh. It's getting rough though, boys. Sebastian, please fix Feldspar. Um Apocalypse. Slam dunk that dude. Sing with a good slam dunk with the nice head bops. Streamer who's dying all the time, you mean immortal streamer? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, keep working on that shrat. He's not gonna heal. Head chop! That's good what that's what we like to see. Padma, you stay over there. Stefan, do we start working on this tree? Um, no. Let's not and say we did. Snow is immortal confirmed. I mean, you haven't seen me and a normal immortal or a non-immortal in the same room. So, I'll I'll say maybe. Maybe. Solom gets your butt back here. How can you be scared? Also, I need to get rid of this stupid geist. Yeah, I knew you'd be coming back. I knew you'd be coming back. And you're making him scared. And you're making him scared. Oh, come on. It's just a little bit of zombies. No, I don't want to <laughs> Solemn. Solemn, I pay your wages. Get back here. I don't pay you to run away, and I don't pay Drazes to constantly miss 80%. Man, I don't pay you guys en I pay you guys too much for the how, how many bad misses you guys do. Put your butts into gear. Come on. Also, Apocalypse. Nice hit. You ruined his confidence. Apocalypse for the win. Sing. Good job. Let's get back into it. I need a break. <laughs> no smoko breaks, no coffee breaks. You guys get no breaks. No sleep, no nothing. No unions. No unions. <laughs> he transforms into the basic company boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. No unions! No nothing. And I take a 34 Barlow. Fudge. That's rough. Also, Feldspar, um, good job on dodging that. No, we're missing. Uh, do I go 84 on the Shrat? Ooh, that hit pretty nicely. Let's keep that going. Uh, Mr. Sebastian... Nice, you fixed the problem. Yay, Solom's back! Get back in there. Come on, come on. 9% for Feldspar. Really? Damn, and he screams him immediately. Come on! Nah, you don't need that. Come on, man. 31%. Come on. Well, that's a good kill. Stefan has your defenses. 37, that's not enough. Ah, oh, I need to put Stefan... over here. Oh, but then I don't want Epo to get rushed. Oh, I'm struggling. I'm a pimp, not a ghostbuster, said Sauron. <laughs> that is true. You are not a ghostbuster. You are the pimp. We not get paid enough, says Dre's this. You guys eat me out of house and home. You guys definitely get paid enough. 
Uh, Padma, how's your defenses? 47. I'll put you up. I'll put you in the ring, and then I'd like to give you a shield wall. Barlow with the 31, let's go. Punchy has defeated the stupid Screaming Geist. And Solom, get your butt back here. I need to get this kill. And I need to start killing these stupid zombies. Ulrich and Kenshan have been working too hard. And they've been struggling. Finally. They better stay down. Also, Sebastian, um... You don't have enough stamina to fix Feldspar. And Feldspar fixes himself. <sighs> nice. Poacher, um, you need, you need to be killed. Saturday, you are not even feeding us riots, says Solom. <laughs> hey, 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 we don't speak about the Saturday no food, no food policy on Saturdays. And I miss a 95. Okay, okay. I see where this is coming from. I get to miss my 95s now because I don't feed you guys. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. If you paid for shoot training, I would hit more, says Drazus. If you need you need to try and tame before killing at least the last zombie. Ah uh, yeah, you're kinda right. I do need to eventually try it. But it's gonna be hard, man. Couldn't even chop his head off. Really? Damn it. I'm a strong independent man, says Sarah. Oh, the snipe! The poacher snipes the freaking zombie on a 22! What? No way. Fair enough. Barlow, go take up that poacher. He did too good of a job. Okay, we gotta team this guy up. I can't break his shield. I don't have anything to break his shield. So we're doing what we did last time we fought a Shrat fair and square. Um, we take him down the slow way. The insanely slow way. Oh, no, we, we bought the green shrat. No, no, we fought the green shrat last time. And we took him down by breaking his shield. Oh, wow, you have to really be back? Come on, man. Don't you know you're not wanted? Darn zombies. Uh, 63, 75. I'll take the 75. It'll never end with the spins. Oh, Solon did a spin? Your free trial of existing has ended, says Barlow. Yeah, for this guy. Oh dear. Solemn, if you keep spawning in scary things, man. I'm never going to bed. It's a free kill! And there's a zombie there. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta kill a zombie for me. I'll take it. I get to go to bed tonight. Chat, I am free from Twitch. I finally get some sleep. Oh, it's glorious. It's gonna feel great. My head on a pillow. Wonderful warm covers. I don't have to worry about any more giant monsters. Oh, sleep sounds great. Bed is for weaklings. <laughs> sure, sure. I'll kill this one. He's annoying. Thank you, Solom. Now I just need to kill this guy before you guys have another chance to spin. Come on. Come on, Shrat. Die. Die. I'm not doing very much damage, but it's going to help. He's already at 251. Let's go. He's confident. Oh, there goes the bleed. Why do you keep coming back? I already killed you. Stupid flipping zombies. Nice. There goes the head. Oh, really a 22% from a stupid poacher. Of course. Who said I was going to go to sleep today, says Murph? I did. Because <laughs> I got a free kill instead of a spawn. It's the only way I get my sleep. Is when I get lucky with my rolls. Are you, you are allowed to sleep in bed while streaming. I mean, they do that. It's called a subathon. And you get to watch me while I sleep. Which is weird. Um, But we won't talk about that. Because subathons are for something in the future, not for now. And for whenever you guys want to be creepy and watch me sleep. 
Um, but whatever happens, happens. And uh, we'll do one eventually. Because apparently all the streamers do it. Tame, tame. Oh, that's right. There still is. Thank you to Ulrich. Fine, I'll try and tame it. How low is it? I miss an 80%. Diagrin, do I get you in there? No. Actually, I probably should have. We need a cat cam? Yeah, we do eventually need a cat cam. My cute kitty cats. But the problem is they don't always stay in the same spot. My cats are silly. They do what they want. They're so independent, as they say. Uh, that was 23 damage. That was 15 damage. It's at 29 health. Hmm. Ken Shan, you're gonna die if you go up there, aren't you? 25 defense, that's not enough. Dennis, that'll kill it. Don't attack it. Um, Sebastian, you might kill it. Solemn, you barely do any damage. You did six damage to him. Okay. Okay, that hurt. Um, how do I surround him? I put Diagrin in there. Two, three, four. You know what? I'm going to Hail Mary. Six person surround. We're doing it for the vine shot. Wait, can any of you guys actually capture it? I didn't check that. <laughs> That's kind of important. That's kind of a little bit important. Oh, Feldspar needs some more fatigue. Oh, Barlow's gonna die. Seventy-seven, and I miss. Okay, sure. Have it your way. Uh, 0.9% chat. How do you even injure a shrat? That's, I'm, I just don't understand chat. Well, let's see if we can do it multiple times. Nope. You can only do it once, because, you know, you can only tame shrats once. Instead of a... 0.9% 9, .9 chance I rolled a 70.3. Yeah, I know he's confident. He's confident at 23 freaking health. Oh, this is this is impossible, chat. It's impossible. Apocalypse, good kill. We saved Barlow's life. I can't even bandage his bleeding from grazes. And I'm once again depressed about AC mod because of how bad it is. And how bad it has become. Oh well. Oh well. Sad times, sad times. But, we tried. I can't say I didn't try. I tried my hardest for these last, what, three streams or so? To enjoy the new version of AC mod. And I can't. I can't. We're about to do the Broodmother with one pig and 20 Rexes. Uh, you can't. Oh, maybe you can. Because I don't think the Broodmother's instanced like it used to be. Is the Broodmother instanced, Barlow? Because you can only bring 20 tames and 10 survivors. If it's instanced, you can't bring all of your Rexes. But if it spawns in that one little... I don't think it'll spawn in that one little area. I think it's instanced, man. Do be careful. You might leave some Rexes behind on accident. Not the worst thing in the world, because the Rexes will take care of themselves. No, it's not 30 tames, it's 20. 20 tames, 10 survivors. Always has been. I don't think they've ever changed it. Make the best of it. Dog builds and some attempts is all work. Yeah, that's right. We, we did the best of it. And uh, if I can ever get it changed to a better version of the mod, I will. And I'd love to try and see um, AC Companions become an actual good mod. It used to be, until it got changed, but yeah. 
Uh, we get some silverware from the location. We get the Heart of the Forest, which is a nice crafting ingredient. Uh, but sadly, no famed item, as I was hoping for. We went out of our way, like, 20 meters off the road, and we didn't get rewarded for it. Ah, uh, sad times. But we do get level ups, as this was quite the fight. Um, Sebastian, nice fours all across the board. Into the mind of our body. As much as I want to go Inspiring Presence, you need to get that rally down to 17. Holy crap. 33%. Let's go. Let's go. I can rally against those ghosts. I wish I had that before the fight. But I can rally against those ghosts a lot better. Seeing sad on the one. But good rolls everywhere else. Into the mind of her body immediately, giving you eight sixteen percent, which is sixteen on lash. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Mr. Punchy here, rolling one on defense again. Ouch! I'm gonna go for that resolve roll. That's rough. Let's get that survival instincts up. Ken Chan, what are we doing? Plus four, beautiful. But bad rolls everywhere else. You poor thing. Ugh. Uh, I will happily go for balance, and that will give you a stack of 14. Whoo! Super balanced, man. 2130. Super balanced for some reason. But I'll take it. Uh, let's clean this up, shall we? And, yeah, we'll probably have to leave it there. Definitely quite the adventure today, though, chat. I really, really must say. Whew, we have had quite the roller coaster of this series. Um, I don't know how far this series will take us, but apparently we are surviving. And we are survivors. Our renown is at 1,500. To think we barely even... Not even close to a noble quest today. And now we're at 1,500. That's some pretty good stuff. From all the crap we've been through and all the obituary... Look at the obituaries, man. Our obituaries has a scroll wheel on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit too much. <laughs> too many deaths and Barlow's on 5.0 for his character. So yeah, dying to thugs, unholds, knocks. A lot of knocks. That's a lot of knocks. Squires, which were jerks to us. Uh, left to die, we don't talk about that. Left to die, we don't talk about that. Um, chopped up by an orc warrior, yeah, lots of knock kills. Yeah. But look at the party we have, we're good, look at this, we're doing good. What's the levels across the board? 10, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3s. That's not bad. That's not bad. Must take the next quest, stay, spin, and listen, no sleep for you. Hey Murph, I can go to sleep whenever I want, man. <laughs> I'm not doing another quest. Nope, 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 nope. If you want to remind me next week that you spent the thousand points, then you can remind me next week. I'm not I'm not gonna remind myself. <laughs> That's too much effort. Bully streamer breaks the rules. Bully streamer doesn't break the rules. Bully streamer made the rules, thank you very much. Bully streamer can do the rules the way he needs to do the rules. And I will do your spin. I will. Stay a spin and listen. Yes. I shall get your spin done, though. That is a random event. Could it be a good one? Could it be a bad one? We cannot get Vala again. As we already got that, so that's a, that's a good spin already. Um, I did just save. No, I don't want the campfire. That doesn't count. Oh, of course it crashes the game. Alright, I'll be back. There it is, democracy is shattered, says Murph. <laughs> I told you, it's more peer pressure than democracy. But there is a little bit of democracy. A little bit. What democracy? <laughs> it's a, what do they call it? Not an autocracy, it's a... Um, a dictatorship? No, what is it? Because democracies have presidents, but then the presidents tell the people what to do. So it is kind of like a democracy. And then people always complain about what president it is. So it's, it's basically, you guys elected me, 
as your streamer, and then now you're complaining about the person you elected. Yeah, that's what it is. That makes sense. It's fully democracy. It's 100% democracy. Anyways, let's get that nice event going. Hey, we did it again! We did it again! We elected you when, says Ulrich? Uh, the, the, um, the records of that sort of got, went missing. And, um, yeah, I don't have records of it, but it happened. When we subbed. Yeah, yeah, when we subbed. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Anyways, um, that's when he got elected. Yeah, totally. And, uh, yeah, so welcome to the once-in-a-lifetime Vala, and then now once-in-a-lifetime Cannibal. That is our 15th on the roster, Ulrich. Thank you very much. And he's actually not too bad. He's actually really good. Holy crap. Reach, reach flail build. We've got another reach flail build in the party. Sweet. Um, let's quickly save so I don't lose him. Dev tools are off. And, uh, yeah, reach build. Nice. I sadly don't have any more good reach flails, but I will. I will eventually get one. The cannibal will have to be sidelined for the time being, but that's okay. He'll be happy with his situation. We can even make him the cook as well if one of our cooks dies. <laughs> if Padme dies. Doesn't get to forbid us to get information from unrestricted sources, says Rasage. Hey man, I'm not the FBI. I'm not looking at your search history. I don't have that ability. That that you know of. That you know of. I don't have that ability. Um, but yeah, yeah. This is, as, as far as you know, I'm, I'm a lovely president-elect. And uh, you guys are enjoying it. So I thought Snow was sleeping. I am sleeping. You didn't, says Rasage. Yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't do nothing. Nothing at all. But yes, I will be going to sleep. Uh, this is a person up for grabs. Uh, Ulrich, who do you want to hand off this person to? Because you have your own character, as far as I remember, Mr. Ulrich. Yes, you do. So seeing as this was your event, who would you like to hand this off? I never blocked, but you didn't, says Rasayej. <laughs> That's what I'd like you to think. He's a tyrant, says Trace. <laughs> oh, oh, um... Uh, I, I don't take questions from the press. Uh, next question, please. <laughs> I only take good questions. You decide, says Ulrich. Ah, sounds like a plan. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. If you let anyone see, they don't look, says Rasage. Exactly, exactly. Nah, they don't, they don't see it. They don't see it. Name him Tyrant Snow. <laughs> Totally. You sound like my president, says Sauron. Aw, that's adorable. So I am your president. Aw. Thanks, Sauron. Um... I don't know, we'll just, uh, this is a cannibal... A uh, free cannibal. I'll let anyone in chat who wants to join in as a free character. If they don't speak up today, I'll let them speak up on next stream. And I'll name that as someone who wants to join in. It's nice to see a cannibal with good stats. You don't always see a cannibal with good stats, in all honesty. They they do not always get good rolls. That's a 65 base melee skill. It's pretty disgusting. Um, he has a chance to even be a fencer, which is weird. I don't know, maybe I want to go Fencer build. His defense of 5 is a bit low. Rastage wants to join in? Sure thing. I don't think you've got a character on here at the moment. Uh, did I have a character for you before? So would you be Rastage 2.0? It would make sense, because I've killed a lot of people in this game. Yeah, yeah, you don't have a character in this one. So we'd happily have you, man. Mm. 
Rasesh 1.0. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just number one. Welcome to the team, man. Welcome. You're going to be sidelined for a bit because the size of the party won't increase until we hit 1,800 renown. But we've been skyrocketing recently. But the jump from 1,050 to 1,800 is almost double. So it's very tough to increase the party after that. But we've been doing well, so I can't complain. Can't complain at all. Let's quickly save before I forget. And, uh... Yeah, how long will you be in the party? Yeah, that's true. How long will you be number one? Number two is just around the corner, man. Number two is around the corner. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's start finishing up, though. Uh, as usual, we will go out with a raid. And uh, I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's stream. It's been quite the roller coaster of emotions. Up and down, crazy stats, and by goodness, I think today is one, uh, one for the record of seriously one of the worst fights I've ever had in terms of RNG. Literally one of the worst fights. I know, man. Game Berserker survived this stream. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. Dennis is OG. 71 days. The party's been going for 72 days, which counts as 71. Dennis is literally an OG. It's the only character that survived everything. It's insane. And he's also been one of the most crucial characters in the party. Look at those stats, man. 45 battles, 62 kills, 13,000 damage done. His average damage per battle is 300. His heaviest hit is a 189. His headshot chance is 49, which is a little bit lower than we were expecting because we only changed it recently. Um... And his average damage per battle received is 8 damage. Which is really good. He's, he's surviving a lot. But yeah, pretty insane. Pretty insane. Um, unfortunately... Oh my goodness, there's only... There's no one playing Battle Brothers at the moment. There's only two Russians, I think, playing Battle Brothers. I can't send you guys off to Russians, because that would be, um... We're meant to be English-speaking, because I send people off to the same language that I speak. Just to make it fair on you guys, so you can understand the streamer. Um... Hmm. Host Arumba 07? Yeah, I could raid Ark. What's... who's Arumba 07? Playing Terra Invicta. I don't even know what that game is. It looks like a strategy game, like Civilization or something. Arumba's a cool dude. Okay, sure. If you guys want to go watch Arumba, that's perfectly fine. Hardcore space game, he's great stream also. Sure thing. A R U M B A O seven, but the A was capitalized. Also, my English sucks today. That's all good. But yeah, um, hope you guys do enjoy the stream over at Arumba's. He's playing a. It's kind of like Civilization. It's kind of like Stellaris. It looks like a top-down sort of strategy. With a globe around it. Looks pretty cool. I've never seen the game before. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you guys for coming along with the stream. I really do appreciate the support that you guys have had. Uh, I really appreciate that you guys enjoyed the game today as well. We did have lots of fun. And oh my goodness, a lot of stressful moments. But that's the fun part of it. Um, if I don't see you on Tuesday for the multiplayer stream, which should be finalized tomorrow, I think. Um, please have a wonderful week ahead. Uh, don't worry about me and my wife too much. We'll be taking care of her. And, uh, but thank you guys so much for the kind wishes. And, uh, other than that, please enjoy your snowballs and have a wonderful raid. And have a good one, guys. Catches.